All right, at least we're recording. Uh, start streaming. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Let's do it live. Let's do it big. Here we are. Welcome to launch day. Welcome, Woo-hoo. Kyle. Thanks. Thanks for having me here. I'm excited for this. We're here. We're doing it. <laughs> it's all working. <laughs> yeah. No technical difficulties whatsoever. Of course, zero, which I'm always <laughs> happy about because it always happens uh, so cleanly. And everyone knows that we're kidding, first of all. Uh, <laughs> second of all, um, you're hiding from me. There we go. <laughs> Welcome to the day. Uh, let's just get started before we kind of get into any other big thing. Welcome to the launch of the HubSpot Super Admin. Super Woo! Admin! So we are here with Kyle Jepson. He is uh, the HubSpotter. It, it's kind of like the HubSpot guy. <laughs> if that podcast <laughs> I... hasn't already happened, watching Kyle <laughs> on LinkedIn is what that is. And not only does he work at HubSpot, in his own free time, he gets to talk about all the things he knows and learns about HubSpot. And uh, so we have him on here to help us launch the HubSpot Super Admin. Thanks for being here, Kyle. Yeah, I'm so excited for this. Um, I'm looking at Discord here. Our friend Shadab. Um, I'm not sure if he's wanting to talk or if he can't actually hear us. Shadab suppressed. Yeah. Uh, if you're in Discord, you cannot talk. <laughs> you are here to listen. <laughs> and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to share uh, one of our videos or a place where you can find us and you can watch. Uh, however, it is not a place for you to share. <laughs> is a place for the stage oh good he can't hear us but yeah yeah we it was it was a trick to figure out how to get me unmuted um not going to be quite as conversational as maybe some of us imagined (laughs) the the conversation in discord we can totally if that's the case so we wanted to have guests on kyle i love this in real time if we want to have guests on and talk we can totally do that People being on is not always a given, but this community is crazy. <laughs> this community is awesome. Yeah. And, and people want to jump on. Sure. Yeah. No, I'm I'm all for the live conversations with anyone who wants to talk. Um, but yeah, you can't unmute yourselves. I think Grant is the only person who can unmute anybody. I can unmute you. <laughs> I have full <laughs> power. <laughs> So uh, sheets slayer if you want if you want to talk in real time uh let them know so the hubspot super admin so why are we here what are we doing what is this thing uh why is it ridiculous why is it fun the <laughs> <laughs> the the platform that is hubspot it's the number one crm uh it's it's the number number one map it's the number one service uh or help desk and it's growing. There are more and more hubs. There are more and more opportunities for people to get involved and more and more uh, levels of companies to get involved. And those companies look like small businesses. They look like medium-sized businesses. And they look like enterprise businesses. And as those companies grow, get on the platform, HubSpot's super easy to use. If, if you're on a service call and you need to look up a company or a contact, it's easy to use with the, with the spyglass. You can get to where you need to get, and you can update fields. You can look at activity. You can do all of those things. When you want to set something like that up, when you want to integrate, when you want to map data, when you want to uh, identify stages, that sort of setup in HubSpot requires a user level that's called super admin. And that basically allows you to mess around with all the different hubs, connect them and and make it all work. And so as HubSpot has grown, the need for someone who's able to navigate the entire portal and use it the way uh, it's powerfully built to be used 
the need for that person is growing. And so that's why we're here. Kyle, is there some, some wisdom you can lay upon us? I, I just want to say that um, the, the idea of a, a HubSpot admin um, has been kind of a long time coming. And I'm so excited this, uh, this community exists and that people are showing up for it because um, I see you all. I, I, I want to see you all. I, I know you need more resources and community. One thing that I think makes HubSpot really great as a company and one of the reasons we've been so successful is our, our organizational ability to focus. I mean, we're almost 7,000 employees at this point. We pick a few goals every year and we execute on them. But kind of the, the sad part of that is if, if something like an admin community is not on that priority list, it doesn't get done. And so I'm so grateful to Grant and others who have been working in the background to create this space because I know HubSpot admins are real people with real jobs. You're in the trenches. You're doing this on a daily basis. You're making HubSpot run for our customers all over the world. Um, and I'm so excited that there's going to be a community where you can all connect with each other, where I can connect with you, um, and we can we can start building something that will that will make this more of a career that will give you more resources um, for you to be able to succeed. I am I'm 100% on board with that. <laughs> Love to hear such things from a, a veteran. The the day is going to consist of <laughs> all of these things. We're going to have Kyle on uh, each hour. We're going to have a new guest, and that new guest is going to dispel upon us their knowledge and wisdom of their experience and tell us more and more about what, what it is they think HubSpot can do or will do uh, and where that kind of comes from in, in their backdrop of their experience. And so we'll introduce our guest each hour, but uh, Kyle's kind of the the goat here so <laughs> <laughs> yeah you go find kyle here is kind of the direction that uh we all should be hearing <laughs> because talking about why we should have a super admin understanding what it is that a super admin is technically like as a user is one thing but then what that means <laughs> it's it's it can be so many different things and so hearing from you of other people you know about or um, some of your favorite parts is how I'd love to start, Kyle, is uh, some of your favorite parts of HubSpot. Some of your, yeah, yeah, just literally sure. overall favorite kind of pieces of HubSpot. <laughs> uh, so I just really love, uh, I am, I'm always a big fan of workflows um, because it cuts across everything, right? It doesn't matter if you're using Marketing Hub or Sales Hub or Service Hub or some other hub and or some combination of hubs. You can use workflows to start combining them together into all sorts of interesting ways. And I love, um, historically, I've had to do this through random like DM conversations on LinkedIn, but people will reach out to me occasionally and be like, hey, I'm trying to do this thing with workflows. And and like, I'm not, I'm not a workflows genius, but it's just like logic puzzles, right? And we just like brainstorm and, and figure out how to make it work. And uh, and so I'm, I mean, I'm here, I, like I've never used Discord before like a week ago, but I now have the desktop app installed on my computer and I'm, I'm logged in, I'm here. Like I would love to just have these admin conversations, whatever, whatever logic puzzles you're working through in HubSpot, <laughs> how do we make the required properties and the deals and the playbooks line up and trigger the right things. And, and uh, you know, I, I had a conversation just a day or two ago over LinkedIn with someone who was asking like the pros and cons of, uh, when a deal closes, then they have a service pipeline. Do do you move the deal to a new pipeline or do you copy it and create a new one? And like thinking right. through the implications for reporting and all that stuff. And just like, I love it. I'm here for it all day, every day. Uh, I I mean, I expect this uh, community will grow a lot. And maybe someday I will regret that on launch day. I was like, yeah, anyone who wants to just reach out to me. I'm happy to be like, eventually it'll not be sustainable, but like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> let's let's figure out at what point I hit my breaking point and tell people to start going away. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, for now, I, I have lots of love and ideas to give. <laughs> for now, it's full steam ahead. Like, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Workflows are one of those things that super cut across. I mean, even even now, one of the I think it was last month, but that the code snippets. You know, you can do put custom code as an action. Yeah, but then the fact that you can call like a a code object is amazing. So you can just literally point to a code object. But then since it's a code object, whatever's in that thing just runs. <laughs> Which then all of a sudden it's not like I'm bound by this workflow and the data in my portal. Now it's I'm bound by what I can write and code. 
Yeah. And for me, that's that's a pretty low boundary. There's not a lot I can do with <laughs> custom coding. Um, but even that, like, I, I love people will be like, hey, I want to do this thing. Do I need a custom code action for it? And like, I'm pretty good at, at, at triaging those questions. And if it is, yes, a custom code, I, I can pseudo code stuff, right? I can be like, yeah, okay, well, right. you're going to have to hit some API endpoints and you're going to have to do this thing. And it's going to be shaped kind of like this, but you do not want me to write that code because I'm going <laughs> to, it's not going to work. Um, but if, if you just, yeah, I think, I don't know, there's just endless things to brainstorm about and imagine. And then, and then you can get into the debate too of like, should we automate this or should we make the humans do it? Because sometimes if you get a little too automated, the people in your portal lose track of what's going on. <laughs> the deals are moving stages and I can't find them and I don't know what's going on. And you gotta be careful about that. Um, but I feel like that's that's the challenge of being an admin is you, you figure out what's optimal for your team. And it's gonna be different than what's optimal for some other team in some other industry at some other company because um, every team is different. Every process is different. And, it's all about meeting the needs of your customers in the best way possible. And as an admin, your customers are are like your internal employees. And how are you going to help them meet the external customers' needs? It's just, I don't know. I love this stuff. I think it's, I yeah. think it's so much fun. Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> Should it be automated? That, again, could be yet another podcast. <laughs> just Did you ever that see the question? The, the will it blend YouTube <laughs> stuff? Like, like, should we automate it? Like, we can. We can yeah. automate it. Yes. And should then, we? Maybe not. <laughs> when it goes terribly, we just cut away to one of those <laughs> video clips of, like, yeah. the phone blending. Yeah. yeah. So he does some crazy stuff. He did, like, boots and, like, yeah. a cardboard. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I mean... I mean uh, not to not to totally hijack this conversation, but since I'm on, can I give some people a peek into what I'm working on? Can I, uh, can I give some um, people a peek into what I'm working on? I, yes. Uh, here at HubSpot Academy. Kyle has uh, some news. So we're doing a launch today. Kyle, you're a little, uh, you're coming in choppy for a second there. So I'm going to leave, cool. I'm going to pull back my, uh, <laughs> on my resources here. Yeah, something bad is happening with the internet. Can, uh... <laughs> there we go. Yep. Yep. Those in the chat, can you still hear Kyle? <laughs> All right. All right, yeah, hit it. Or I can't hear you maybe through. Uh, Ooh, I can see you now. Can you say something? Can you see? Yeah. Hello? Am yeah. I back? Okay. Ooh, the video was <laughs> okay. slag. I want to make I, sure that I video. suspect this is. <laughs> Yeah, no, I suspect this may be a, a computer issue on my end. It's uh, we're, reaching we're reaching the end of the usable life here, I think. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Kyle uh, uh, is here with us for HubSpot Super Admin launch, which we're very appreciative of. And he's just included and always available and, and makes himself seen. Uh, <laughs> but that's not the only thing happening today. There's actually quite a few things happening no. today. No. Yeah, so I am. Uh, we are in the final few minutes here of finally launching a revenue operations certification uh, that will be going live sometime today. Uh, just finishing up a few odds and ends. Um, so that's it's been a long time coming, and I'm so excited to get it out. It's so awesome. Um, we've got like 22 different revenue operations professionals featured in there. We talk about everything from setting up processes to hiring teams to, to everything. Um, and uh, it's going out today. So you can uh, definitely expect I'll be uh, I'll be trumpeting the news on that on LinkedIn. Um, and then um, even more in the background, uh, this is this is more super secret. I'm just going to tell my my nice closest friends here in the HubSpot super admin community. Um, I'm, I'm working on a HubSpot admin certification. Um, it is pretty unofficial at this point. Uh, HubSpot is not um, putting any resources <laughs> against it in 2022, but I'm I'm hoping to to build a case for it to be a big priority in 2023. So what I'm doing 
just to give you a a a, a taste is um I've I've got myself a an enterprise portal. It's got enterprise everything in it, and I am carefully curating chaos in there. Um, I've <laughs> I've never. It's like Kyle's house of mirrors. Uh, you move deals to deal stages, they vanish. Um, and I'm I'm coming. I'm building in Survey Monkey a sort of exam, and it's just like, why is this problem happening? How did this happen? Where did this come from? Um, and uh, it's going to be a very hands-on, very interactive exam. Um, so I, um, That's sometime awesome. starting probably in April, uh, it's going to take me a few more weeks to get this fully built out, but I'm going to be looking for beta testers. Um, uh, kind of the format will be you spend an hour on zoom with me while we go through it together. Um, and you tell me if it's good or bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, and beta so, uh, just kind of going in and through and looking at yeah. and seeing what they see. Yeah. So you here in, at the launch of the of the super admin community um if you're interested in getting in on that reach out to me on discord um or linkedin or whatever and uh let's make it happen i'm i'm, I'm trying to start building a list of people who are interested like i said i'm still in the process of building it it'll take me a couple more weeks to get it exactly how i want it but um i am so excited to make something uh that's that's unique and hubspotty and special like uh, professional awesome. certifications out in the world um especially admin certifications have this reputation of just being like ruling proctored multiple choice exams um <laughs> i want this to be fun i want this to be a game you play where you go in and just show how awesome you are at being an admin um i'm not going to be able to award any badges uh in 2022 <laughs> probably but as we as we work through it together um we're going to be able to to build something that i think i'll be able to take to to hubspot higher ups and be like look we need to build this this is what our super admins say they want this is how they can right. we can verify their skills in the marketplace um and empower them um i i think it's gonna be awesome that's amazing and the... <laughs> i'm getting a ton of dms on discord now <laughs> love it you're all in on discord is just saying go 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay yes Beta uh, so... <laughs> oh everyone's liking the dm <laughs> kyle <laughs> Yeah, so you're all you're auto all auto approved. Um, it I, I'll add you to my super official text document where I'm collecting <laughs> interested people, and I'll be in touch in a month or so. He's got his note open. He's like, the note. Okay, I've got the note. Uh, you know the the way of a puzzle, the way you framed it as a puzzle is so right. You know the. <laughs> It's not clear that here's step one. Okay, can you accomplish step one? Here's step two. It's something happened. Yeah. <laughs> step one is figure out what the heck just happened. I can't, it's not, can you solve this problem? Because that's like step three or four probably. Right. <laughs> so in a super admin, I love that you're just going to mess around. You're going to ask them to do a random thing. but And now it's not, did that work? It's tell me what happened. Yeah. Yeah, well, the, kind of the nexus of this idea, I was I was doing a hug presentation uh, about a year ago. It was, it was shortly after um, Operations Hub had launched. And I wanted to demonstrate this new uh, data quality automation thing. So there's this workflow action where you can like format dates and change capitalization and stuff. And so what I did was I built this uh, form. It was actually a meeting link. And you would choose a time, and then you would type in your name and your email address, and then you would say um, you would select your region. Um, and then the workflow would look at your region and send you a confirmation email and it would format the, uh, the date mm. according to the, the region you had selected. And so I built this workflow, did it for a hug. It was great. A few weeks or a month later, another hug wanted me to talk about Operations Hub. So I go into my portal and I just test it real quick right beforehand. And instead of sending a date, it said, test, test, test. And I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> That's and so I had to dig in and I realized like some workflow I'd built for a random LinkedIn video at some point used the same field and uh, and and broke it, right? And I had this moment of like, oh, this is what admins do. <laughs> right? like, it's just like, this is the job. This, I get it now. <laughs> and I was like, this is what the test should be, right? It shouldn't just be like hypothetically. Um, mm -hmm. if, if, a if a, uh, if a contact is in a delay in a workflow and you change the amount of the time of delay, what will happen? <laughs> right. I expect you to have the entire knowledge base downloaded into your brain for this proctored exam, right? That's not what we want. <laughs> like the exam should be like something crazy just happened in HubSpot and I don't know what's going on. 
Can you help me? Please. You're going to have to make Before a, whole I get new fired. Server, a whole new server that is like the company, like the Acme company, and you just have to DM them. They have to just be ready. So then you're now <laughs> doing like a time to respond. Yeah. Right? Like, no, I would... Oh, hey, got your response. Someday, I'm going to go some... figure out what happened. <laughs> yeah, future state, five-year plan. I would love for the HubSpot admin cert to be just like a, a, a chat bot somewhere. Right, and you just go here. Here at HubSpot, we use we use Slack internally, and we have a magic of Jeopardy Slack channel where there is a, a a Trebek bot, and you can just go in and say Trebek Jeopardy me, Trebek bot Jeopardy me, and it'll ask you questions, and then you give answers. I guess it gives answers, and you right. give questions because it's Jeopardy. And then if you're right, it it increments your score up. And I would I would love for that to be the HubSpot admin exam. Right, you just hop in and like I'm ready. Hit me. <laughs> it was like, why is this email say test, test, test? Like, why did my deal disappear? Why can't I see this data? Who imported this, this, this pot? Right. And just like, how many can you get through? Like, right, right. And watch your score grow up. I would, that's my dream state, but that that's years in the future, the, probably. The idea of you determining that now that you've registered for this certification over the next week, like you time bucket it, but you get it like a week over the next week. You're, you're now, I'm your client. And so you're now in this whatever chat and maybe there's a chat bot. And so you have to respond to my messages. You have to be timely. You have to treat me <laughs> that way. And hopefully you don't have a real job. <laughs> <laughs> Tell your boss you're taking this week off because Kyle's just going to be inundating you with text messages and emails and phone calls asking for help. <laughs> Announcement today. <laughs> Everyone gets paid time off from HubSpot. For whoa, real hey, job. whoa, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> to complete this certification. Uh, did you see the uh, the joke, our April Fool's joke yet? Oh, no. Where is that? <laughs> All right, so everyone listening on uh, LinkedIn, Twitch, YouTube, and or uh, Twitter, and those of you listening in the Discord, if you go over to our LinkedIn page, the HubSpot Super Admin on LinkedIn, you will <laughs> enjoy some hilarity that is happy April Fool's Day. <laughs> so we had our first post today be the April Fool's joke of the day, which is HubSpot so easy to use. It just runs itself. Oh, man. <laughs> so it says, breaking news. <laughs> HubSpot so easy to use it run its, runs itself. There's a HubSpot admin mass firing occurring around the globe. <laughs> <laughs> the academy is uh. shutting down. Certifications aren't needed. They, you don't need them anymore. <laughs> this hurts April a little too fools. much to be funny, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> April fools. April fools. April fools. They had to um, sneak in an April Fool's joke. My uh, my eight year old son, I think, is going to make a lot of enemies in second grade today, because um, he stayed up late last night with some brown construction paper and scissors, and he cut out capital letter E's, a whole bunch of them, so he can take brownies to school. <laughs> so he has this little paper plate, and it's plate. covered in foil. And he's like, I brought brownies, and everybody's going to be so excited, and then he's going to open it, ha ha ha, brownies. And I really, I'm worried he's going to come home with a black eye. <laughs> I'm uh, worried his friend count is going to be lower as a result. <laughs> it's funny. This is a, a trick. He was in like a, a daycare pre, preschool thing years ago. Um, and the teacher played this prank on his class. And he thought it was hilarious because he loves jokes. Everyone else in the class cried. They all cried. Oh, wow. But for some reason... In his mind, he's like, you know what would be a good idea <laughs> if I played this trick on my second grade class? I bet they won't cry, but they'll laugh. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> he sounds like a unique kid, for sure. <laughs> yeah. He has his own thing going. <laughs> yeah, he absolutely does. <laughs> so big announcements already. We're launching HubSpot Super Admin. There's going to be the RevOps certification coming out today. Kyle yep. is in the office for the first time in 48 years. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like it, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and they're finishing that up. But also, you are shadow creating in the the background 
yeah. a uh, Hub, uh, HubSpot admin yeah. certification. Well, and no, I, I mentioned earlier on, um, HubSpot is really good at focus. And I've talked to a couple of vice presidents at HubSpot. And I'm like, I want to do this admin cert thing. And here's my vision. And they've both been like, sounds great. Uh, test and research this year. Build the case so we can make it a priority for next year. And so mm -hmm. that's what I'm doing. I'm just on my own. Like, I, I can't. I can't use the academy infrastructure, so I'm building an exam and survey monkey, and um, I, it's, I don't know. I'm just really excited. I, I imagine uh, my, the first couple people to go through it will be like, Kyle, these questions don't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> but with each, each person who goes through it, it'll get better. And like by the end of the year, I bet I'll be able to say to HubSpot, like, you know what you need to build? This. Here it is. <laughs> Approved by Here like... 50 members of the HubSpot Super Admin community. They vouch for, for it being a good test. I love that. It'll be fun for those testers or beta testers to go through a couple iterations and just feel yeah. the direction move to, to what it should be. Yeah. What, uh, what is your story, Kyle? Can we go back and, and go personal? So you are here today to plant the stake at HubSpot. I have my HubSpot socks on. That's about as HubSpotty as as I get. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and you're in the academy, right? And we watch your videos for product updates. Uh, where did where did that trajectory start? Where did that begin? How did we get here? <laughs> How did we get here? <laughs> um, yeah. So I mean, um, if I could take a real running start at it, I. Uh... Um, I studied linguistics in college and loved it and wanted to go on to grad school. Um, but as an undergrad, I got married. Uh, my wife was a year behind me in school. So instead of going straight to grad school, I got a job at a tech company. This is in Utah. That's where I went to school um, and uh, did some sales, uh, really lousy, like icky outbound sales, <laughs> like yeah, yeah. the cold calling list scraped from the internet sort of sales <laughs> um, and then moved over to customer success and then like helped found their technical support team. Instead of staying for a year, I stayed for almost three because I just loved it so much. Um, but then, you know, dreams are dreams. Still want to go to grad school. So I moved to Boston, mm -hmm. go to Boston University, get a master's degree in linguistics, thinking I would go on to a PhD. But after three years in tech, higher ed was just like, I, I can't handle this. <laughs> it's just so slow and rigid and hard to navigate. And so I finished my program, um, fell in love with Boston, started looking for Boston tech companies um, and HubSpot. Interesting. was incredible. Um, I saw the, the culture code and heart and all that. And I was like, you know, in my skeptical brain, I believe this is just hype to make people like me apply to this company. But on the off chance it's real, I'm applying. And I got hired and it is real. Like, I love the culture here. Um, I was on a tech support team for the CRM. HubSpot CRM launched it inbound in 2014. I joined in June 2015. It was this brand new product. Uh, there were like five of us supporting it. Um, and did that for a few months. And then uh, HubSpot Academy was charged with teaching people about sales and how to use the CRM. And no one on the team knew how to do it. So I, I moved over to the Academy side. Uh, my manager was like, I wanted to be a professor. Like, maybe this would work. And it worked. And so I've been on HubSpot Academy for like six years, uh, mostly building sales and CRM content. Um, but then, like, I don't know, November 2020, uh, Daniel Curran, he, he, he owns org chart hub, uh, an integration. Some of you may be familiar with, mm -hmm. um, he just posted on LinkedIn and was like, what's the most underrated or underutilized feature in HubSpot? Like what feature in HubSpot do you think everyone should know about? Um, and I thought of snippets immediately. I love snippets. Uh, but then, uh, everybody had said snippets. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, it's something people might not think of. And so we, we have this deduplication tool, right? You can go in and and use a little machine learning to, to deduplicate your records. Now, so I mentioned that. And a bunch of people responded and were like, wait, what? I didn't know that was a thing. Where is that? And so I was like, oh, I don't know how to explain. I'll just record a video. And so I recorded a video and put it on LinkedIn. Like, here is this deduplication tool that apparently nobody knows about. And people commented on the video and was like, this was great. Can you do more of these? I was like, well. I've, I've already explained the deduplication tool, but I went back to that thread Daniel had posted and I just looked through all the comments and like, okay, someone mentioned snippets, somebody mentioned sequences, somebody mentioned this tool. And so I just made one video for each of them, like each of them. Uh, and uh, for like two weeks, just did a video a day. And the feedback was like really solid. It turned out people were really interested in these little like 
six feet and 90 second HubSpot explainer videos wow. filmed in a single take on my webcam. Like my whole career at HubSpot Academy had been about like DSLR cameras and professional editing and, and carefully crafted PowerPoint slides and, and scripted like with teleprompters and like, turns out people really just want me to just hit record on my webcam and explain some stuff off the top of my head. And so, uh, that and was not really to get great. too deep, Kyle, like that seemed to be like the 2020, 2021 antithesis of, of humans, that at right. the end of the day, the quality is subjective. I'm actually just getting right. so much value of what you're saying. I'm not trying to see you in a productive production studio. Yeah. I want to hear what you have to say. I right. love that. And for, for me, it's like to make, to make an academy lesson or course takes forever, right? Because I have to lay out the learning objectives and, and get those perfect and then I have to write the script and get that edited and then I have to record it and get that edited and like this this revenue operations certification we're launching um today I've been working on for more than a year um it's taken wow. forever to get out the door whereas like my two minute LinkedIn videos take me 10 minutes to make <laughs> I, I log into HubSpot I hit record I go uh, I like trim the ends export it out generate some subtitles and post it right <laughs> that's yeah. all yeah. I do um and so the volume I'm able to do of these videos is huge. Um, and so uh, it turned out, I learned, end of 2020, people really like that. So 2021, I set myself a goal, like, I wonder if I can do this every single business day for all of 2021. And the answer was no. <laughs> I ran out of stuff. But it's funny, like, um, I, I, when I started getting hungry for, like, I am out of HubSpot tips. I do not have enough to fill a year. I realized, like, well... Uh, as a, an employee, I have this internal uh, email newsletter I receive every time a new feature goes live. Like our customers would probably be into learning about that. And it turns out that's what that's what you all really wanted, right? Like <laughs> tips and tricks is fine, but I should have called the hashtag instead of HubSpot tips and tricks. I should have just called it like HubSpot now or HubSpot updates or HubSpot this. Because it's not tips and tricks. It's just like today we release this, today we release that. Because nearly every day, certainly multiple times a week, we release some new feature. It's, and so that seems that way. It's crazy that yeah. this new little thing works. And it's so user experience obvious that the team behind HubSpot is, is getting nitpicky and making sure that the use case, the business case on screen is being fulfilled. And so when you were showing the inbox and now you can do these two things in stream in the inbox, in the service inbox. It was like, well, yeah. And I love that that's oh, right. the reaction, right? It's right. that is what it should be. Well, yeah, I should do that. Well, right. now you can do that. <laughs> now it works that way. <laughs> and, and it's funny, like, I feel like my updates typically fall into two buckets. One is, oh, um, I didn't realize HubSpot didn't work this way. This is the way I would have expected it to work if someone had asked me, and now it actually works that way. Um, and then the other one is like, I had no idea I wanted this, but I love it, right? Like that yeah. Zoom app we just came out with, awesome, <laughs> right? Awesome. Um, and uh, one of my most popular videos in a long time. And so uh, for me, it's fun. Um, I, I, uh, I, I do this. Uh, I'm, I'm pumping out the videos. And uh, if it's, it's kind of like LinkedIn roulette every time. Because sometimes I'll, I'll announce a, a feature and be like, this is gonna blow your mind, it's just crickets. Like, <laughs> no, nobody cares. And then sometimes I'll be like, and now we have an integration with Microsoft Teams, which I don't use, so I can't demo for you, but it's live. And people are like, lose their minds. They're like, Microsoft Teams. That is my most popular video ever. I got like 30,000 views. Wow. And it's like, okay, well, okay. I can't anticipate what you guys want, so I'm just gonna tell you everything, right? Yeah. And, and if you like it, like it. And if you don't like it, fine, I'll be back again soon with another. Um, but yeah, we are right now. We are in a, a season of like there's so many updates coming out. I I, I only post one video a day because I think anything more than that would just like overwhelm people, and I don't know how LinkedIn's algorithm would feel about it. So I've got like this backlog. I've got like four or five videos just sitting on my desktop waiting for me to publish to LinkedIn. <laughs> yeah, I don't know live, if I can LinkedIn implement. I don't know if I have enough time in the day to consume what you say internalize it and then put that into either a, a, the workflow that we're already doing, right? Update right. the workflow or update the all of the instance in the way it needs to be updated or do the yeah. training. <laughs> so if you did two a day, it's like, 
Yeah, I can't implement all these yet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Just, I, 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 yeah, yeah, certainly diminishing returns. I think one a day is plenty. Um, and so yeah, like um, that's that's a thing, and like it's a, it's, it, I, it's, it's it's weird for me because like I can't really tell the impact, right? Like I can see how many views it got, I can see how many comments it got, um, but like I don't, I'm I'm getting this weird sense that like people know who I am now. I have like somehow turned myself into HubSpot's mascot <laughs> or something of uh, people yes. just know me internally and externally. And like, that's kind of weird. Cool, I guess, but kind of weird. Um, and so I'm trying to, I've been talking a lot with my manager about like, what if this, what if this was my job? <laughs> what if this was a thing? <laughs> what, if, what if, you know, like it feels like I'm loving it, no complaints, but like it seems strange that the best source of information about what's happening in HubSpot is someone's personal LinkedIn channel, right? Like it seems yeah, like there should be yeah. some official HubSpot space somewhere. And like LinkedIn is great because it's timely, but like then all those videos just kind of disappear into the ether. And like people will ask me sometimes, they're like, hey, hey, that video you did on the on the deals workflow thing, like where is it? And like I have to go dig it up and it's really like searching on LinkedIn is I, awful. I appreciate everything you're saying. I would love to put a point on <laughs> something you're saying that I think is – is not really known and not really understood. The videos you put out on LinkedIn are your personal videos on your personal time <laughs> on your personal page. Yeah. yeah <laughs> I don't know that that's be. obvious, right? <laughs> it feels like it's your job. One, yeah. you do such a good job with it. And two, it's timely and relevant. Yeah. So I would I would love for it to become my official. I would love for there to be a space for those videos to live. I've I've been faithfully saving them in a a Google Drive folder. There's now more than two hundred of them. Holy cow! Um, and it's just like it would be great if I could put these someplace people could find them, <laughs> right? Like search by date and product and see you know what's going on. Um, but haven't quite haven't quite solved that mystery yet. Um, but yeah. So. If you just want to share, just between us though, like the your boss's email, we can all email them. <laughs> make, make it's just this Kyle's a job. whole inbox of make this Kyle's uh, job. So, so my my manager, uh, her name is Constance. She's lovely. She is totally on board with this. We were just yeah, talking about yeah. this a day or two ago, um, and trying to figure out how to scale this out and make it more of a thing because, like, it's clear uh, you, you all are finding value in this, right? And so. Mm -hmm. That alone is a reason to keep doing it, but like, it makes me think that there are probably a lot of HubSpot customers out there who don't know I exist, right? Nobody has told them to follow me on LinkedIn, or they aren't on LinkedIn, right? Like, that's not a crime to not be a LinkedIn user. Um, but then, like, how do you learn what's happening in HubSpot? And so we, yeah, lots, lots of, lots of room to to grow there and, and solve that problem better. We have this awesome Discord for this this new community <laughs> called the HubSpot Super Admin, where you can learn oh, about all the new that. updates. <laughs> we're we're gonna be the 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 community sharing. We just need you to have it as your job at HubSpot to <laughs> tell us what's going on. <laughs> uh, it has been fun this past week. You said you were in discord and it was a new experience for you uh the amount of professional experiences i've had in discord over the past two years has grown exponentially so talk in a minute about discord and hubspot super admin choosing discord uh i was facilitating startup weekend in 2020 and it was the first online put on by Techstars, and so we had to figure out how all of this stuff worked and Discord was this place where gamers would use while you're on a game and you're playing there. How can you talk to each other? And it was this great audio platform. Well, they rolled out all these great features so that it wasn't just you talking to each other and it wasn't just chatting, texting uh, with your keyboard. It had a video feature. It had a screen share. You could do them simultaneously. You could click into it and then click out of it. It wasn't like set up an invite. Okay, now there's a meeting and then breakout rooms where like Zoom was doing that real well. It was, we need to just kind of flow between rooms and it became more like a conference. It became yeah. like, there's this stage I can go to and listen, but then I can just go to like that tall table outside and chit chat with some folks. 
And so that was really the whole thing behind Discord. And Discord has that ability where you to literally click into a channel and now you're in a conversation with someone. You want to share your screen and show them what you're doing, click share screen. You know, the, uh, I, I so that's where the Discord's coming from. So the HubSpot super admin community being in Discord really is showing what it is that the world we're living in where you're just expected to be able to talk with someone real quick. It's expected now that technology should just enable me to have the conversation the way I want to have it. And that's what we found in Discord, which is which is lots of fun so far. If you're not in the Discord, you can see at the very bottom here, uh, we have a ticker running called that, that says join the Discord and then HubSpot Super Admin. If you go over there up at the top right, there's a, a the invite link. You can go and join the Discord. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. You just have to verify that it's you. And then once you're in, we're on the stage, and there's multiple different channels. These channels are all about sharing your experiences or your questions or ideas. We're live there right now uh, in the coffee shop chit-chat channel. That's just the ongoing <laughs> chatter from the community using HubSpot app and PandaDoc together. People are chatting in there now. We have 14 people uh, on the stage listening in on Discord while we're there. We're also live on Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Twitch. Uh, I was, <laughs> Kyle, I was talking with Max Cohen on uh, oh, yeah. the other night, and he said, I tried to get those Twitch streamers to talk about business stuff. <laughs> he said, they're just not having it. <laughs> <laughs> they want their Fortnite. They want their Dota. They want their League. <laughs> So we'll see if we can uh, we can break into the the yeah Twitch community. Are those people are on? I guess we're doing an eight hour tear today, so we'll see. Uh, <laughs> but they're on all day long. <laughs> have Have you considered just live streaming uh, your your work day? Has that ever been a, a consideration? Me? Yeah. No, that would not be interesting at all. <laughs> it's crazy. So if you live stream, your, my consideration is the data. Like if I'm showing emails and names that are, you know, contacts and, and phone numbers, I wish that could just somehow <laughs> blur on whatever live stream. It's an interesting thought, though, that you say it wouldn't be, it would be boring or it wouldn't be interesting. Because so many people are watching other people play games. And so many people are watching these updates to you <laughs> or to the person who's streaming. It's like, I'm just doing work. I don't know. <laughs> Farmville yeah. is you putting on a farm and people <laughs> live stream themselves <laughs> the thing is, on like, Farmville. Sometimes, sometimes I'll be doing one of my LinkedIn videos. And like something will happen, right? The internet will glitch or I'll get an error message or like something, I click the wrong button, I can't figure out. And then when I go through the video, I, I forget in those moments that my webcam is still going and there's so much of it that's just like. <laughs> uh, understood, understood. And so it's just like, I feel like that's probably what I look like all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun to take pictures like that when you're uh, <laughs> when you're <laughs> pushed up against the like an old man. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh... <laughs> so some we talked through some tips and tricks. Uh we talked about the launch of the RevOps certification. We're here live on the HubSpot Super Admin launch and the uh HubSpot admin black ops super secret certification that's coming we talked about where you can find us uh we're online we're on discord live uh in the discord you can find it at hubspot superadmin.com uh today we're going to be on live for eight hours we're going to be on from nine to five eastern this is our first hour with kyle jepson he's the uh he works over at hubspot on the academy team if you want to find him what is, do you like LinkedIn the best, Kyle? Is it the outreach? Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 
in general, LinkedIn is the place to find me. Who knows? Maybe Discord will become my default. But uh, um, there's yeah, this yeah. community you reach out to me on uh, on LinkedIn. Um, it's, especially if you let me know you're you're an admin, uh, mm -hmm. whether it's it's in your title, and I'll see that in the connect request, or you include a note saying, "Hey, I'm a super admin," or "I saw you at the super admin thing." Like, um, you're my people right now. I am so interested in in, in admins because for so long HubSpot told this story, which apparently is now an April Fool's joke that like <laughs> HubSpot's so easy, you don't need an admin. I'm like, I'm pretty sure there are admins. Like, I'm pretty sure you have to have one. I'm pretty uh, sure there's a user title in your app, <laughs> right. HubSpot. Yeah, like, uh, so don't we want these people knowing what they're doing? <laughs> and so, got it. That's the, the mission I'm on now. But yeah, so messaging on LinkedIn, let them know you're an admin. And uh, you can also find them on the Discord. And, and we talked through uh, what, let's see, yours is. Uh, your favorite is workflows. That's right. Uh, if you are listening to us and you have a question for Kyle, you want Kyle to talk about something, you have a Q&A. We have a couple things that we want to run through with you before the hour is up, which is in about 15 minutes. And so uh, in the next five, 10 minutes, if you have a question for Kyle, drop it in the chit chat over on Discord. Drop it over in the chit chat uh, at the coffee shop. And Kyle can answer it uh, live for you. You know, if if we were cool, we would bring people on so you could hear. It's not going to be I on live, live. Cool. <laughs> if somebody's going to ask me a question I don't know the answer to, here's, here's the thing you need to know about me, folks. Like, I've been at HubSpot almost seven years, so I do know kind of a lot of stuff, but... I'm primarily a researcher, right? Like, uh, you watch me in the academy. I've I've spent months researching that stuff and and writing a, a very intelligent script that I then read off of a teleprompter. Um, I reserve the right not to be quick on my feet, <laughs> but uh, I am I'm happy to help however I can. If you if you ask me a real stumper if I don't know the answer, um, I can find someone at HubSpot who does know the answer and get back to you. I'm happy to do that, but I just want to manage expectations here. I'm not like I don't know everything. <laughs> I reserve the right to not be Dr. Manhattan. Right. <laughs> and <laughs> know the future, the past, all the answers presently. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That, that, that's, that's just my little disclaimer there. <laughs> oh, wow. What do we got? I love that. Okay, so you just said, I don't have all the answers. Yet I would consider you someone who is a super admin. And so... I would love to tear into that, go one or two layers deep that, and this will probably come out in the certification. It's not that you've memorized these sets of facts and then you've answered correctly. How do you, how do you overlap the Venn diagram of being a researcher and your skills as a super admin? See, here's, here's the thing. Honestly, like I, I do not consider myself a super admin. I, I so uh, many of you probably know, Matt Bullion over at Rev Partners. I was once having a conversation with him, and I was like, "I'm not a super admin. If there's, if if you're hiring a super admin, don't hire me." And he was like, "What? Why?" And it's just like I've never done it before, right? Like every demo I do is dummy data. I've never operated in a in, a, in an arena where the stakes are high, where where the people are real, right? Like if I accidentally delete a user from my my portal, or if I create a, a workflow like I did that one time that replaces some, some crucial value, value with test, 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 test and send, send out marketing email emails with that value. Like, like who cares? cares? All, All those emails are just going to me anyway, right? right? But, but like you and like your businesses, businesses what you do matters. matters. <laughs> the impact <laughs> you have is <laughs> incredible and the stakes, stakes are pretty are high, high, right? We're, We're talking about real business value here. We're talking about revenue and people's jobs and your customer's experience. Like I've never operated in that environment before. And so like, yeah, I know HubSpot pretty good. I'd be happy to train super admins, right? Like I'm I'm working in that direction to make that happen. Um, but like to hire me as a super admin, no way. That would not be a good plan. I like, I think I could grow into it. I think I could yeah. be pretty good at it eventually, but I, I shudder to think what sort of mistakes I'd make across the way because my, my whole experience in admin or, or in HubSpot has been in this happy-go-lucky world of test portals and, and dummy data where like it, 
I can do whatever I want. And I, I don't, I don't, I don't care. care. Nobody cares. Right? And that makes um, sense. That makes sense, Kyle. The, no. the right now hire, the, <laughs> the LinkedIn post that you hit easy apply to, you know, pulls your experience. Someone's going to hire you on. But of course, yes, immediately, you're not going to uh, <laughs> instantaneously do everything correctly. I, I concede the point. So I, some other questions. Oh, I will continue to push that. <laughs> you would be able to very well do a, do a great job of taking what you can do with the dummy data and putting a layer of testing between you and the live. Yeah. And, and from that, have the research capability. And this is what I was getting to is you, you don't have all the answers. And it's almost to your point, too. You can't start hit the ground running and do everything perfect. And little secret, no HubSpot admin will. Right. It is that layer of I'm able to find out, do the research, what happened, what's affected, and then possibilities of recommendations to, of, of action steps to then test all of those actions, see what makes the most sense. Once we've determined, now we deploy. Now we move yeah. forward. Now we set up the sequence. And that is what I think of when I think of you is not that you have all the answers immediately. <laughs> Rather, you have the research capability to understand what's going on and and, and bring recommendations forward. Right. And, yeah. and I think that's why I have so much fun braining, brainstorming workflows and stuff with people on, on LinkedIn and soon Discord, I imagine. Because, like, they're like, I'm kind of thinking about doing it this way. I'm like... Cool. I'll, I'll go, go build that in my portal real quick, and if anything blows up, I'll let you know. <laughs> right? And like, it's fine. <laughs> Kyle, right. that's it. You, I think you just. We should just clip that. All right. That's exactly what it is. Yes. Uh, cool. So I've seen a couple questions here. Non-technical. Did you expect HubSpot to be where it is today when you joined? No. Um, so the the CRM had just launched. Uh, we had our sales tools at that time were called Sidekick, which was basically just our Gmail extension. Um, and then, like, I mean, shortly after I was hired, we came out with sequences, and we came out with meeting links, right? Like, we were very early, uh, very early stages of uh, uh, of that um, product line. And then uh, it, it was a year or two later, uh, Brian Halligan, CEO, co-founder, announced, we're going to build something for a service team. And I remember being like, okay, come on, really? Like, <laughs> can we really be good at, how many things can we be good at? Right, and then like I, I mean, it's taken a while. Service Hub, it's taken a while to grow up, but like last month we released a ton of new features, and um, we're we're getting there. Uh, oh, Tobias remembers lead in. Uh, so there's a real. <laughs> yeah, so that was our uh, our WordPress plugin. Uh, now we have a, a full WordPress integration, and, and we want people to use our CMS. But yeah, like that's why I've grown up. Um, and it's it's been good. Uh, people are getting a lag. Uh, I don't know if, I'm, if anybody's understanding me. I don't know. But anyway, short answer: No, I didn't expect HubSpot to get here. And I'm a little curious to see where it grows from here, because, um, I mean, I feel like we've got the front office covered pretty well. Marketing, sales, service. We're doing operation stuff now. We're trying to get better for developers. Um, Payments thing that's happening is super cool. Uh, looking forward to that, that growing and becoming internationally available. Um, but beyond that, like I don't really know. <laughs> like, what else? There can don't we seem do? to be any big gaps for me. Um, so I don't know where we'll go next. But I'm happy to be along on the ride. Um, what other questions? So, um, why has there never been an official change log for HubSpot features like with the developer doc? Mm. Um, Officially, I, I don't know. Um, and I, I don't know what exactly would count as official. Um, I, something I just recorded a video for yesterday. It'll hit LinkedIn in the next week or so when I get to it. Um, I, there is inside your HubSpot portal a way to see a feed of, of product updates, and it's tailored to whatever your subscription is. Um, if you just, in the top right corner of your screen, click the, your little avatar. For me, it's a picture of my face. Um, in there, there's a product updates menu item. Um, and it's, it's, it, it pulls from the same source that uh, I, get, I get all my updates from. And so you can actually look at that and see some of the stuff I choose not to make videos about because I don't think they're very visually interesting. 
Um, but yeah, uh, that's uh, that's about as official as it gets. I'm really pushing HubSpot to try to figure out a better way to communicate this out. I think the popularity of my, uh, my LinkedIn videos shows there's a real need for an official something from HubSpot. Right, uh, right. But we don't exactly know what that looks like yet. Tobias, I don't know when business units will be out of beta. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I, I could, uh, the thing about things coming out of beta is it depends so much on the feedback we get. So I could probably dig and find a, a tentative release date if you really want that. Um, but uh, it, uh, it depends a lot on just how the beta goes. So um, Some people were talking about that in the Discord, the, the business units, and I was wondering if groups would, would be a, a helpful if you don't have the beta, some people maybe set up groups of users. But um, yeah, if you don't, is there a way to get the beta for business units? Or does everyone have it? So business units is an enterprise only feature. Uh, but if you have enterprise, uh, just talk to your, your uh, HubSpot customer success manager and they can ungate you for it, I bet. Yeah. Uh, I don't know that for sure. I don't want to promise that with 100% confidence, but uh, they probably could. Actually, now that I think about it, business units might actually be a pay to add on even for enterprise. I don't know much about business units. That's what I'm trying to say here. <laughs> what All I'm I know getting is at that is. It, it, uh, it was announced at Inbound, and I got super excited and made a, made a LinkedIn video about it. And then all the comments were like, I don't have access to this. What? I, this doesn't exist. What? That's not real. I'm like, oh, all right. Sorry, Sorry. everyone. <laughs> oh. that's, that, that's a thing that happens sometimes. I jump the gun on announcing things on LinkedIn. I mean, are you going to be at Inbound this year? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll be there. And be I there. have I have to go through the same application process as everyone else. I don't get any special treatment for being a HubSpot employee, but I, I applied to speak on how to be a great super admin. So, um, yes, we'll, uh, yes, we'll see if, <laughs> if they give me that. Um, That's fantastic. Well, we are nearing the top of the hour, Kyle. Yeah. I only see questions about uh, different streams lagging, which we, yeah. you don't need to address. <laughs> um, so we have uh, we have Kyle Jepson here kicking us off this morning for the launch of the HubSpot Super Admin community. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you for sharing your knowledge. Thank you for being available and making yourself available. Uh, it truly was your... I told Christina Garnett and uh, Christina Kay and, and Max and George, uh, you're kind of like that part of that little circle of just the people when I want to know uh, what I think's going on and then how to kind of correct myself or course, make sure I'm on the right course. You're just one of those people I, I look to and look at and make sure that it makes sense. You're <laughs> just that person. So thanks for being that person for us all. I'm I'm happy to be that person, and I I I am so excited that you are starting this community. Um, I I mostly just want to show up this morning to say I'm here for it. I want it to be a thing, and uh, it would have been it would have been cool if HubSpot would have carved out this space. But since that hasn't happened, I'm glad you are because I think it's needed, and I think it's going to be big. So I'm happy to be here on day one. Woohoo! Day one, guest one. It. Yeah, it's all you. Uh. We have other things to do and things to move on to, and you're finishing up the RevOps certification today. So yep. people will go into the academy to find that. It'll just like be on. Yep, it'll just be there. Um, and I will certainly be announcing it on LinkedIn. And then over the next week or so, you're going to see uh, promotions coming out of all HubSpot's social channels. Uh, but yeah, it'll be... I expect it to be live in the next couple hours. As soon as it's live, I'll, I'll announce it on LinkedIn on my personal channel. That's why I haven't posted a video yet today. I'm saving it for okay <laughs> for that. So will you throw it in the Discord too when uh, when it's done? Oh, yeah, happy to. So uh, <laughs> we're at the top of the hour, and so uh, before we go, I know uh, Shadab had said earlier this week, or maybe it was last week, when you said that you are working on it. He said. 
lets everyone, all of the super admins, if you're in the Discord, screenshot your completion of the certification today. Oh, man. If you get the certification done to, well, go get the certification done today. Do the certification and screenshot and share your screenshot of the completed certification. How cool would it be to have 30 done in the first day? That would be awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you all know <laughs> when it's there. Uh, That's fun. Well, thanks for being here. Have a great Friday. Happy Friday. Happy April 1st. Yeah. Thanks let for us, having me. I'll... Let us know. Uh, don't don't post any pictures, but let us know that your child is okay and that Brownie's <laughs> didn't. <laughs> He's not suspended cool. or anything. <laughs> Will do. Bye. All right. Take care. All right, it's just me on there. And so now we do the, all right, we remove that. Let's see, we're gonna say hi to everyone else. I'll do a roundup with everyone here. Uh, and so at the bottom of the hour, let's, let's hear where we are. So where are we at here? We're at the top of the hour, we're done with hour one. Oh, I need to add, check out my background stuff. Right, we are doing it big here. <laughs> so at the top of the hour, we're done with our first hour. Thank you to Kyle. Thank you for being on and honestly being the person that is uh, a go-to, someone who we can look to, we can understand, we can hear from. We just appreciate the updates, honestly. You're, you're doing it for all of us, showing us the way. So we'll have eight guests today. We'll have eight guests throughout the day. We just had Kyle Jepson on. Uh, our next guest coming up this hour from 10 to 11 will be Tobias. And Tobias is another admin in the community. He's on the Discord. He's active. Uh, he showed up to the soft launch. Uh, Kyle was there as well. He showed up to the soft launch, and he was an active participant. He was someone who... who participated he was someone he he said it was we had a meeting after and he just said it was one of those weird experiences that I didn't know what to expect and it wasn't what I expected and I was happy uh, what came from it so we're looking forward to having Tobias on uh, one thing we didn't get to Kyle's uh, uh, a guest I like to hear from and <laughs> we're still getting kicked off here we move fast we went fast. This is probably in the past month, uh, I would say. Everything you see and experience uh, has been coming online. So if you are on LinkedIn, if you're on Twitter, please head over to HubSpot Super Admin on LinkedIn and HubSpot Super Admin on Twitter. And there you can share. Uh, each hour we'll share the new guest and a graphic for them. You can share the live stream. Uh, if you're on LinkedIn or if you're on Twitter, you can share the live stream. Please share it today. Uh, let's make it loud today. Make it loud for the HubSpot super admin community. We appreciate all of the work people do every day. You know, it, you're in and you're doing things and, and you're working and you're making things better and you're incrementally finding ways to make it more efficient or doing more. And we want to have some fun with that. So... Yeah, we're going to be super admin. We have, we bleed orange, this HubSpot stuff. And we're, <laughs> we're unicorns and, and <laughs> all the fun stuff. So throughout the upcoming uh, months and weeks, we're going to be doing things like meme challenges. And so each hour, we'd like to be doing a, a theme. So I got to get to that. The second hour... Let's see, our our theme for the second hour uh, would be Thor. That's not Tobias's favorite superhero, but it's Thor. So I, I should pull up a little image of, of Thor over here. And so in Discord, under challenges, uh, we'll post. Let's get that going under challenges. 
this hour is this hour's theme is Thor. And you make a meme that's related to HubSpot and Thor, uh, and you reply with that meme, and then we'll have a vote on who uh, on the favorite meme. So this hour is Thor. Uh, our theme is theme is Thor. Share your best meme of <laughs> HubSpot and Thor. All right, that is in the challenges channel over on Discord, and so there you can. Uh, we want to we want to see upvotes for the favorite meme. We want to see upvotes for favorite memes. Give give some dap some and some love for the the theme meme, and from there what we can do is we can dull out some prizes. So we're also going to be doing giveaways. So we'll have a theme each hour. We just had Kyle Jepson on. Uh, we'll have Tobias here soon. Tobias, if you're listening from anywhere, you can go ahead and jump into the Google Meet whenever you're ready. And once he comes on, then uh, we'll have him. We'll have him jump on the. Oh, he's over there now. He hears me saying that he's there. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. Tobias, how are you? Good. Good. All Here's right. My, I'm uh, going to need you, Tobias. So I'm going to go back over me. to the Discord. Are you in? Yeah. I'm going to mute Kyle, but I need to hear you. Are you in the. Will you hit unmute yeah. on Discord? Uh. He's going to go over to Discord. Yeah, okay. So all of you yeah. online. Oh, can I hear you? Yeah, Say I something. think so. I can't hear you on the. Let's see. You can't hear oh, me on I'm going to have to get my audio set up on the Google Meet. Don't do anything. <laughs> okay. All right. That's playing through. All of you can hear him on the Discord. Say something in the chit chat if you One, can two, hear him. Three, four, test, test, test. <laughs> I think the hand signals help people hear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They should. Uh, are you on mute yeah, uh, in uh, in the meet? Uh, in the I meet, I was you're not. not. Okay, is your audio? Uh, Let's see. I should be able to hear you over on Discord. Um, say something for me, Tobias. I don't hear you on the meet either. Okay, I will. I will make a change. I will close yep. Discord. And, uh, <laughs> I I can't hear you. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'll be back. I'm gonna hit my preferences and check just on my end. If you are in Discord, uh, will you please let me know that you can hear Kyle, or if you're on live, uh, if you're on live, will you go over to the Discord and tell me if you can hear Tobias on on the live stream? I would love to um, hear that from you. You should... Um... Uh, go ahead, Tobias, and talk. Oh. Unmute in Discord. I think it was me. Okay. Yeah. If you unmute in Discord, I think I'll hear you. You. Oh, I do. I see. I see. I see. Yeah. Okay. Say something. There. No. Test. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's no. See. Nothing. One second. Audio, one second. Audio, audio. How about this? How about Camera. now? Input. Yep. How about now? Can you hear Output. me? Output. Yep. Yes. Can you hear me? Hmm. Yeah, you can hear me. <laughs> yes. I can no. I hear you here. Okay, so people can hear me on the Discord feed. That's good. Great. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Zuma is also kind of nice as a tool, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Nope. I, I mean, I can't hear you. Yeah, you can. Why is it that he is okay, I... on YouTube? Good. So live stream people can hear yeah. you. So this is just fun space for us now. <laughs> Good stuff. Ha ha. You know what I could do, Tobias, honestly, is go over to YouTube and listen to you. <laughs> Wait, so it might be you would lag for a second, but on... regardless, we could have a conversation. Wow. All right, so we're at the top of the hour. We're already 10 past. Cool. And we are on with Tobias. Tobias, you want to go ahead and give yourself uh, an intro and and do me yeah, a, sure. a solid while I get uh, set up with audio? Will you just tell us, Tobias, yep. who you are, where you're coming from, and uh, why it is you think we should have this why it is you've been so active already in the hubspot super admin community yeah um so my name is tobias i am from the netherlands but i moved to sweden i started my first real job uh even though you can can maybe cannot always consider agency work as a real job uh, but my 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 first full time uh, job was at a HubSpot agency back in uh, start of 2013, so almost uh, nine is that nine and a half years, almost nah yeah almost nine and a half years ago. Uh, start working with HubSpot and then HubSpot of course was <laughs> very different from what it was now. It was I think uh, the Dublin office which was their second office wasn't opened yet. Then it was a tiny, uh, I don't know how many people worked at HubSpot at that time, maybe a maybe hundred. Um, so yeah, worked with HubSpot for a long time. Then I had an agency as an employee. Then I had my own agency for a little bit. And now recently I uh, became employed again at another agency called Zuma here in uh, Sweden, where I'm currently living. And there I work, yeah, on this most fun, most uh, I'm guessing by your grin that uh, you're, uh, projects. you're talking through, you're, you're about through talking through. I'm still not able to hear you, so I apologize. Oh. No, no, no. I wasn't. I was talking just, to me. It made it made me smile when I was thinking of the fun work that I do. But, um, but the, when I was, um, why I think we need a um, community like this is just to really like brainstorm and share ideas and help each other out. And especially when you come on a level of customization of the system, where regular HubSpot support cannot really help you anymore uh, or you have such weird ideas that you really have to bounce them off of other people and like when I had my own agency um, that was really hard to find people who I could brainstorm with on, on that level uh, on HubSpot specifically now when I'm in an agency again I have colleagues that are also very skilled and with them I can bounce ideas but I think especially when you're not in an agency, like when you're a freelancer or you're just employed at a, at a company, um, you really need a place where you can bounce your ideas and brainstorm and take your, <laughs> your challenges with HubSpot um, to a bigger group of people. And that's, uh, yeah, that's, I think, what, why I am so passionate about this because it's something that's been really hard to uh, to find, and now it's here and it's amazing, and I'm super excited about it. So I hope Grant, you were able to fix your audio by now. 
Tobias, go ahead and hit your message. I appreciate you talking about why we need a community like this. And during that soft launch when you were in, it was you and, and, and Eric and Kyle. Um, Callie was in. And, um, and to me, it was... Uh, it was fun, right? We had fun. It was ridiculous. What it was also was basically showing up and, and for me that we're going to do the things that we need to do and share like our knowledge about HubSpot and, and that sort of thing. It's showing up as a human, getting to know each other as a person. And once we've done that, now we can take that relationship we've built together. We can take that relationship somewhere. We can we can now talk to each other as people. And so now that we've connected as a person, we're learning about our superheroes and we're making ridiculous uh, pictures. <laughs> now that relationship is a person because I know the rapport that we have. Now we can go and apply that to this really complex topic that might be a workflow. It might be sales stages in, in an instance. You can start to move into different things where you're going for a, a higher goal, really, because when you're not going to always reach everything with everyone every time. And so we have to start there, though, as people and show up as, as a human first. And then from there, we can get into all of these these little things that we want to start dealing with. Uh, and I think yeah. that was the special part for me that it just connected with you. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's uh... That's why this this I why I'm so happy with what you have built so far. Yeah. So, looks I, mean, I guess <laughs> I think that's why you're here, and that's why I think it's uh, important that you thought it was important. Can you talk to us kind of about your well? Let's just start with the fun one, like your favorite tool in HubSpot, like one specific thing. Like Kyle's was workflows. Your the thing that you love Sorry. about HubSpot. Did can you mute Kyle in Discord? You can hear me. Send me your phone number, Tobias, in Discord. Send me your phone number, please. Go to Discord and DM me. Because that's going to work. <laughs> there are these things with all this tech. Yeah. Have to give give you a call and we can talk there. So the the uh, idea of a individual tool or an individual specific thing. You can hear me, right, Tobias? Okay, so I only hear Kyle in the Discord, and he is about to do an interview with a candidate. So maybe you should mute Kyle <laughs> in the Discord rant. I'm going to do okay. that. You don't hear me anymore in the Discord, huh? Uh, I am muted. Get Kyle out. Ah, you can hear me now. Audio from Kyle is a bias. Yeah, <laughs> agreed. Tobias? Yeah. Can you hear me now? In the Can, Discord? Are you saying nothing? Yeah. Tobias, can you go over to your DM and uh, message me your phone number? It's both of you in the YouTube stream and they don't hear each other. <laughs> Mario, I see you. I agree. <laughs> Tobias, you're undone.
Yeah, so I put my phone number in the in the Discord. In the DM. <laughs> I'm listening to that. Isn't it like that country code? No. Happy Friday. Apologies to people right now. There's six. All right, Tobias. Yep. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I can hear you. <laughs> uh, I'm sure it's coming. Yep. It's interesting. I wonder if it's your... Uh... Well, can you hear me in the uh, Discord? Could be on your computer that the audio, yeah. Yeah, I can at least talk to you. Lizzie, a thousand percent. It'll still go into, you know, people might be able to hear like through ambient but we can have a conversation <laughs> which is fine all right let's do this at 23 past <laughs> you gave your intro kind of about you i appreciate you you soloing that uh yeah your your tool can we talk about the the tool you like the best. So I, I was asking Kyle about, okay, there's all these things you can do in HubSpot. That's cool. That's fine. What's the yeah. one thing that's your favorite? Oh, uh, well, <laughs> I think 90% of my day is spent in workflow tools and details. Uh, probably just those three tools. Uh, but in my time off, I play with the, I mostly play with the, uh, yeah, because the coded actions and workflows, I love them. Like, I think they're really fun to, uh, yeah. The they coded actions and workflows? Yeah, yeah. So it's still workflows, but. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. They are, uh, they're, they're my hobby. <laughs> But most work is just uh, is in uh, in workflows uh, for different automations, source automations, service automations, data cleaning, marketing automations. Yeah. Because you're getting, do you think that's like the clients you're working with? Or are you saying that is your favorite? Uh, so my favorite is is tinkering around with mm -hmm. uh, the custom code actions with uh, the tools that I haven't really explored that much, like with data sets, for example. Yeah. Tinkering with those features. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is what I like to do the most. Yeah, but. Tobias, they're saying they can't hear you in Discord. Is there a reason they can? I don't see your name lighting up. You're unmuted. 
Go to the Test, 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 test. Nice. I can't really hear him well on YouTube, but the call is just a little underwater effects on his voice. I have no idea. I'm, I'm trying a different microphone. What is? Wait, is it? Yeah, so. Uh, oh, you're able to, yeah. Yeah, you just don't, we really need an admin for this. <laughs> Mario said we need an admin for this. Uh, it's so, oh, okay, you started so, to. Hold on. How hey, about there you are. Now? Yeah. Okay, so apparently it's on push to talk, and <laughs> I cannot change the setting to anything else. Got it. So I'm just put in like a push to talk shortcut button, and I'll keep it down for the entire. So I have my finger on the F. Uh, Here, <laughs> I will uh, <laughs> rectify that. Uh, uh, uh. For yeah, says, sure. <laughs> Speak. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I tried. But, uh, now we can hear you in the uh, Discord. Now try it. I'll try it. I'll try it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting feedback then. Um, getting feedback you put your headphones back put in. Your headphones. Thanks, Lizzie. Yep. Thanks, Lizzie. <laughs> We'll get there. We'll get there. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> oh, now it's whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Should be done with that right now. Yeah, because our headsets. Ooh, uh, say something. I don't know that Google Meet can hear you. Let's go stairs. One, two, three, four. Oh, you're muted. Unmute Hi. yourself on Google Meet. On Google Meet. Okay, okay, cool. Now they can. All right. Thank you so much, Tobias, for being here. I want to take this opportunity to say what we just did is the day in the life of an admin in HubSpot. There are so many things to be doing. There are so many opportunities for a business to use the, the platform, all the hubs to represent their business as a use case, represent all of their processes, have everyone in, and all of the different things aligning and working together simultaneously, that's what the admin is doing. They're aligning all of those things together. And so you were saying one of your favorites is, excuse me, your favorite rather is the ability to duplicate or, or mess around with the data and, and make it work correctly. Yeah, yeah, so, so thinking around with new features in HubSpot, like, like uh, uh, custom code, code actions, like when custom objects came out, out. Uh, trying to make a custom object, uh, now with data sets, try to play around with data sets and see where yeah. the limits are again. Yeah. The data set thing looks amazing. And I think we were talking about it you know, the talk to us about data sets itself. Maybe let's just start there. So what are these new data set uh, or this new data set tool that HubSpot has? Yeah, so the, the good thing is that you can manipulate the data before putting it in a report without having to create it. Uh, with doing the ability to do a little bit more complex stuff than what you can do in a calculated property. And... Uh, 
Like that, that is my. That's the, yeah, that's the good thing about the data sets. Uh, there's still things that you that are still sort of like, oh, this is going to be this one. So, if we're talking about a single source of truth on HubSpot, then that means a single data set at scale of the company. And that is all contacts and companies and records and, and activities, blah, blah, blah. And so if you start to think, well, yeah, when you want to use the data set tool, what you have to realize is there already is a data set that is all the information all the time, everywhere. And so what the data set tool is filtering everything so that you can send this filtered data set into the, into the reports tool. Yeah, exactly. I love and, that. And manipulate the data as well uh, from the data sets too. That's right. You use calculated properties for everything. <laughs> and you don't have to nest calculated properties. <laughs> you can do that within the data set tool. Yeah. <laughs> portals, I've been in a couple of portals where there are, there is a, a, a property and then another property calls that property and then a third property calls that second property so that there can be multiple <laughs> nested. <laughs> no, that's, well, that's also like, what we do, right? <laughs> efforts, we just like try uh, to find the fixes and try to do, do the, let the system do what we want it to do. Craziness. Do craziness. Yeah, right. And, and, and yeah. You make it happen, you make it work. So the the information coming through on data sets, it does seem to be they're focused on right now, right? It's still where it's just a report, like an only output to reports. Yeah. Uh, but are you talking about using it as a, a backend checker of having information the way you want it? where you might make a report, not like necessarily a sales report, but more like all of the people that don't have, you know, based on all the conditions, that's the whole point, but then reporting the negative so that if it ever shows up, it's like your to-do list, go into this. Con Are you using it that way as a duplication? This contact has a duplication. Uh, Can you tell us more uh, about so, like, your use like case? What I would really like to, like to, do with it is go to like things like sales philosophy where you need data over the whole database rather than data points on individual contacts and oh for the entire company those sort of calculations you still will have to be sort of turn the system <laughs> sad to say <laughs> sure sure and so the velocity will take into account multiple different pieces of information across multiple different objects. And with a data set, that's what you're mm -hmm. looking to do. Yeah. Love it. Can you tell us, uh, Tobias, about your, you're here, <laughs> you're uh, an admin, you're active, you're, you're doing you edge case things in HubSpot. How did you get to be doing that? Can you tell us that story? Yeah, so it's more that I sort of like grew with the system, I guess. So I've always liked the little chill buttons and technology. And uh, yeah, my dad used to work in like old le legacy IT. And he would get like these magazines at home, and I would love looking at like the pictures of data uh, centers, even though I had no idea what it was. <laughs> but I've always wanted to like ha had a bit of like an obsession with technology and with playing around with technology. So when I started working with HubSpot in 2013, it was only marketing up and exploring the ecosystem that came out. And then, kind of what Carl said an hour before, then. Uh, lead in came out oh now we have to test that one. Oh, uh, and then uh a crm came out Ooh, we have to test that and then a sales up and then a service up and then an operations up and a cms up or first the cms and then 
why don't just by learning little things over time, just being in the system, forty hours a forty hours a week. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, you get super comfortable with the tool, and you spend some time on, on learning new features that come out, and then uh, you become a super athlete, very organic. It's been a very organic path to becoming a super athlete. Gotcha. 2013, you said? Yeah, yeah. So uh, January 2013. It's awesome. I mean, an yeah. OG, and, and like you said, you've been growing with it over time. That has allowed you to see what it is turned into. Um, yeah. And luckily, it's really just a, a single marketing. It's just like an email service. That's really all it is anymore, you know? Oh, what? wait, it is so many things. It's so much more. You know, when I literally see on Twitter people responding in a comment like, isn't that like an email marketing thing? Like, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. where have you been for a decade? <laughs> right? Like, it did start out as that. Yeah, it did. Uh, there's just, it's been, man, have things grown. And you've got to see, see it grow up, basically, which is really yeah. cool. It, yeah, it was really fun. All those different instances, and Kyle even in referenced you had mentioned some while he was on in the comments. That that was a integration, and you understood how it worked and why it was helpful. And so that now, when that's the case, you can see it, and you can understand why it's the case. Can you talk about your experience, like your history, with the tool being helpful? Why is it helpful that you've had that experience? Yeah, it's it's because you really start to understand sort of the logic behind the decisions of the product team. Um, so you understand like, oh, but it's logical that workflows still have this feature on that place because uh, before this or update it was like this so every little change that is being yeah like eric says now uh the ui has improved a lot since 2012 2013 but when you all those little like ui changes and little feature add-ins uh, right makes it super easy because your learning path is very gradual so you're just running a little bit like over time, a little tweak over time, a little tweak over time. And then, um, yeah. And, then, and so you learn and grow just over time. Like I, if I would have to get to the level where I'm at now from today. Of course, I jumped over. I, I'm not sure how I would do it. Probably right, spend again. a it's lot of cool. time in the system again. And then just hope that I, I learn it uh, quickly. I'm back with you, Tobias. That's my fault. I jumped over. Ah, okay. Well, your question was answered. Yep, understood. <laughs> <laughs> and and with people like Eric, you know, that ha have also been around, then a as you know those different use case you know the application, now you can apply it too. Yeah, I just love that, like talking to you, it's so obvious that you know how those were thought about before. And so when it's thought about now, you can tell the difference. And, and <laughs> yeah, it's great and to it have people. It happens also very often that you like, you want to do some, something with the system. So you build a workaround and you, this complicated workaround and oh, oh, finally it worked. And then like, Two months later, there's like a product update that like you don't have that you don't need that whole workaround anymore because now there's just a feature that does it for you. Uh, <laughs> so there's some. Uh, <laughs> those you are have fun some. Moments. Get to tell people like appreciate this. We didn't always have this. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you remember how we had to do this? <laughs> so then, uh, if you have a we're at uh, 20 minutes till the top of the hour. 
And Tobias has been very gracious, and I appreciate your grace, Tobias, uh, with our audio setup. Yeah. We've talked with Tobias. Of, sorry on my part. <laughs> apologies. <laughs> uh, we have Tobias on. He's a super admin. He's in the community. He's on Discord. If you want to listen to us on Discord, join the Discord. You can go to HubspotSuperAdmin.com. There's a link to the invite in the top right corner. Uh, we're live today uh, for eight hours. <laughs> what time is it for you? Isn't it like two or three? No, it's a little before five. Heard. Uh, PM. So it's uh, weekend is nearly. Yeah, thanks for joining us at the end of your day. That's a great way to cap the day. Uh, you can watch us live on YouTube, uh, on LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch. And so hopefully you're you're watching us there or you're watching this after the fact. Hello, everyone in the future. <laughs> Hello, future us. And and this is the launch of the HubSpot community, HubSpot Super Admin community kickoff. And Tobias is gracious enough to spend an hour with us, talking to us about his story, things he likes, tips and tricks. On the Discord, if you have a question or comment for Tobias, please share it there. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, we'd love to have him answer anything about the history of HubSpot, his experience with HubSpot, and, and those sorts of questions. So please put those in the chit chat on Discord. Tobias, can you talk to us about uh, a couple certifications? Uh, you don't have to specifically call out the exact name, but the certifications in the academy that you would recommend to uh, noob, budding, aspiring uh, HubSpot admins? A couple to, to start out yeah. with, or you have a whole bunch, just want to make sure these are done. So if you're going for the more technical stuff, let's do like the service hub, uh, marketing hub, service hub certifications. But from the other certifications, well, I'm very excited for the Red Hub one that I heard a rumor about. Woohoo! <laughs> Thanks, uh, Kyle. Yeah, and I, also, I, would, I would say like sales enablement one. I'm very excited about that one. Sales uh, enablement. That's one I usually recommend to people because it pinpoints an area and an idea where I think maybe most companies are struggling in not having their marketing and sales teams really well aligned, really talking to each other. Um, so I think that one is just like from a relationships within a company yeah. improvement. Uh, a really good one to follow. Sales enablement? Yeah. Sales enablement. And I really like the title of frictionless sales, but it's been some time since I followed it, so I can't really comment on the contents of that <laughs> certification anymore. Is there another one based on like a tool? So, you know, workflows or the inbox um, or pipelines anything like that too that you maybe you can just talk about your day-to-day -day yeah. and then just go find that certification <laughs> no so what i what i really like is not really the certifications but the office hours that are someplace but yes bless you the office hours Woo. that are the office hours that are sometimes organized i think those are uh are really great and then there's of course some certifications that are just for partners <laughs> Uh, and there's some really good ones there, like uh, advanced CRM implementation, some other uh, implementation related implementations that are, uh, I think, just for just for partners. Uh, so that might not be for everyone who's listening. Um, yeah, but the office hours, like data set office hour, data sync office hour. Those are the ones where I right now Gotcha. Interesting the office hours to hear that. That I didn't expect that. Okay, I like it. Because yeah, then you can just you, you have usually the product owner on the call and you can just ask all the questions you want. Exactly. Hmm. I like that. 
it's uh, it's getting it's getting to the person you want to get to and and asking the question relevant. I mean, I yeah. <laughs> It's again, so uh, on with Kyle, Tobias, I was saying how some of those updates when I see them and he's showing them, I'm like, well, of course it's supposed to work. But that's another one that I'm just hearing that, well, yeah, I would I would want to know who I need to speak to about that. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Uh, are there any podcasts that you listen to regularly that you would like to share here about? Uh, things that interest you related to HubSpot or business or RevOps? Is that not a thing? Um, I'm not a really big podcast listener, but there's two business-related ones. Oh, well, I'm not a big business-related podcast listener. <laughs> uh, but uh, on like business, there's two that I do listen to. One is called Radar by Nextworks. Next works is stuck with two axes. That's a Belgian company uh, that they organize like innovation inspiration tools, innovation. which is really cool. So they, okay. yeah, innovation inspiration. So they, they take like a bunch of business executives and take them on a tour to Silicon Valley or China or other places where on like innovation and technology and business, lots of uh, stuff is happening. So that, that, that's a, a podcast I can recommend. The that's other fun. one is a little bit self-promotion. It's called the Online, Online Application Pod by, uh, by us, by Zuma. And I do learn a lot from my colleagues from listening to that one. Let's drop yeah. a, if you're finding it there in the chat on Discord, will you drop a, a link if you are Googling these, yep. not not you, Tobias, but uh, oh, those okay. listening. And <laughs> or you can drop it simultaneously. I, I'm going to do it too. What's yeah, the I second one? Keep my finger on the app <laughs> <laughs> for the push to talk. <laughs> you don't anymore, right? Try it real quick. Let go. You no, can still hear it. I still yeah. do. I still do. Uh, say that second one again. I want to share that. Online notification pub. Hub or pub? Pub, as in like ah. podcast. Online notification pub. Are you guys uh, pushed out to all of the Spotify? Oh, I see it on Spotify. Yeah. Great. Yeah, Spotify. that over here yeah i see and clean just the pod period it's a black text with a red dot the online vacation pod yeah yeah very clean uh, this one that you published now on that uh 80 point two week i still found that one that was that was really nice and sometimes they're a little, little bit more on seo sometimes they're a little bit more on Mm -hmm. All right, and then are there, uh, so are you on the book side of things? What books are you reading right now? Oh, uh, reading right now, business related books that I am. Do you know the SAS, the Blueprint for SAS Civic Organizations? Yes. It's by Winning by Design. And those are books that I can open up and read every day. <laughs> like I, I, have the, wow. I have the whole stack here and it's it's just so amazing what the list process is and how it's so described. And it's like dream scenarios. Uh, if you want to apply it in a non sas organization, like a non tech savvy startup. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I highly recommend those. 
uh, link over to those. Because you like this scenario. So they, they give scenarios. They're sharing with you. Uh, well, <laughs> one thing that I really like about them is that there's not too much uh, reading. <laughs> it's also a lot of just uh, diagrams and uh, flowcharts and just yeah. explains exactly how, what's now the best scenario, how to uh, do, uh, how to coach an SDR, how to, what metrics should the CSM be measured on, mm -hmm. what, uh, yeah, uh, and that's, that's just, yeah, I think they're, that's great. Pretty, pretty unique. I mean, having flowcharts and processes laid out and then maybe text to support that stage, it's helpful to just see a picture and walk through a process. I'm sorry, we're human. It's yeah. nice to see a picture. Yeah, and oh, another book, but it's been some time since I read, read it, but uh, you know, Sachin Adela from uh, Microsoft, right? Uh, he had a, when he just became CEO there, he launched a book called Hit Refresh. And that one I think too. it's still a really good read. And it's very interesting to recognize how mm. Microsoft and HubSpot visions align a lot more than you might think. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. It's, it's very interesting. In if one way, in, in respect. Like a culture standpoint, internally. Uh, yeah, so like from a culture, but also from a, from a vision of doing business. Um, like yeah, we have to uh, we have to add value. We have to solve for the customer. We have to we have to make sure that we serve the customer where and how they want to be served. Right. Right. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's fun, fun overlaps and like that you can find in HubSpot and Microsoft Vision if you read this book. I just shared hit refresh. It's got him on the front. It's a blue background. It says hit refresh, uh, big and bold mm -hmm. on the front. Okay, that'll be one to look into as well. Yeah. Uh. Are there other people who you follow uh, in other ways? So the big ones, right, are podcasts and, and um, books. Are there other place? Uh, I don't care about the place is what I'm getting at. Who are the people that you either daily, weekly, or monthly are listening to about something that's important to you? And so tell us, like, who the person is and what it is that they're kind of giving you um, it, it might be a, a TikTok thread or a YouTube channel or a Twitch stream or, or a Twitter account. Yeah. Less the media, more the content and the person. Um, so let's see. I think <laughs> it might be a bit dumb, but Kyle is someone I have been following for quite some time. <laughs> of course, on LinkedIn, just for the good updates and the hacks tips and tricks. Mm -hmm. um, Brian Solis is uh, someone I, I still really like listening to and reading from because it's like his vision and customer experience and just sort of like thought provoking, uh, innovative stuff that he pushes out. Um, and then on other things. Yeah. yeah. I think those are like pretty. Kyle Jepson and Brian Salas. Uh, yeah, so Salas is S O L L E S. Okay. Um, yeah, those are. And let's see, yeah, I'll, others, my colleagues, my colleagues are awesome. <laughs> You're <laughs> awesome to say that, because it's true. I mean, obviously, you wouldn't be saying it. But 
I guess for my colleagues, I learned a lot as well. Yeah. Uh, there's there's three three guys in, in the agency that work as like digital strategists. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're all more focused on the tech. They're more focused on the strategy. It's so fun to talk to them because they always think about what about in three years? What about in mm-hmm. two years? I'm like, yeah, but we have to like implement this to the right, make sure that this field that aligns with that field. And they like zoom out. And, yeah, that's like, I really yeah. like that. That's uh, cool. So I learn a lot from them yeah. and from other people at the agency. That was one of the main reasons why I actually quit being a freelancer and got into it again. Because I wanted to have colleagues and learn from them. Sure. Rather than. We are five till the top of the hour. We've talked about who you are and where you're coming from. Have we even, well, we talked about time zone. Did you, uh, when you gave your intro, talk about where you're at physically in the world? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Sweden. Yeah. Tobias is out in Sweden and uh, is a HubSpot super admin, largely because he, in in the face of obscurity finds clarity <laughs> in the face of audio issues finds the audio <laughs> and um and we appreciate you tobias for being in the soft launch being here at uh, our second guest at the hubspot super admin community launch day uh you really just jumping in both feet first uh we've already talked multiple times right in in the past couple weeks and you're just speed to market, so to speak, of, of uh, being connected. It's uh, it's pretty inspiring. So we appreciate it. Where's the yeah. best place for people to find you? So if they want to reach out to you, is it LinkedIn? Is it an email? Yeah, LinkedIn. LinkedIn is best. Yeah. So it's... It's slash HubSpot expert. <laughs> that's right. That's right. He has the GOAT <laughs> extension. So you go to LinkedIn... Dot com. You still have to do the slash in, right? Slash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's HubSpot expert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you, soon someone will have HubSpot super admin as their backslash and they'll just be start getting <laughs> taken up, taken up HubSpot genie, HubSpot Jedi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I was super happy that HubSpot expert was still available. Like, oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, thank you for being here. We appreciate you. Appreciate you being here and jumping on with us. Uh, if you had to do a giveaway, uh, is there someone you would want to recognize a giveaway to? Might have the guests choose a, a person. So it'll be a, a shirt sticko combo pack. And we'll, we have a uh, some swag like I'm wearing of the HubSpot Super Admin. Okay. Um, Someone you want to recognize? Yeah, I. Well, that's really hard. <laughs> I, I I think either either it has to be uh, Super Hubspot Mario or uh, Shadab. Shadab's been on it, hasn't he? Because because they are like the most active active ones. I th- I feel like I see them online the most. All right, you said Mario first, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go there. Okay, uh, sorry. <laughs> Shut up! I'm sure you will get swag because you're gonna earn all the things. Yeah. Shut up! Right now is probably doing the certification for RevOps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he has the mold, doesn't he? Uh, he was telling me he had in the 20s, which I, I'm under the impression there's still 36. Hey, shut up. What's up? Yeah, we can hear you. We see you. <laughs> we see you, my friend. Well, thanks again for being here. Um, enjoy the your evening. Happy Friday. Happy April Fool's Day. What did you think of the the joke? Did you see our April Fool's this morning? Did you get it? <laughs> so on the LinkedIn page, 
You can go over to the uh, LinkedIn. We can go to HubSpot Super Admin on LinkedIn if you want to see the April Fool's joke. We made a, a post earlier this morning that just said, alert, HubSpot so easy it runs itself. <laughs> Admins are being fired left and right. <laughs> Call the helpline if you're a super admin who's getting fired. And the academy is shutting down. You don't need certifications anymore. Because <laughs> HubSpot <laughs> runs itself. <laughs> So, uh, it's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> Thanks again for being here. Have a great day. And, uh, yeah, we'll talk to you over on the Discord, Tobias. Yep. Yeah. See you there. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. All right, we'll turn his... Oh, yep, that was just me. Let's see. And our itinerary for the day. We just finished up our second hour. Woohoo! Audio was the thing. You're not kidding. We are on. Here, let's see everyone here. We are at the uh, public launch of HubSpot Super Admin. Woohoo! What's up? I need one of those audio things. <laughs> <laughs> One of those audio things. Max recommended micro SLR to me. And so uh, getting one of those installed, getting the audio set up, that's going to be a, a thing coming up. We appreciate you if you're watching this in the future. Today is uh, Friday, April 1st, 2022. My name is Grant Carlisle, and you are watching the public launch of the HubSpot Super Admin community. This community is about HubSpotters who are doing, connecting with other HubSpotters, doing HubSpot things. That, that is what it is at its core. I'm wearing the HubSpot Super Admin logo. Behind me, you see ridiculousness that is superhero lore, superhero images, and, and uh, Georgette. So everyone wave hi to Georgette. If you're in the comments on Discord, excuse me. If you're on the comments on Discord, say hi to Georgette back there. Maybe someone can make an emoji or a, a sticker and find a, a unicorn image of Georgette. She's got her red cape on. She's the HubSpot super admin mascot. And <laughs> we're, we're on live here today for eight hours from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And between those hours of 9 and 5 each hour, we're going to have a new guest. And uh, we just had, we just wrapped up our hour with Tobias. He was on with us from Sweden. And we appreciate him and his experience and his time and just how he's poured into the community. He jumped on the Discord, jumped on the soft launch, and we just appreciate him. Uh, we had Kyle on as our first guest during the first hour. He also had some announcements about the today the launch of the RevOps certification over on the HubSpot Academy. So make sure you do that today. Go over to the Academy today and do the RevOps certification or get it. No, do it today. I want to see how many people get it done today. If you finish, screenshot your completed screen and share that in the challenges channel on Discord. I've already posted in the challenges channel on Discord to reply to this with your screenshot. So go over to the challenges channel on Discord and reply. Down below, all the way below here, uh, at the bottom of your screen, there is a URL. You can go to hubspotsuperadmin.com. There uh, on the top right, you'll find a link to the Discord invite. Uh, and so you can join us over on the Discord. We invite you to join us on the Discord. That is where we will share what we're working on and get feedback. Uh, we will pose questions and receive recommendations and basically workshop through what it is we're working on. In the case of Kyle Jepson, he likes to do uh, he likes to do that kind of workshop research, but he also likes to do updates. So if you have an update of a thing you did in a new way, uh, it's not a question, it's not a, a new release from HubSpot, it's I use HubSpot in this way. I did a thing a new way. I used 
the workflows tool in a new way I never have. And you want to share? Love on yourself. Uh, share out what it is you're doing and how you're doing it because more likely than not, just like in school, raising your hand and asking the question, lots of other people will probably have that question or are dealing with that problem too. So you're really just helping share what it is you know. And a phrase I like to use is make all the things that are obvious to you obvious to them. Make it obvious to us. Give us some bullet points of how you used it in the use case and, and share that back with everyone. It it only helps. It only helps. We'll see, Tobias. <laughs> we'll see what uh what comes uh from that question. This next hour, we're going to be on with Jack. Jack is, uh, he oversees uh, HubSpot for startups and, and he oversees partnerships. And HubSpot for startups is the initiative around startups using HubSpot. Okay. And so if you are a startup and you are a, a new fledgling company and you meet some criteria, you can get a deep discount as you start with HubSpot. Now, with that being said, you don't need to do that. You can just start with HubSpot for free and you can start using all of the free tools. You can start immediately, which I recommend. Go ahead and go to HubSpot, start an account and get started. There are already free tools you can use. What Jack and his team bring are concentrated efforts to empower you as a team, as a company, as you start your startup, as you start your company, as you start your initiative, whatever the case is to leverage more of HubSpot in ways that would help you. And so that's what we'll talk with Jack about in our third hour uh, from 11 to noon Eastern time. We're live 11 to noon Eastern time. Uh, we'll, we will be live during those times. So welcome to the HubSpot super admin community launch. We are recording live for eight hours from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. You are... If you want to join in the conversation, it's happening over in Discord. You can find the link below on uh, on this live stream. Come on in. Come on into the Discord. Jump in. Uh, verify yourself. Hit that green checkbox, and then you will get access to all of the channels. Once you've done that, the the coffee shop chit chat is where the conversation is happening. The conversation is happening over in the coffee shop in the chit chat channel. And that's where you can have the conversation. Uh, the audio is live on stage. And so you can hear us there. And so we're, we're going to get started uh, in a couple more minutes as, uh, as we get Jack on, Jack on to the meet and, and into discord we'll see how we'll <laughs> we'll see the level of oh we'll see the level of expertise uh, across the board so i'm speaking to you ron and tyler and tracy and hannah and diana we will need you to be in discord in the launch stage ron and tyler tracy hannah and diana uh, and jack We'll need you in Discord on the stage so that you and I can have a conversation there and everyone in Discord uh, can hear us. Tobi <laughs> Tobias's finger, he's like stretching his, his finger out, I'm sure. <laughs> the, the push to talk function. <laughs> I've added you there. Uh, behind me, you see the HubSpot Super Admin logo. You see uh, a ridiculous... Lego, these things are awesome. Lego is so smart. <laughs> They've been around long enough where I, it, it just makes sense that they're able to figure out things that make sense. And, and this sign is one of them. It's, it's flat. You just use kind of the flat ones. But instead of building up and, and vertical, you just tilt it, use it as a sign. And they have these great little hooks right here. And you then, uh, from, from top down a, a flat perspective, you can see the Lego and they made all these flat Lego that then you make like a sign out of one. It's cool Two, It was a lot of fun. <laughs> and, uh, and you can go get them just like, they're just at the Lego store along with the other, 
uh, Lego kits. You don't have to just have the, the kit to build a, a castle or a dinosaur or a Star Wars character. You can, you can get into uh, the signs, and those signs then <laughs> are this. Maybe you want to be a Hotspot Jedi. And <laughs> my amazing partner, Jen, just brought me coffee. And um, <laughs> and it's not just coffee. She went one step further and wrote me a note. But my partner, Jen, isn't, isn't just any old person. She, her note says, that's hot. Because Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie wrote it. <laughs> One, she's the best. Two, that's funny. I love you, Jen. Thank you. You're the best. Uh, you can also be a HubSpot Jedi. So we have some Jedi Master stuff going on here. What else? Uh, since we're superheroes, we have the pow. <laughs> and boom, bang, pow. There's a hero in all of us, as they as they say. Jack, I have over on meet, and we'd like to meet him. And so we're going to ask him to join the Discord. You are in Discord. I saw that face, so I apologize. <laughs> you had Sorry. clear communication for weeks now on exactly <laughs> the steps to take. <laughs> By uh, weeks, you mean hours. Over in Discord, <laughs> once you get in, Jack, I'm going to have you jump into the, the stage, and I'll give you permissions, and then I'll be able to hear you too. So yeah, uh, right now the top of the hour recap is... We are, are are live. This is the it's a eleven fifteen, so it's a quarter past the hour. It's eleven fifteen, and what we're doing here today is we're doing the soft launch. <laughs> we're doing the full public launch of the HubSpot Super Admin Community. It's a community of HubSpot users for, to meet other HubSpot users doing HubSpot things, and that's not to be general. It's not to be funny. It's that. There is a single place where we are focused solely on HubSpot. It might be the RevOps side or the marketing side or the sales and service side that you talk about. The focus, though, being coming together first because you're a HubSpot user and you're, uh, you're, you're someone who, are, who is doing those motions, setting them up, running a business or an agency running for clients in HubSpot. And so a dedicated community around HubSpot means that the ways in which we show up are based on, excuse me, are based on the things that HubSpot is doing and the ways uh, HubSpot is working. Joining a, a HubSpot community means that you understand portals and you understand one source of truth, a single source of truth. Uh, joining that community means that you understand that the user experience, the UI itself is easy to use. That's easy to use. the The next part about the, the next part about setup is really where a super admin comes into play. There's a user role in HubSpot called the super admin, and the super admin allows you to cross uh, all of the hubs and all of the tools that a portal has. A super admin is able to touch and manipulate and set up, import to, export from. And so that super admin role inside HubSpot allows you to do all of the things. So what does that look like? What is your day-to-day? -day? How do you set it up? How do you think about sales stages? How do you think about filters, list views? When you set up a workflow and it uh, affects another workflow, how do you figure that out? Those are the things that uh, super admins have to do, even though your day-to-day -day might be a, a marketing motion. You might also play the role of a super admin in the setup from a setup standpoint. And so that's what, uh, that's what we want to talk about. That's what we want to focus on. That's what we want to make sure uh, we have a community around those users being able to use the tool uh, in the ways that they need to use it. I have 
Let's see, I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna bring you on. Hey, there we are. Uh, and then I'm gonna go over to uh, my Discord and I'm gonna make sure that I can hear you. Because right now I cannot. Oh, we'll get the chat out of the way. There we go. Hey, and so over in, uh, oh, which one are you in? I have two accounts for you, so you're the red one. Okay. <laughs> so Jack is on. Jack, hello and welcome. Thank you for being here, our third guest. Those of you on the live are probably seeing the overlap, so I apologize for that. But I'm going to give you all the permissions. Uh, yep. And on. All right, I'm going to go back in. And Jack, can are you talking? Can you say something? OK. So that's going to be in here. Yep, external web. I can't hear you over on the Discord. That's a that's a no, but you're on. Can you check your audio? I'm not getting you through. Uh, in oh, you're on mute in Meet. Unmute yourself for me in Meet. Would you like me to there we uh, go. unmute on Discord? And you're just unmuted and meet. Good. So you're coming through over there. How about in Discord? <laughs> no. <laughs> Should I? We're going to get this. Jack, will you hold down uh, a button? <laughs> I'm oh. holding mute. Muted, unmuted, mute, unmuted. Muted, unmuted. All right. So you're good there. So it might be just checking. Let's see if here. I can check my microphone. So voice settings. Give you. Default on priority speaker. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Calling in from Chicago. Let's see. Jack as well. View, view, view. Test, test, test. Uh, if you just check Jack for me real quick, your audio in Discord. That would be great. So my voice settings in Discord, input device. Let's check. Let's check. Should that be good. coming through in there. OK. Oh, oh you are I, deafened I, and I, muted in Discord. So turn at the very bottom, just uh, open those up. Say How's something. this? Interesting. How's this? You're coming through fine. All right. No audio on Jackson. Yeah. We don't hear you in the Discord. Uh, you, are you doing it on web? Or in the app? Did you download the app? I, I'm doing it on web. I did not download the app. In your web browser? I can download the app in the web browser. Hold up where... a one if it's web browser. Uh, will you check the tab audio? and see that uh, that tabs audio is your audio. Tabs audio is my audio. And the URL bar on the top right. So this is my fault. This is not Jack's fault. This is a me thing that I did not get in front of early enough to make Jack Yes. <laughs> so I have I have a microphone. RevOps sir is live. It is live. Jack, I still if you keep doing that, it is live. Kyle Jepson just announced that the RevOps certification is live. Go That's to awesome. the HubSpot Academy and you can now be certified for RevOps. You can now be certified for RevOps. We can uh, make this an work, audio. and I'm not going to belabor. So, Jack, if you, but unsure about what's needed, Jack, yeah. I believe you can hear me. Yes, I can. 
Yes, so I can. Go ahead and throw me your phone number in uh, in Discord. Okay. And I'm going to call you. And then we're just going to talk because phones still work. <laughs> I have to remind people pretty often. <laughs> uh, I just like jumping on calls, you know, jumping in, getting it done. And sometimes I'll just say, yeah, we could literally just be talking right now. That will work. All right. It's 20 past the hour. We have Jack here. He's going to talk to us about uh, HubSpot for startups. Yeah. Thanks, Jack. Um, I've never done this before, but I've been on lives where people, um, <laughs> they say phone numbers or they, they say someone's, what was it? It wasn't, hey, Jack, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Fantastic. Yeah. Yes, sir. Make sure that if there's audio going through those headphones, you keep those on for me so that other people can hear you. Is your computer, is your computer audio going through that? Or no? Going through this. Got it. Oh, but the uh, microphone is on your machine. Uh, I can switch it so it's on my machine really quick. So settings. It's up to you. You're great microphone. now. You're, uh, yeah. Okay, so it looks like uh, if we just do. We can hear you fine. Okay, fantastic. You don't have and to we're just not going to touch anything. Yeah, don't touch we're anything. Not touch <laughs> don't... We're not going to touch anything. <laughs> Tell us, uh, I did an intro uh, just before you came on. Uh, I don't require you to be <laughs> watching. So talked about HubSpot for startups and talked about the fact that, yeah, people can go in right away. There's no barrier to entry to HubSpot. And they can, Bring them they, yeah, they can get started. You don't have to wait to talk to Jack. What he's going to do is take that that instance you have um, and and surround you with additional things that I'd like you to talk about. Um, yeah. So before we get into that, thank you for being here. Happy Friday. Pleasure. Happy Friday. Woohoo! <laughs> Happy Friday. And, uh, and, uh, happy April fools. Have you done any April fools jokes yet? No, not yet. I actually have this odd habit of starting things on April Fool's Day. Uh, very serious things like this job started for me on April Fool's Day. So <laughs> I'm trying to keep the lack of April Fool's streak going because I feel like if you pull one thread, it's just all going to unravel. <laughs> I hear it. I hear that. <laughs> well, we did a post uh, this morning on the LinkedIn. So if you're watching us, you are you might be watching us on LinkedIn, Twitter, uh Twitch or YouTube, and uh, still can't. Will you hold down a, a button, Jack? And the, those in the Discord, literally, like on your keyboard, just hold down like the space button, um, and see if people can hear you. Say something. Hey, can you guys hear me? Can, can you, you hear, hear in the Discord? Can you hear Jack? So I'm just holding. Let's see if I can. Just gonna hold this down again. Interesting. So I'm just holding down spacebar. <laughs> yeah, they can't hear you. That's uh, you have full permissions. Well, let's see if this works. Hold on one second. But, um... How's this? Yeah, I. I mean, I can still hear you, but. Yeah, uh, yeah. For them. there. I'm gonna hold down the space bar again. How's this? How's this testing? Testing. That's testing, testing, testing. Video and audio. Yeah. Testing, testing, testing. Testing, 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 testing. What the admins are best at. That's right, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah just continue to talk i'm just switched the um, audio from my headset i just unplugged my headset and now i'm just using my default yeah default tobias and uh kyle for sure had oh you're definitely muted in there check 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 Oh, how's this again? How's this again? 
anything any better? I feel like they would jump on and say yes if they could hear you in the Discord. Yeah. How's this? Oh, yeah. Yes. All right. That was it. All right. Awesome. Right now we're good? Now I can hang up with you on the phone. Okay. Um, actually, can we keep the phone for my audio? Is that all right? Yeah. If everyone can hear me. Yeah, that's, that's cool. cool. Now we're all right. Now we're nothing like multiple systems. Let's keep the let's keep the phone going and let's jump in. <laughs> that, that only took twenty five minutes. Love Great. it. Thanks for hanging with us, folks. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs> so, getting back, Jack is at HubSpot for startups. Uh, he started today. This is his first day. <laughs> A year ago today. A I'm year kidding. ago today. <laughs> and uh, and. Of course, anyone can jump in and start using HubSpot, but HubSpot for Startups does some additional things. Can you talk to us about it? Yeah, so HubSpot for Startups is a really unique program um, in the startups world, and we work through approved partners such as Techstars, uh, Globally, 1871 here in Chicago is where I'm actually working out of, which is uh, just really exciting. Um, and we partner with startup communities to provide programming free resources and startup friendly discounts. Um, and I'll just break down those three buckets really quick, Grant. So when we talk about free resources, classic HubSpot Academy, right? That RevOps certification, we have additional free resources like marketing and uh, sales email templates, pitch decks, um, success stories from startups that are startup specific. We also do programming like the conversation we're gonna have today, we run workshops on um, a regular basis, we're doing a series of four founder spotlights in April, which is really exciting. I'm looking forward to all those conversations. We got one later today with Bunker Labs, who's an amazing partner. And then the startups nice. who qualify can get up to 90%. So discounts start at 30% off HubSpot and then go all the way up to 90% depending on the qualifications that you meet. Uh, <laughs> you just said so many awesome things, like right in a <laughs> row. I mean, that's amazing that there are certifications. I mean, Kyle was talking about uh, uh, during the first hour about he's been working on the RevOps one for a year. Like that certification yeah. he's been working on for a year. So, of course, it, it the investment in startups that HubSpot has done to have multiple certifications that are then available to you to use. I mean, that in itself is a huge upsell. Well, and, the you know, to your point, uh, Kyle's been working on that for a year. The barrier of entry to have content uh, with HubSpot's name on it as a certification is very high. Love it. <laughs> so it's not just, hey, we have this stuff. There's a barrier to entry. We got past it. And they're yeah. available to you. And they're available to you for free. So that's on the HubSpot side. These partnerships. Talk to us about, I mean, you're obviously at 1871 in Chicago. I'm uh, mm -hmm. an hour east of you in South Bend, Indiana. Uh, so like, if you just wave to the east, <laughs> I'm waving to the west. We're waving at each other in real time. <laughs> but the the partnerships, what sort of things is it that the partnerships yeah. are bringing? So if you're on this call right now and you are a startup and you're associated with an accelerator, an incubator, you have institutional investment from a venture capitalist firm, um, or you're even part of a workspace. All of those institutions can become approved HubSpot partners, uh, sorry, approved HubSpot for startups partners on, um, on various discount levels. And depending on the type of partner, we're going to provide different value. So venture capital firms, oftentimes, you know, the Sequoias and the high alphas of the world see yeah. a lot of value from, from the discount. Um, the minute you get into the 1871s and the bunker labs where you get, you know, more grassroots types of entrepreneurial organizations, we can come in and provide training. Um, we can provide a network now here in the Midwest. If you're looking for institutional funding, if you're looking for an accelerator, we can provide uh, that connection as well. Got it. Got it. So you might actually come to HubSpot. You might actually get into the HubSpot ecosystem and then get introduced through HubSpot for Startups to one of these accelerators. Yeah, absolutely. I run, um, as you know, Grant, huh. I have a, a monthly newsletter and all of the events in my newsletter are sponsored by a partner similar to what we've just described. So a venture capital firm, an accelerator, a working space, and they're free to the public. So 
hmm. you can gain exposure to those organizations on a monthly cadence. And exposure is so easy. I mean, you can really get in front of anyone and they'll get your attention or you'll have their attention. It's so easy to just get people's attention nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> well, holding it is a different matter uh, though, right? Just kidding. Holding it yeah. is a different yeah. matter. <laughs> totally kidding, right? April Fools is going to be full of jokes. <laughs> but I mean, if I got introduced to someone through HubSpot for Startups, I would imagine that it carries some amount of weight that uh, there's an introduction there and it's not like a cold call or, uh, hey, I'm a startup. You know, they get emails like that yeah. all the time. Well, and it's, that's you know, awesome. It's, it's also about participating in the ecosystem, right? I mean, I think one of the challenges and you know, a little bit of context for the audience. So I run partnerships in the Midwest for hub software startups. And as anybody who's familiar with venture knows, 85% of all of the venture checks that are cut have a zip code on them that says New York, Boston, or San Francisco. doesn't matter where they're cached. The zip code on the check itself reflects one of those cities. There you go. So on a really good day in the Midwest, we get maybe 6% of the venture capital money actually existing in the United States over three time zones. Great. Yeah. Easy to find. No, no needle in the haystack situation there. So we got to talk to one another. We, do, we have no choice. If we want to support one another, we got to be reaching out and, and being part of the same network. And that's what us for startups in the middle is trying to do. It, Steve Case and the Kauffman Foundation, uh, I, I don't know if it was the uh, Rise of the Rest initiative or if it was the Kauffman money or maybe it was who, who did that. When they said that, I think it was in 2020, that those checks have those addresses and the percentage is just crazy that that's where they're coming from. It, it's, we're not talking, you know, anything beyond that. That is just a fact. So, you know, people were starting to get into the, uh, into the whys and the hows and yeah, but that is a fact. I see some and people in from the, Indianapolis in the discord. We have high alpha down there in Indianapolis uh, 1871 there in Chicago. What's another one? What are some of the other HubSpot for Startups partnerships in the Midwest? Well, I mean, Bunker Labs is one I already mentioned. I can't say enough about those guys um, starting in Chicago. Generator started out of my home state of Wisconsin, which is great. Um, Beta, Minnesota. I want to give a shout out to those guys running Twin Cities Startup Week, the second largest startup week in the country. Do amazing connection work there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. Um, I was thinking uh, 76 Forward just recently rebranded. They were formerly 1776. I can't say enough about that organization. And I'm, I'm sure I'm going to miss a lot of folks, but, you know, Tech Nexus. We have, we have over 3,000 partners globally, over 200 partners in, in the Midwest. So um, I could continue to name folks. But if you, if you have a relationship with a VC, if you have a relationship with an accelerator, chances are they're already a partner. And if they're not, please talk to me. I'm on LinkedIn. <laughs> Message me. This is literally my job. <laughs> you said 200 in the Midwest? 200 in the Midwest and counting. And counting. That's a lot. <laughs> it is. Uh, it keeps me busy. <laughs> I mean, to, uh, do you define, is Iowa the most westerly state? Idaho is the most westerly okay. state. In case you're wondering how far we need to go to get to that 6% of overall VC money, uh, <laughs> we got to go to Idaho. Idaho to Philadelphia is technically our definition. <laughs> Idaho to Philadelphia. Okay. Yeah, yeah. If you're middle so America, both Dakotas, you both Dakotas, Montana. Montana. So we're talking yeah. Billings. Yep. Not Colorado, though, right? It doesn't if go you south. are middle America and you're not mountains and you're not Dixie, you are the Midwest. Okay. <laughs> it's always interesting having been from the Midwest, how people define the Midwest, because there's the economic development, like the EDAs, yeah, uh, yeah. and then there's all these nonprofits and who they want to serve and, and that sort of thing. No, it's so true. And that's another really good point is that, you know, one of the one of the themes that I hear, whether it's Ohio or veterans organizations, um, one of the themes I hear in the Midwest grant is that people feel isolated. They're not sure where to turn for resources and for even stories of success. Um, and I would really encourage everyone on this call who considers themselves an entrepreneur and, and a founder, if there's a moment where you feel lonely, you should turn to Google and just see who is active in your area. I guarantee there are folks who are there to be reached out to. We just may be a little hard to find. That's all. Because once again, we're not as concentrated as the coast. It's true. It's true. I'm so glad you said that. You are not alone. 
there are people, if you are a founder, if you're a startup, there are so many people doing what you're doing. Please reach out. Please mm-hmm. do not hesitate to reach out. Um, there is this sort of belonging thing, especially in startups. We don't want people to feel isolated and feel alone. Uh, I'm so glad you brought that up. It's such a thing. Yeah. And, you know, there's, it's not just stories of success. You know, there are people who are there to cheer you on when you, you're trying to get to dollar one, which is the biggest possible lift. You know, when you are, have reached success and you feel like you want to tell your superhero story and then suddenly you're looking for investment or maybe to be acquired and you got to go through due diligence, which right. is miserable. <laughs> there are people out there who've, who've done that and can share that emotional journey with you as well. All right, let's dive into some HubSpotness, some some yeah, orange okay. bloods. Yeah. The the HubSpot portal has lots of tools, and whether depending on the hub, there are specific ones people might use day in and day out. Talk to us about your favorite HubSpot tool. So I'll preface oh, it and and give you yeah. a little time here. Kyle's was workflows. Kyle loves workflows. Kyle was on uh, our first hour. Tobias said that his was data sets. He's been playing with those and loves them. That's awesome. I, you know, I am going to go real simple and just say that our Gmail integration is something that should be absolutely front and center for anybody who's ever asked the question, is now the time for a CRM? Sign up for free tools, <laughs> plug it into your Gmail, and your question will be answered. I actually sat down with a founder in Austin, Texas, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, you know, really nice guy. I was like, "Listen, I need a CRM. I'm, I'm, I don't have one yet." I said, "Well, interesting. Why are you t- thinking about HubSpot?" He goes, "Well, I, I, I'm just using the Gmail integration for HubSpot." I said, "Well, then you already have a CRM." He goes, "No way." <laughs> I said, "Yeah. What's going on for you today?" He goes, "I have a meeting later today. I'm trying to prep. I need to find my emails for this guy." And I was like, "I sent him the login page to HubSpot, plug this guy's email into HubSpot, and within three minutes, his entire history with that individual and the meeting he booked were right there in front of him. Didn't even know it existed. It blew his mind. It was awesome. I was like, yeah, That's you know, how much amazing. is this amazing? Nothing. Yeah, turn it on. Turn it on." Turn it on. I love that. Jack has like, that is the, uh, that's going to be the clip for the hour. (laughs) Just turn it on. (laughs) You have it. So you could, uh, when you're starting and and super early, so say you're a startup and you're like, I'm starting. So I definitely don't need HubSpot. Okay. Back up. (laughs) You're going to open a free Gmail account. You're going to open a free HubSpot. You're going to connect the two, and now you're off to the races on follow-up to people you speak with, notes during the call, uh, uh, history. You can start to create. And then from there, it's what are you doing? Because now you have the tools to do it. If if, 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 if there's anyone not sold on those very simple actions, let me ask just a question to the room rhetorically. When was the last time you were really annoyed by someone who reached out to you in a business or sales capacity? and didn't understand where your conversation had already gone. How annoying was that? That they had zero visibility on the fact that you had already had this conversation. It was like completely redundant. Yeah. This is why. No, Jack, I love repeating myself. I love re-explaining the same thing to the same person. Yeah, startups and entrepreneurs, plenty of time in our day. Plenty of time. In our day. Plenty of time for redundancy. And, and honest, yeah, right. You totally have more extra time. You're not busy doing anything, luckily. Uh, and people actually respond better to you forgetting what they said. I think that's the key to business is making sure you forget what people say to you. Yeah. Relationship means amnesia, right? That's the Latin root of it. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) But, but honestly it is that, you know, when you open up HubSpot and you do open up a contact or a company and you see that activity feed, you might think to yourself, all right, it's going to show me like the system changes I made. No, it's not the system changes. It's not updated this contact. It's the activities you do with the person. It's a human activity feed. It's the notes, it's the calls, it's the meeting, it's the deal. Actually, you can set the activity feed to show you things like life cycle changes in in a contact. Um, 
Yeah, so there, there are right. data data notifications you can get in the activity. You, you can, can set it off. that way. Yes. You can yes. set it that way. You don't have to. But you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and so when you're talking about another person and their relationship, that activity feed starts to become the relationship you have together and the things you've done together. You're right. You can turn it on. Point being, uh, having notes from a call when the call was and maybe a frequency, then the system can do the things like you're saying, which is notify you that, hey, your last call was a month and a half ago. Your, your last email to them was uh, two months ago. Follow yeah. up. Check in. Don't let it fall to the cracks. Yeah. Love that. All right. So favorite is uh, the Gmail integration. Got it. Tell us about how you got here. So a year ago today. Happy anniversary, by the way. Thank you very much. Feels good. Feels good. <laughs> Work anniversary. <laughs> uh, uh, so unplanned. That's great. How did you get to where you are today with HubSpot? Can you tell yeah. us that story? Sure. So um, sure. I'm bragging about my spouse here for a second. Uh, so we were living in Milwaukee. We've lived all over the place. We met in D.C. And my wife got, got into grad school in Boston. Um, and so we moved to Boston. And you know my history professionally is in political campaigns and sales. So my, his, my professional history is all about hustling. And when we moved to Boston – you know, I, I figured they were selling something in Boston and it turned out to be software. And I was, you know, I Googled, literally, this is how great our SEO is. I was like, best jobs in Boston, HubSpot, right there at the very top. Boom. Uh, boom. And I was, you know, really lucky to get in. Uh, so I was a President's Club sales rep for two and a half years before I started looking around for some sort of professional future outside uh, of sales because uh, we were back to two incomes. My wife had graduated mm -hmm. and the opportunity on March 1st of 2021, landed in my lap to apply for this job. It was the same day we decided to write an offer in Milwaukee. So the same time I was going through job wow. interviews here, I was flying back from Boston to do a housing inspection. Um, I do not recommend all this <laughs> on the same day. It is physically painful. <laughs> and this is a political organizer and a salesperson, so I thought I was desensitized to that kind of stress. Not true. Not true, not so. true at all. <laughs> you go, it was physically painful? <laughs> it was, I felt it. I felt it in my chest. It was deep. Um, so that's how I got here. And, gotcha. you know, just a, a quick recap, Grant. I mean, we've grown the – the revenue from Help Software Startups in the Midwest by 34% in the last half of, of last year alone. Um, we have upped our engagement with our top partners and have brought more folks into the fold. Um, we did a keynote address at Twin Cities Startup Week last year. Um, we're doing it Congrats. again this year. Um, Powder Keg on Valley, we did a great DINB discussion with those guys. So we're, you know, we're, we're hopefully participating in the ecosystem and making it better and more connected. Congratulations. 34% in engagement. And is is that what you said, engagement? 34% growth in revenue alone. So the number of people, yeah, like Congrats. using HubSpot for startups to this program. Yeah. Well, I mean, Jack, it makes sense when you have such a large team behind you working in the background. It's awesome that that whole team can do that. How many people do you have that work under you? Uh, well, in the Midwest, it's, it is just me. I do work with some amazing folks. Um, I get a lot of, I get some support from our marketing team, which I really appreciate. But in in the Midwest, it's it's uh, a lot of me just trying to make connections, and I can't, I cannot understate or I cannot overstate the support that we've gotten from folks like Generator, the GP in the program, uh, folks like Beta Minnesota um, in 1871. I just bumped and of that. course you moved, yeah. And Jack, obviously, I'm doing that as a as a as a joke because i know you're not going to say it yourself you are doing these things so that growth comes from you um congratulations on you just getting getting in it <laughs> turning it it's on fun. it's fantastic uh i know i reached out early you were responsive uh i reached out and you had things you wanted my help with which i love i want to know like i will tell you no if i can't help but I can't say yes if I am not told what you need help with. So you had things that you you wanted uh, help with, like you're doing right now. Partnerships. If you have a partnership, if you're a startup and you're watching this, reach out to yeah. Jack. Um, and then beyond that, 
when I did connect you, I got positive feedback from the other people about oh, you that's and that's that conversation. Well, I mean, it goes to show that that it that doesn't just happen, right? You don't just start a job and then everything works. You've put yourself in a place and done the things that when you do get a connection, someone does make an introduction, you actually put up, you show up to that introduction. And so I really appreciate that. And it just goes to show the growth you've seen. Thanks. And, you know, let's let's just be honest, right? Like everyone on this call who considers himself an entrepreneur or a founder is doing that outreach right now. And it is difficult to be personalized and relevant to folks at scale. It's really difficult, especially if you're just operating out of a Gmail inbox. Um, so the more tools you give yourself to be to be effective, the more effective you'll be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even though your favorite is the Gmail integration, you should be I working just, out of HubSpot. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, and I work out of Gmail every day for the record, right? Like, I, yeah. like Gmail is my primary interface. But to plug it into HubSpot and have Grant's record right there in the exact same window I'm in any, you know, anyway, right. um, to have my meetings like right there, a click away, so easy. So easy. <laughs> All right, Jack, so uh, people reaching out to you, or no, uh, the, the questions that come in discord if you have if you're on discord and you want to ask jack a question please put it there i'd like to yeah, get to away. those if uh if there are questions if you're uh, a partner or want to be a hubspot for startups partner please ask a question if you're uh, a, an entrepreneur or if you're currently at a company and you want to do some entrepreneurship or you'd like to one day get out and start your own thing um ask a question there in the discord um and so we'll get yeah, to those please. As those come through, can you talk to us about some certifications? You said there are some certifications once you get in. Uh, if you're not in the HubSpot for Startups program, can you give us a sense of a couple certifications? You don't have to mention them exactly, uh, but certifications that you like, that you would recommend yeah. people have completed. Well, I think there's a lot of education out there around you know, like what is inbound, right? You can kind of Google that and get get a sense. What is inbound sales? What is inbound marketing? Um, the certifications that I really love are the really practical ones. I mean, once again, you're talking to to a salesperson by by <laughs> trade. Um, so the the sales software certification is really great. It's just practical how tos on how to get into the tools and fix the inefficiencies in your day to day. Super helpful. If you are a marketer, uh, and it, by the way, that sales certification takes an hour and 20 minutes on, you know, normal speed. I mean, let's face facts, like put it on 125, get it done in 45 minutes. Like you're going to be, <laughs> you're going to be done. If it's not rocket science or I couldn't do it. Um, but if you're a marketer and you really want to get into the HubSpot tools and start adding value, generating demand for your business, the uh, marketing software certification is four and a half hours. Uh, marketing it, software. It marketing software certification. It addresses all of the different tools that you would use um, if you think about multi-channel marketing and how you run that as a unified campaign, the marketing software certification is going to walk you through how to do that uh, soup to nuts on a practical level. Love that. Love that. And and yeah, the hours, okay, maybe at night or on a weekend. It's yeah. good that it takes time. It's good that there's so much information that you're going to have to spend some time sitting with it inside of it. Uh, remind me, do you remember if that one has a, a practicum where you submit? Oh yeah, it absolutely does. Um, yeah, it absolutely does. Those things are the best. I love uh, when I got to my first one and it had me do something. I was jazzed. This is what it should be. I should just show you that I can do the thing. Um, if it were, if I had it my way, I would do away with the Q and A. I would just <laughs> do the thing. <laughs> Being a, a background in teaching, um, I, I really like the the doing. Show me. Don't tell me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. So the marketing software cert, uh, are there some people? Talk to me about people. So we'll switch gears from certifications yeah, to other people. I don't care about the medium, whether it's podcast, a book, Twitter, TikTok sure. stream. Who are some people uh, that are talking about things you want to hear about? Well, 
so I, especially in my personal time, you know, I am an international relations news media junkie. Um, I'm a huge fan of just consuming long form journalism. And I will say that if you're looking for podcasts that have unique perspectives on the world as it stands today, um, ones and twos, T-O-O, T-O-Z-E, is the foreign, is foreign policies economics podcast. And I would absolutely recommend that. Adam Tews, I believe is the gentleman's name, uh, um, has a great perspective. Also, if you have not looked up Dan Sally's You Don't Have to Yell podcast, <laughs> you should go listen to his episodes on the Ukraine invasion from the Russian and Chinese perspective right now. Okay. Uh, he's a former stand-up comic. I will be fully transparent. He's also a very dear friend and mentor of mine, but he's been working on this podcast for a while. And the last two, the last couple episodes especially are just amazing. And it'll, and he is talking about, he's talking what he's talking about what everyone else is talking about in ways that no one else is talking about it, mm. which is so refreshing to anyone who's seen 30 seconds of cable news. Love that. Yeah. That's great to hear. The, I mean, the name in itself, you don't have to yell, is fantastic, <laughs> so for great. one. It's so great. <laughs> Anyone else who who you're watching or listening to? Um, it, I, I got asked, uh, we were at a family gathering, and one of my cousins was asking me. And it was hard to think about, because some of this stuff that I'm consuming, I just do. Like, I don't make it a point. I just, I feel like, and that's the way I work, right? I don't know if everyone is, that that everyone is that way. Um, I get yeah. in with people. Uh, long ago, I listened to Jason Calacanis. It was like when he started the This Week in Startups. You know, at that time, awesome. I wanted to hear what it was that he was saying. And it was like I was with him because, like, I'm just listening to that. Uh, so sometimes it can be difficult. Are there any others that maybe you <laughs> you think? I mean, so the way I'll answer that question is there are certain, especially in that context, Grant, where you're right, like you're just absorbing sure. information. So how do you navigate really is the question. Um, I, on purpose, do not read doomsday speculation. If the world is actually crashing down around me, if something's on fire actively, yeah, I want to know that. That's a great thing. Okay. You know, like if okay. you're living in California and there's active fires, like, yes, please tell me where they are. That's good information. <laughs> if it's like, hey, next Tuesday, there's an outside chance something might burst into flames. I'm mm -hmm. not going to read that article. Uh, there, there was the Atlantic had the most unhelpful headline in the middle of 2020. It was like the, the downside of houseplants. I have no idea what that article said. I am not reading. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. Let's get more pointed then. Are there anyone at HubSpot, any of your coworkers you want to love on uh, besides oh, hustle, Kyle? Do, do the hustle. Absolutely. The hustle? Let's, yeah, like absolutely sign up for the hustle. Great content there. Absolutely great content. You love to listen to what they have to say and hear from them? Is it also like a you like the people? You know, I wish I had a personal relationship with those guys. Um, they got acquired, and so they're a little above. They're a little too cool for me. I, I'm sure they wouldn't yeah. say that, but uh, we don't interact on a daily basis. Uh, but the the content they put out is is really phenomenal. Is that's really awesome. Phenomenal. Yeah, I saw they got acquired. They are, are they making like a new podcast too? A oh yeah, I mean, there's you know we're gonna start doing more um, concerted highlighting of startup stories as well. That's where I'll is sure. very much going. Um, so you'll see a more concerted effort to highlight success stories from founders uh, through the hustle and through Hub Software Startups. Love that. There is a, a startup channel in the Discord that's coming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would love to hear more about the stories on Discord in the HubSpot super admin community because there are so many people using it. Um, you see that. So is that part of the new creator? So we should also just tell people who are watching this after, uh, um, who, who are watching this live. HubSpot has started a new initiative for creators. If you are a creator and you would like to talk about the things you like to talk about, uh, Google HubSpot creators, and there's uh, an initiative you can 
sign up for. Right now, on April 1st, it's still a email notification, let me know when you have more. It's still kind of that. Um, but you're saying part of what we'll be hearing is stories of entrepreneurs who used HubSpot? Yeah, absolutely. And I was trying to look for a place where folks could find all the, the founder spotlights are actually doing in April. Um, but we're doing Founder Spotlights with Buffer Labs later today. We are doing Founder Spotlights with 1871. Um, yeah, with Generator. Uh, we're just going down the list and, and talking about the ins and outs of, of growing with HubSpot as a system, right? Like, what does it mean to adopt it? What should you keep in mind? Whether you're adopting HubSpot or a different CRM, how do you set yourself up for success? Mm -hmm. uh, make sure your data is clean. Understanding your different personas and the different relationships that you have to have. Um, across your business. All those things are going to be crucial to success. Gotcha. Gotcha. So these founder spotlights, where can we find them now? Um, you can find them on my LinkedIn. You can find them on Generator's website. You can find them on 1871's newsletters and website. Um, and I will be posting all of them throughout the month of April as they come up. So feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn, feel free to follow me um, and you'll get those notifications. The 1871 um, and the 1871 event will be going up soon. Bunker Labs is already up there and Jumpstart was the last partner that I forgot to mention. Sorry, really looking forward to our conversation with David Edelman and Jumpstart on Tuesday next week. Jumpstart, that's another one. Fantastic work and you know, Bounce, uh, YBI, all the different branches of that organization are absolutely fantastic. So you kind of got into it. People, the best place for people to find you is on LinkedIn. Yeah, absolutely. It, it, to to understand the work that we're doing in the Midwest, the best place is just to be connected with me on LinkedIn and just follow me because we will post all of those events on a regular cadence. Um, gotcha. And if you want to be added to the uh, Hub Software Startups Midwest newsletter, which goes on comes out exactly once a month, lists all the events and resources available to you. Um, feel free to uh, message me directly on LinkedIn and I'll add you to the list. All right, you heard it here. Message him directly and say, I want to be added to the newsletter. Absolutely. Go to Absolutely. LinkedIn, find Jack, follow him, connect with him, and then DM him and say, I want that newsletter. Tell me where you're going to be. <laughs> Or uh, what was our <laughs> turn it on? Yeah, turn it up. Turn it up. <laughs> Go to that. If you doubt me, it. turn it up. <laughs> Skepticism is healthy. Turn it up. <laughs> Appreciate you being on with us. Uh, we went over where you can be found, which is on LinkedIn. Um, you started this journey basically because uh, your wife is a superstar, and <laughs> and the move it was like i can't do one life change at a time i have to do multiples <laughs> luckily you made it all happen and work and over the past year you've grown hubspot for startups in the midwest 34 percent you're uh you're asking for partnerships those of you who are a accelerator or a generator or a program of some kind partnerships if you're a, a startup an entrepreneur or you're looking to become a startup and join the entrepreneurial ecosystem, reach out to Jack at HubSpot for Startups Midwest. What else do we need to know about you, Jack, before we head out in our uh, last couple minutes of the hour? I'm an open book. If I can do something for you, I will. Uh, a rising tide lifts all ships, and the, the thing that the Midwest needs to do more is talk to one another. So let's, let's start the conversation. Keep it going. Thanks for all you do, Grant. Jack, are you a cat or a dog person? Or I neither. Like any, I, I'm both. I like anything that I can't. Tr I like cats that I don't trip over and dogs that aren't yet. What do you have? Do you have a cat or a dog? I have two pet bunnies right now. Two pet bunnies. There yeah, it is. All right. Bunnies, yeah. What are their names? Sunny and Joy. We got them in uh, May of 2020 when we needed more sun and more joy in our lives. So that's what we, that's what we named them. I love that. In May of 2020? May of 2020, man. More sun, more joy. <sighs> that was a, that was a time. What is this <laughs> going to continue? Sunny and joy bunnies. Do you show them? 
Um, they do not like people. They're not, they're not social <laughs> buns. They're, they're on each other's side. They're, uh, they tolerate me now anytime I brought them with apples, but that is like kind of as, as cuddly as they get. <laughs> Sunny and Joy don't like people. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> You're fantastic. Thanks for all you do. Thanks for joining us today. Happy April Fool's Day and happy Friday. Thanks so much, Grant. Keep it up, man. Thanks for all you do. <laughs> Take care. That was Jack uh, at HubSpot for Startups. Jack is uh, based in the Midwest. He was there in Chicago today. And we just super appreciate his willingness to be on and jump in and and partner up. Uh, I sent Jack a couple leads. He followed up. He followed up. He followed up with them. He followed up with me. Just making sure that all of the bases are covered. And uh, it's it really is just that. And his favorite integration, the Gmail integration with HubSpot, it really is just that. Your your follow-up, your your recap of the meeting, your check-in of how things are going. Not a, hey, how are things going? A, here's, here's an article, here's a book, uh, here's a quote that made me think of you. If If you're trying to build something, and it includes people, which is everything, then when you think of them, tell them. That's your follow-up. That's your follow-up. Think of them. Consider them. What are they going through? What are they working on? When that hits your brain, stop real quick. Shoot them a text. Stop real quick and shoot them an email. I thought of you when this happened. This thing was going on, and I thought of you. I, I think you could get some value from it. That's what a follow-up is. <laughs> All right, soapbox done. Thanks so much, Jack, for being here. We appreciate you. If you're watching this in the future, please go uh, go over to LinkedIn and uh, search for Jack. Connect with him. Shoot him a message. Uh, see what he is up to. Ask him to get connected to HubSpot for startups. If you're a mentor or uh, an angel VC or you're an LP, uh, reach out to Jack. He can connect you with uh, Hubs with startups in the Midwest and with investors and programs in the Midwest. Uh, a, another thing that happened after I was connecting Jack to some people that I knew here in the Midwest is he sent back, yeah, I know that person, <laughs> uh, which is great. You want that to happen. Like he said, we need to talk more here in the Midwest. There are uh, Midwest region focused initiatives. Definitely talking to each other more is one of them. Getting getting to know each other, talking more, uh, that is definitely one of them. So thanks, Jack, for being here. We are switching over the hour. Woohoo! We have been nine to noon at this point. We've had three guests. Uh, let's get everyone back up. Here we go. We've got Kyle on. We had Tobias and Jack uh, to start off our morning. We are now switching over into afternoon time, and I see Ron is getting on the meet. Uh, in this afternoon, we have four additional guests. We have Ron and Tyler. Well, we have four additional hours. We'll have five guests. Ron and Tyler are going to join us from Mill Creek Marketing. Tracy, Hannah, and Diana will join us uh, later this afternoon, and we'll continue. We'll continue the hour each hour. We're here live from 9 to 5 p.m. Eastern. This is the public launch of HubSpot for Startups. <laughs> uh, this is the, we're here today from 9 to 5 Eastern. This is the public launch of HubSpot Super Admin Community. We are, li- uh, we are talking on Discord. So if you go below to HubSpotSuperAdmin.com, the link is uh, in this video. If you go there, you can find the link to join the Discord. Once you've verified, you've clicked the green check, you'll get access to all of the channels. And there we are on the launch stage where you can listen to us. Uh, We just got done chatting with Jack from HubSpot for Startups. The HubSpot Super Admin community is for HubSpot users to connect with HubSpot users to do HubSpot things. We're all about HubSpot. This... This community is about focused on RevOps for HubSpot. If you're 
a, a small business, if you're an enterprise business, if you're a, a service worker or a salesperson that is using HubSpot, join HubSpot super admin community. If you're a HubSpot, if you are a, a, a business owner that is trying to leverage and use HubSpot, join the HubSpot super admin community. If you are a veteran HubSpot user, you've used HubSpot in different iterations before it was a full-fledged CRM, before it was a platform, when it was just a single tool. If that's you, join HubSpot super admin community. We're sharing with other HubSpotters, what we're calling Sprocketeers, what it is we're doing. We're sharing what it is we're working on. Our recommendations for how to go about that problem, how to think about those filters, what the workflow can do for you, what list builds can do for you. We're sharing that information so that all of us can grow better. All of us can do better. We all know that uh, HubSpot has grown. It is now the number one CRM. It's the number one map. Uh, it's the number one help desk. Uh, it's, it, it is good. It works well. You open up HubSpot and the user interface is easy to use. You can navigate the interface. You can, uh, you can do what you need to do inside HubSpot. When you want to set up HubSpot to work a certain way, you want a complex integration, you want to set up a complex workflow, you want to make sure that across the organization, you are properly representing all of the things that are happening inside your business, inside HubSpot. Well, there's a user role called the super admin. And that's the role that you have to be in order to set all of those things up, in order to cross hub, cross portal, make sure that everything's working the way you want your business to work, the way you want it set up. And so as a super admin, you have to have that knowledge. You have to have exposure into how things work, into how it is the setup can, can be in HubSpot that maps over to your business, to what it is you want to do, the functions you want to see, the reminders, the check-ins, the emails, the follow-ups, the sequences, the workflows, the posts, the website, the motions, the leads, the, the list goes on and on. HubSpot can do it. That's not the problem. It's easy to use. That's not the problem. HubSpot super admins are a growing field, and it's a dang good time to get into it. Oh, and it costs a lot, right? It costs so much money. No. Go over to the HubSpot Academy. All of the training is free. But I have to pay to sit for the test, right? No. The certification is free. So not only do you have the number one CRM in the world, you have training on that CRM for free. You have the certification process for free. And it's only growing. And it's only getting better. And there are only more people coming on to HubSpot. It's just a, it's just a really good time to do it. So with the number one CRM in the world, it's got to be wrapped around the number one community in the world. And that's the HubSpot Super Admin. Join up, join on Discord. The link is below, hubspotsuperadmin.com. There is the invite link to the Discord. Discord, for those of you who have never used Discord, Discord is a, a, a platform. And just like Zoom and Slack are platforms, Discord is Zoom and Slack combined. In Slack, you can click into a channel and you can type. In Zoom, you can open up a meeting and you can talk uh, audio and video to people. Well, Discord does both those things. You click into uh, a channel on Discord and you can type to people. You can click into another channel on Discord and you can talk to people audio, audio and video. You can share your screen. That's what Discord is. Discord is a platform where you can talk to other people. So Discord is what you need to join into. You can go to the website and join the Discord for HubSpot Super Admin. And there you can connect with other Sprocketeers who are using HubSpot. They're, they're super users. They're super admins. 
<laughs> Shadab says he provides certifications for two hundred dollars. If you're over in the Discord, Shadab is making jokes. He's got jokes today. <laughs> Shadab says he provides certifications for two hundred dollars. So. In this hour, between noon and one, we will be with Ron and Tyler. Now, Ron and Tyler are coming to us uh, from the Midwest as well. So Jack uh, Jack covers their area. Oh, and they're on on one video. I see you guys. Um, if you can hear me, I'm going to ask you to jump over to the Discord. Are you on there as well? And I will... Uh, great. I see the thumbs up. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> and I will uh, give you permissions uh, so that I can hear you uh, and unmute yourself in the Discord if you could. Can you say something too? I want to see that your audio is coming through. Will you just say something now? Oh, your audio is not coming through. Oh, you're muted on the Google Meet. Sorry if it's going to be weird. You on want your audio you on Google Meet or audio on Because you we're going to get, you're hearing me through that too, aren't you? So you're not wanting the feedback. Oh, no, we're no, good. We're I got, you, yeah. <laughs> Does this sound you good could you? unmute on meet. Cool. I can hear you on meet. Perfect. Um, I can't hear you, but your audio is coming through. And then I'm awesome. going to go ahead and give you uh, permissions. And we're going to do our best over here to not take forever uh, on the Rberry 3. So Ron and Tyler. Our Arberry 3 over on Discord. Uh, you cannot hear them right now because I'm giving them access. And so by guest four, I am figuring it out. <laughs> Let's see. View here, view here. Uh, while I'm doing this, Ron, will you shoot me um, a message on Discord with your phone number in case I need to go that route? I just want to get it done before too long. All right, you should have access. Oh, you have I can hear you. I hear you on the Discord. Perfect. Everyone on the Discord, can you thumbs up? Here, how about that? Yeah. I still hear some feedback of my voice on your end. Of your voice on my end oh uh yeah mute the i think i get it yeah and then in the meet if you could unmute yourself so that the live can hear you uh Again? unmute yourself in the google meet There you okay. go. I'm using the mic now. Yeah. Is that better? That sounds better. Good. Oh, yeah. Sounds better. good on my end. Perfect. There we go. Sorry about that. Not usually a big disc user. So. It's good. It's good. Okay, so we're on live on the meet. That's awesome. And we have the Discord. Woohoo! I can, Perfect. you guys are like lighting up and stuff. Awesome. <laughs> oh, I'm going to move you guys over. I have your static image. Welcome, guys. Hey, happy Friday. <laughs> yeah, happy, happy Friday. Friday. Thanks for having us today. Thanks for being here. Thanks for jumping on. Thanks for being open and available. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Kind of just worked out. I was down here in Austin visiting Tyler this weekend. So it makes sense to jump on with him and join in. You guys are awesome. Um, I want to get into more about you guys, talk about what you're doing, hear about uh, what it is you're doing over at Mill Creek. Before we do that stuff, uh, we're doing the, I'm going to do some intro and we'll get into some use, but uh, can you guys tell us if you're tea or coffee guys? Black coffee. 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 100%. I don't put a thing in my coffee. <laughs> nope. You just leave it because it's good. Yeah. You leave it the way yeah. it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's more caffeine that way. You can have four cups of coffee instead of eight. And you know, when people talk about coffee, uh, I want coffee 
black, like the dark coffee. Well, they roasted it longer, and they literally roasted some of the caffeine out. Like the medium yeah. roast has more caffeine. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Okay. okay, having a cup, a couple cups of a dark roast versus a light, you can tell the difference. You feel it behind the eyes for sure. Once it starts stinging, you know you're ready. <laughs> you know you're good to go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, uh, I accidentally made some mugs for the company when I first started it, probably a year or so ago. And that's how I was going to show it right here. And I made there. It holds a full pint of coffee. It gets crazy. <laughs> and I, I still go through about two of those a day. So, my partner Jen says she's a beverage coordinator, uh, and. She is, still doesn't understand how there are bars that that have alcohol, drinks, cocktails, all of these concoctions. And there's not coffee bars where I can go and have a couple cups of coffee, but different ones and different roasts and, and different. <laughs> why can't I sit down and have a bar experience over coffee and order? A, what it reminded me was like, oh, I'll have a pint. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys been know. to a coffee shop like that? I don't know if that exists. There, uh, so I'm I'm out of Missoula, Montana. I'm down in Texas right now. But there are a couple. Um, I wouldn't call them bars, but more like tap houses that are a mix. They're coffee and beer fusion, and so you can go and get a coffee, do your homework, do your work next to the university or whatever, and then I drink it. All right, Missoula. <laughs> I guess it's Missoula bound is where I'm going. I guess it's the yeah. name of that yeah. tune. <laughs> All right, so let me do a bit of an intro here, and we'll get into more with you guys. We are here on the live. We're in our fourth hour between uh, noon and one Eastern, and we are at the public launch of HubSpot Super Admin Community. My name is Grant Carlisle. I'm here in the Midwest, and we're here with Ron and Tyler. Hey, Ron and Tyler. Hey, hey everyone. Ron. Hey, guys. <laughs> the HubSpot super admin community is for HubSpot users to connect to other HubSpot users to do HubSpot things. And it's a fun little quib uh, just to make the reality point that HubSpot has grown. It's now the number one CRM. Uh, it's got a couple other number one titles. And when you're a platform that HubSpot is, it takes setup. It takes the requirement of more than a user to do. And so what they've done inside HubSpot is identified a super admin role. And so when you're a super admin inside of a HubSpot portal, you have access to all the things that portal has. You can do anything inside of it. And so that user role, the super admin, has a skill set that's different from a marketer, that's different from a salesperson or a service motion. And so what is that day-to-day? What, what things do you need to know? How do you think about the portals? That in of itself is a role. And as HubSpot grows, that role itself as well will only continue to grow. Um, luckily, there's... Um, <laughs> did you guys see Ron Tyler, our joke this morning? We did an April Fool's and we said, HubSpot's so easy to use. Oh, uh, yeah. I saw that. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny, though, because... I, I was talking to my channel consultant about a year ago uh, since I'm a HubSpot partner and she was saying, yeah, we, the whole goal of HubSpot for the longest time was to not have an admin. You don't need an admin like Salesforce. And when I started the company about 15, 16 months ago, I told him this is exactly what I do. And she was like, oh, that's interesting that there's a need for that right now. And over the past 16 months, it's obviously become more and more evident that you do need an admin for this role. So loving kind of where, we're, where this whole community is taking it here. Ron, can you uh, love on yourself? Uh, you gave it to me pretty succinctly, so I'm guessing you have it in your back pocket, but you've done some amazing things in starting Mill Creek. Can you give us the rundown? Yeah, definitely. So I started, I have no background in sales and marketing. My background in sales and marketing was kind of jumping around in a startup company. Uh, I did that for a handful of years uh, on the sales side, marketing side, and I started Miller Creek Marketing in December of 2020. Uh, and within a year, we hit Diamond as a partner agency. Uh, so all I do, all we do, myself, Tyler, and the team that we're going around us is strictly focus on HubSpot admin services. We get into your HubSpot, we build it out, we make sure your workflows don't clobber each other, your reports are getting the information that you want. And we work with other agencies that are in the partner community. We work directly with clients that are out here kind of building out their HubSpots, migrating from other CRMs, having this as their first CRM that is not Google Sheets. 
uh, and really strictly be that super admin role across all industries, demographics, countries, you name it. Tyler, can you give us the brief on your role at, at the company? Yeah, so I currently serve as the Director of Revenue Operations. Um, I guess, basically, I serve as a super admin. Uh, I've served as a salesperson, and uh, I'll, I'll be serving as a, a HubSpot trainer whenever we start hiring on people to, to take up this role as we as we teach them to, to you know, become super admins. My background is, is heavily in sales for software as well as professional services company. Uh, and then I met Ron uh, via freelancing uh, and, and we just, we met and really kicked it off right from the get go. Uh, and that's, we're here now. And now we're in Austin. Yeah, now we're in Austin. <laughs> and now we're in Austin. <laughs> you just missed South by, but. Nah, you didn't miss much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was all right. COVID, COVID really torched, torched that one. It was, it was sad to see, but there, there was about 50% of people who usually come out for it. Wow. No kidding. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's still a great time, but uh, in past years, there's been, I mean, shoulder to shoulder everywhere. Yeah, right, right, right. So anecdotally, like in the streets, you're saying <laughs> there just literally yeah. weren't as many. Got it. Yeah, no, it's literally like you could walk in a straight line and during South by, especially on like 6th Street down in Austin, you, that's not, you don't do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, okay, I don't know, at Miller Creek, you are you had said something to me that I want to start talking about. Uh, Kyle announced this morning that, Kyle Jepson, that on the Academy today, and actually just a little bit ago, he announced that the RevOps certification is on, it's live, it's ready to go. So... <laughs> Awesome. Shadeeb, of course, is uh, wanting to get that done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but you also have some interesting things you're doing over there. So HubSpot is seeing this RevOps shift, the, these people who are kind of overseeing all of the portal. Uh, he's even in the background putting together a certification for a super admin. But you're doing a similar, and maybe you don't want to go into it too much, actually, Ron. I, uh, no, I'm happy to. Happy you want to, to talk yeah. about yeah. as you hire since people jumped, on? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Since I've jumped into being a HubSpot, I mean, kind of organically, I got my start freelancing, which is the same way that I found Tyler uh, a couple months ago here. Started freelancing, instantly had like people requesting to kind of get me working with them. I, I do no sales, I do no outreach, no outbound marketing, but I get probably 10 to 20 leads a week. So there's a huge need for an HubSpot admin uh, in the community. And that's what I have built the company around. As I've learned more and more through working over my 170 clients that I've worked with over the past 15 months, I think I have a good understanding of what an admin is now, what a role of an admin is, kind of mirror, mirror, marrying together the sales and the marketing or, and even the service organizations within a company to use HubSpot to its fullest capacity. And so through just organically learning and kind of building up my own internal process, which I won't go into details on, but <laughs> based on all that, um, Right now, we're focusing on hiring and training admins from the ground up. People that just have sales and marketing experience maybe not necessarily have used HubSpot as a system in the past beforehand, but we want to provide them the tools and the knowledge and the capacity to use HubSpot to advance companies to that next level that we all know that HubSpot has and that can, can be done. So as kind of I refine this process, my long-term vision is to build this up into a certification program that anyone can do uh, that wants to become a HubSpot super admin, like you're saying here. There are systems out there and certifications out there that do Salesforce administration. Uh, my wife is in product and she went through a whole bunch of product ownership certifications and Scrum, owner, uh, Scrum Master certifications as well. So I want to build that process to enable and empower people like myself to go out there and just say, I want to learn this and I want to go get a job to do this because I love doing it. And that's what, that's what we're building here. And right now, Miller Creek is done. Once the once it's been started, implemented, the settings are set up, then you're done. For the Is most part, correct? we we generally uh, stick on with some sort of retainer with our clients afterwards to be their okay. source of truth. Uh, kind of like a, maintenance. think of HubSpot, HubSpot support on steroids. Like you need something built, come on over to us. We'll help you out after we do your initial implementation because we end up being revenue operations consultants as well. If I gotcha. build your sales pipeline out, if I automate your marketing setup and your inbound and outbound marketing, I know your business. So in that case in point, instead of going and hiring someone else full time to come in and kind of reinvent it again, keep us available, keep us on retainer, and then we'll assist you in your outbound and the inbound or 
reporting functionalities, capabilities that you want to do. Uh, sure. So we, our average engagement actually lasts between, I want to say nine to 12 months, but our fixed implementations at the most are three months. And that's for the larger enterprise clients. Three months fixed implementation, you know, uh, you know what they need, you know what they to do and, and you just get it done. That's what I loved about your whole ship. And you went into more detail, but uh, I won't do that. And <laughs> the great part is <laughs> it's not, it's not, I don't want, it's not rocket science. It's not. <laughs> but to some it people is. it is. And to you guys, yeah. you figured it out and you have a great process for it. Yeah, exactly. And that's what it comes down to is like, we, we base our implementation process out based on their HubSpot subscription. And there are certain tools that you get in every HubSpot subscription that you have available as an organization. So if you have sales pro, you have access to deal automation, custom reporting, yada, yada, yada. But if you don't have marketing pro, then we can't do anything on the marketing side. So there's a very fixed scope of how we can roll things out uh, with an organization based on their subscription to HubSpot, where that has in the past and in other agencies that I've worked with muddied the waters a little bit is always scope creep. So I keep it very open and say, Hey, anything HubSpot related, that's what we do. There are three things that we don't do. We don't code. I don't write copy and you do not want me designing your graphics for your emails, but anything else within HubSpot, that's, that's where we step in. I'm game. I'm game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it does make, yeah. I love that. And and that was the kind of detail that we know based on your hub, what it is you're going to have access to. So yeah. what, so it's going to be, it would be that or less, right? So I could, if I know all of the things that are possible with everything, what you're going to ask me to do is going to be that or less. So now yeah. I have some boundaries and, and you're just moving forward based on those boundaries already set up. Yeah. Exactly. And I think that's something what I heard in that when you told me, Ron, was just as a super admin, we need to have those sorts of boundaries as part of the lexicon of the conversation. Like we need to be able to talk about, well, do they have and thus then can they do? Because our recommendation will change. Yeah, exactly. And what I found in just natural conversations is, okay, someone has sales pro for example, but now they want to do things that are post-sale and they want to automate like their onboarding process, their implementations that they do as the actual service and being a HubSpot admin, you can identify the areas and the other hubs that they could leverage and distinctly determine what ROI that could potentially have for them as a business. So being product experts or solutions engineers and revenue operations consultants and business consultants and HubSpot admins all in one, that's kind of what the HubSpot super admin role I see evolving into. Uh, and just understanding the ins and outs of a tool so much that you can advise on the business that you learn more and more about while you're working with them. I love that. I love that. So speaking of tools, tell us, each of you, Tyler and Ron, your favorite tool. Kyle, so I'll give you a minute here, your HubSpot tool. So not all of the things all, you know, it's the tool. So Kyle said he loves workflows. Uh, Tobias said it's these new data sets. Uh, he's been getting into uh, the Gmail integration was Jack's last hour. Uh, he loves that just integration. Mm -hmm. Tell us about your favorite tool and, and maybe tell us a brief of why. Yeah. So I'll go, I'll go first here. I'm a diehard service hub proponent. Um, it's my favorite hub. It's often not the first that I sell clients on or upsell clients on, but it is the one that I find the most value in. And today, the reason why I'm down in Austin is to build out all the service sub automations for Miller Creek Marketing. Uh, and when we grow and scale our admin community, um, a nuanced little piece of that that we have not built out yet, that'll be right after this call actually, is going to be our customer portal. And I know that's one of the newest features that I've just re released out in their service sub re-release. But that, when I saw that come out and with the clients that I currently have, I'm like, oh my God, I can think of 10 use cases right there for customer portals. And it's huge because I've had clients that I work with in the past that need a functionality like that. And they use Zendesk or they use other tools like uh, Freshdesk. But now that HubSpot has that, I am instantly wanting to say, all right, let's go ahead and do this for us. And then we'll do it for our clients because now we know how to use it. So that's my personal favorite at the moment. Yeah, Tyler? that's uh, that customer portal is going to be absolutely massive, especially for us uh, moving forward. But for myself, I got to say sales sequences 
Uh, I'm a big proponent of take as much work out of the salesperson's hands as possible. If you can enable a lazy salesperson to make a sale, you've got a heck of a system. Um, sales sequences, you know, being able to automate emails that go out, basically telling sales reps exactly what to do, when to do it, having them even be able to customize it a little bit inside the automation. It's that's huge for me, especially coming from, you know, sales myself, uh, as much automation as I could pack into that, that process that they go through, I'm going to do it. And that's why sequences is my go-to. Love it. Sequences is pretty dang powerful. Yeah. <laughs> um, Tyler, can you tell us, uh, well, you kind of did tell us kind of where you, you came from. And, um, so I could go a little bit uh, deeper on that. Uh, yeah. Most of my sales experience is going to be so started off at Dell. I uh, went into more of a sales ops after sales uh, at Dell. Moved on to uh, started working with Salesforce. Moved on to a elite agency for or elite HubSpot partner um, for uh, some time there. Uh, went back into sales and then uh, started basically after my time at the elite agency. Started freelancing on the side, doing sales myself. Uh, and then freelancing, one thing turned to another, and really that's where I met Ron. Uh, my former company, I was uh, an account executive for for software. Um, so I really, and that was a publicly traded company, and so I really understand from kind of seed round startups all the way to publicly traded how a sales system should be executed. Gotcha. Okay. The, a publicly traded company. So like it was a, was it a big guy? You don't have to say the name, but I uh, they they uh, they do about a hundred billion in revenue. Okay, <laughs> so <Kinda> big. <laughs> Ron, great catch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you want to work at Miller Creek Marketing, how do you apply? Yeah, we're actually hiring a handful of interns uh, right now, so we do have an active job posting on LinkedIn. Um, okay. I'm planning on doubling the team in the next two months, just with our growth is going out there and we're strictly hiring admins at the moment like nothing else so i, I want to bring only in people hiring have... hubspot yeah. admins o only hiring hubspot admins uh we're hiring about two uh that are can deal and in interact with enterprise clientele that we work with uh so also publicly traded companies that we have on on hand fortune 500 clients uh that are global at the moment as well um and we are hiring entry level three positions right now uh internship into full time in the coming months so yeah, we have a couple of job postings up on LinkedIn right now. If anyone wants to reach out, feel free, or you can always contact myself and Tyler directly uh, through our LinkedIn yeah, profile please, as well. Please do, please do. We can we can skip to that because it kind of fits here. What what is the best way to reach out to you? Is it LinkedIn? Yeah, it definitely yeah. will be LinkedIn, LinkedIn or our website. Um, depending on kind of your fit, like I had mentioned earlier, we have agency partnerships. So we don't do full stack marketing. We don't do code. We don't do copy. So anytime that we work with our partner agencies, we white label for them as well. Uh, so, and if you're interested in that, definitely our website's going to be the best place to find us there on our agency partnership page. But if you're just wanting to reach out and kind of start a conversation, LinkedIn is our lifeblood. So we're always available, message, connections, anything like that on LinkedIn. Love it. So everyone, if, if you're watching after uh, today is April 1st, 2022. Uh, after this day, not if you're watching live somewhere, <laughs> <laughs> then uh, go over, head over to LinkedIn uh, and look for Ron and Tyler. Uh, they're probably going to rebrand at some point because Miller Creek is his home area there in Montana. Oh, you got that. But... Come, ch come check out our April Fool's post today. It, <laughs> it is a teaser for the rebrand to come because that is... Our name is slightly misleading, which I, as I've learned the admin role and defined the company, will be, we're teasing a rebrand here really soon. So oh, yeah. more so to come go on. Find, go find Ron and, and Tyler. They're good guys. They're fun. Uh, shoot them a message and see what they're up to. And if they have a job posting, definitely apply. Uh, that's awesome. That's so awesome that uh, the growth you've seen is in the admin role and thus you need more admins. And so you're literally hiring Hiring the train. Yep. Yeah. Hoping that's why I brought him on to build up the yeah, training yeah. process that basically everything I've done over the past year and a half that he's helping put down on paper and put in action. See, the thing is, is he only writes stuff like seriously, he doesn't use computers to take notes. So everything is just chicken scratch. And it's like, Hey, can you put this into a process? And you're like, sick. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> 
And I write extremely small and only with pencil. So, so that's what I'm doing. That. <laughs> Heard. That should, that should be your next question. Not copy or tea. It should be pens was... or pencils. That's a hot topic at Miller Creek Marketing. We talk about it probably once once every month or once every quarter. He uses these just it... normal pencils. Like, look at this. Not a this mechanical is... pencil? Like a... a freaking oh, no. pencil sharpener on his desk. Like, who does that? <laughs> You're a draftsman. You could... Or, or yeah, uh, well, artist, I used to be fine artist. I used to be a pre med and biochem major, and you have to draw a whole bunch of organic structures. And if you can't draw a perfect hexagon every single time, you need to erase it. You can't use a pen, it's impossible. It's and if not you don't a perfect have hexagon, I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's fantastic. All right, so uh, Ron's living in the Stone Age, and Tyler is the future, is what I'm understanding. I put my pencil in my ear. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm in the shop, I always have a pencil behind my ear. Like it's yeah. just the I'm, way I'm a you pretty big woodworker, so I agree. I'm the same yeah. way. Pins always if pins or if working with wood or something like that, Sharpie. Oh. <laughs> Gotta be able to see it legally blind in both eyes. <laughs> that Milwaukee Sharpie, you guys seen that thing? It is a pretty penny mm -hmm. and it is just a Sharpie. Oh, huh. I haven't seen that. <laughs> Milwaukee yeah. Sharpie? Milwaukee has its own Sharpie. And it's oh, got like a oh, beefed the up. brand Milwaukee, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. All right, so we, at uh, in about 10 minutes, we're going to do a giveaway over, if you're listening in the Discord, if you're listening on live, or if you're listening in the future, head over to the Discord in the challenge area. Uh, I just posted Hulk. Hulk is our theme for the hour. Go over to the challenges channel and share your, your best meme of Hulk and... HubSpot, Hulk and HubSpot. So make a meme, post it in the channel. Uh, we'll do some voting on the best memes and we'll reward with some badges uh, the meme guru. <laughs> the ones for Thor, I haven't gotten a chance to look through, but I'm, I'm excited. Also, we missed Wonder Woman last hour with Jack. Uh, we missed Wonder Woman, so you're feel free to throw in some Wonder Woman or I'll, or I'll bring her back. Um, but throw your meme there in the challenges channel. Also at the 45, we'll do a go giveaway. We'll ask the guys who we want to do a giveaway to and we'll send out some prizes. Um, so Ron, Tyler in the Discord, watch who's commenting because uh, you'll have to choose someone. All right. What thread is this going to be in, in the disc? Either in the chit chat. So you get to just choose a person. Okay. Uh, it could be just from their engagement that you like in the chit chat, or it could be the meme. You know, the challenges we'll actually do a public vote on, but if you guys just like someone's meme, there's some Sounds good ones good. over here. 80s? The, it's HubSpot era. <laughs> All right, we'll look more at those. So uh, between now and then, if you have a question for these guys, please post it in the chit chat. Uh, uh, Shadab has one. Uh, we also have a couple questions. Shadab is asking on implementation projects, Ron and Tyler, what is your process for quote, the definition of done? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, it changes with every client and that's kind of why we keep it generally open-ended and say this, these are everything that we know that you have access to within your system. This is the general scope of work of everything that we can do within two months, let's just say as a two month timeline. Uh, we schedule the kickoff right off the bat, and then we have ongoing weekly check-ins throughout the project. We, the way that we typically work, depending on obviously what hub they have, is always focus on the sales side of things first. Because if the sales team is not, is not performing, if they take five, six weeks to get up and running in the system, a company's going to suffer. So we do sales first. Typically things post-sale, if they have the service hub, we then set up, automate, kind of configure, and then we roll over to marketing. And with marketing, there really is no end date. Um, but a lot of what we do is on the data infrastructure, the process, the automations for a general user in there. So the concept of done is generally when all the teams are up and running and handed off in their new process. Now, we don't technically end with end our collaborations with anyone right off the bat. We almost right. always roll into that retainer. So if it's something like, oh, we want to troubleshoot and test a new lead scoring mechanism, as an example, that's not something that you can get launched, ironed out, finalized, perfect in an eight-week timeline. That's usually something that we start around week six, get to a 
good enough or solid position by week eight and then say, all right, now when we go through iterations, we can look at the data, we can start kind of building off of what we've built up here as a version one, version two, and continue to iterate and work with that uh, right. throughout it. So, and I, I'd say like uh, really the first few weeks of the implementation, you're you're putting in the, the structure. You're putting in a scalable process that isn't generic. It is personalized to whatever they're looking for. Uh, but it's kind of the skull and bones. It's it's not you're not you're not really fully setting it up within the implementation. Once they roll over into retainers, they're you they are fully able to use the system. They're able to use it well. We train them up on it. Um, and then once we go into the retainers, that's really when the fun starts. We are, we're able to get creative with how we approach right. different things. We're able to, you know, recommend different softwares, whether it be, you know, hey, we really want you to see you in Service Pro. I think you'd really get some value out of that. Or it could be from a, a, di just a different software in general as a recommendation. And then that's really when you start to see the utilization and optimization of HubSpot. It makes sense. You, you just kind of get the ground for them to stand on. But now you exactly. can run somewhere with it. I love that, Tyler. And over that eight weeks, or whatever that timeline is, we learn a lot about the business. We learn everything about the business that they do from the first touch point on a contact that comes to your website all the way through and through to when they're offboarded as a client or if they've purchased and gone through any of the follow flows. So even at that, then we can start poking holes and say, all right, we're really missing some additional value add here if someone drops off after a week in the sales pipeline. Like we can do something there. So understanding the business is a big part of it. And that's the whole function of my first meeting and our first meeting with every new client is tell me everything you know and everything that you want to, me to know about your business. And then I'll take it from there. And that's, we get uh, very nitpicky on those. Yeah. It, I, I imagine it's hard for people to tell you everything. They, it is. Yeah. And they, they often don't it, know, right? they often don't yeah. know everything about their business, uh, whether, I mean, Typically we work with uh, usually the C-suite or the owners and founders of the company, but when we get these large organizations, Fortune 500 Global Client, for example, team members that are on the marketing team that you're working with don't know everything about the sales side and the sales process. And that's where kind of some of the gaps and our recommendations come in and just from how we work with past clients. Right, you you just know. You, yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> you know it's going to be a thing. It's like eight, seventy percent rinse and repeat, thirty percent learn something new every day. Yeah. <laughs> on a, and that's on a per client basis too. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tyler, I want to stick with you. Uh, Mario asks, "What are some things, values, and experiences uh, that you look for when you're looking for uh, a super admin?" Ron, you can chime in. I, I'd love Tyler to answer. Yeah, we'll stuff. take it to Tyler here. <laughs> I, the number one thing, this is this is huge. Do they know how to operate Google? Um, what I mean by that is, can they take something and run with it to where they get stopped? Are they going to do the research and try and figure it out on themselves? Can, you know, can I trust them to not bug me about something? But at the same time, if they go to Google and they can't find it, you know, they need to be able to ask us questions. They need to be able to learn from us. Uh, but I'd say the most important quality in a HubSpot admin is going to be able to get your work done, strap your boots on, figure it out. That mentality, plus not being able to afraid to ask or not being afraid to ask questions, that's that's huge. Yeah. And being All right, this so we, when I oh, when I clip our when I clip our chat, it's going to be get your work done, strap your boots on. That's going to be the title of <laughs> our chat. <laughs> Go ahead, Rod. <laughs> yeah. So one of the things I've, I've just kind of learned and discovered, and this is my first rodeo as well. This is my first time kind of starting a company, launching it. I didn't really know this was going to happen when I first started it 18 months ago, whenever that was. It really is that self-started mentality because we are fully remote and I don't ever plan on having everyone move to Missoula, Montana because sure. it's not for everyone. It gets cold and I love it, but not everyone else will. Uh, but it really is that self-started that Tyler's talking about, like, be able to go out there look for the resources. I mean, this is a super admin community that you're starting here. And if you have a question on how to use something in HubSpot, you have HubSpot support, you have Kyle Jepson and all the things that HubSpot Academy has to offer. You have things that you can Google forums, and then you have other admin resources that you can reach out to on LinkedIn because no one's going to bite your ear off. Everyone is friendly in this community and open to sharing their ideas, what they've done in the past. So it really is that just self-drive to go and 
go and figure it out and learn. And if you make a mistake, it's not the end of the world. It's just continue getting better. And the reason I know this is because I'm fully self-taught on HubSpot. No one was looking over my shoulder and teaching me how to do it. No one was looking over my shoulder. I didn't go to business school either. So no one was saying, hey, you need to do this. And this is how you start a company. It's all trial and error. And just not being afraid to fail was the best advice that I've gotten from my business advisor in the past. So are you building out? I'm, I'm guessing you don't have it built out yet. So if you did, I'd be impressed. The <laughs> ways that you're going to test those sorts of things in a sort of interview process? Like, how are you going to know that from interviewing someone? Uh, it's you, once you start, basically there's a few things you can do. So you can ask them the basic interview style questions and hope you get the basic interview response to them. Uh, there's a few things that I, I kind of look for. So whenever in that process, it doesn't, it doesn't work. You're not going to find, you're not going to find that mentality in that process. What I want to know is one, basically the questions that they're going to ask me, how much are they going to want to know about the business as a whole? And then at the very end, I always ask a question uh, that is very, it's not very serious, but it's very, very helpful in determining how someone react in a situation that they're not expected to be in. And that question is, tell me a joke. And you're the second person said, I just heard this from. Yeah. Yeah. No, I saw this. I saw this on LinkedIn, maybe like eight months ago. Um, and tell me a joke. Um, you will get the most genuine response. You will get the most genuine reaction from somebody because they're totally not. That's catching somebody off guard. Um, and the way they handle it, you know, do they go, oh, wow, I, I honestly don't know. Uh, I, I really don't know. I don't know. Uh, or do they have a one liner ready to go? Basically, the answer you want them to say is, that's a really great question. To be honest with you, I wasn't prepared for that question. Um, let me get you back in an email on that. And that's like, that's pretty much exactly what I want to know. Sure, it shows them sure. taking initiative. Like, like just, I don't know a joke. Like, either I've got a joke in my back pocket. Here's the joke, right? You asked a, a yeah. question. You can now watch their delivery. You, you can watch the cadence. You can see if they laugh at it. You don't care if it's funny. You don't, you don't care what the joke exactly. is. You don't care if it's funny. You don't care, you know, the subject matter. It's is, rated, but yeah, yeah right. <laughs> right. Yeah. But then, like you said, I like what you said too is, okay, I don't have a joke. I, ha I, I don't have a joke on hand. I'm not coming up with one in the moment. So just, just let me share my mind with you. Like literally just your response is, sharing the fact that you don't sharing the fact that if you really care about this, I'd be happy to like come up with my favorite and tell you later, like share, exactly. making, making how, what you're going through obvious to the person in front of you. Um, I, I like that. I think it throws and people plus, off too a little. <laughs> yeah, it, it throws definitely, yeah. It throws a lot of people off. Uh, but that's kind of what I want in this, in the super admin role. You go into somebody's system for the first time, you're probably going to get thrown off. <laughs> uh, you're going to not know what to do. You're not going to have a joke ready to go. Uh, you're not going to be ready to face it. And basically, all you need to be able to do is to fall back onto your resources and basically make yourself able to do it. Um, it's the, the joke question is very telling on a person's ability to fall back on the resources, and it tells you their true reactions. Love it. That, that was a good question. I think that came from Mario. Uh, we are at 12 minutes till the top of the hour. So at this point, I will ask you guys to choose one person we will give a giveaway to from the Discord, either from the meme or the way they're interacting in the chit chat. All right. Uh, and the memes are in challenges again? or In challenges, yep. In the challenges okay. are where the memes are being shared. If you have, uh, if you are listening, then share your best meme this hour uh, between the HubSpot and Hulk. So <laughs> make a HubSpot Hulk meme, share it in the challenges channel, and we will vote and rate on it later. And you will receive a badge. You will receive a badge and you will receive a gift for the uh, for your submission. <laughs> Some of them are going to be pretty ridiculous. Yeah, we're going through all the Thor ones right now, yeah. so excuse our laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> we are we are here on live. If you might be listening to us on LinkedIn, 
uh, Twitter, YouTube, or Twitch. If you're watching this after today, today is April 1st, 2022. If you're watching this after today, uh, please head over to LinkedIn and connect with these guys. This is Ron and Tyler. They're at a company right now called Miller Creek Marketing. <laughs> Though you can go to the LinkedIn HubSpot Super Admin page and you'll find a link to their LinkedIn. Uh, we shared out your guys' profile. So if, if you're watching this after the fact, go find these guys on LinkedIn and let them know that you'd like to work with them or give them a shout, tell them that you enjoyed their episode here on the HubSpot Super Admin. What do you guys think? You have a, an idea of one that you want to highlight? Not seen any Hulk ones yet, so do you want us to go back on the Thor ones? Yeah, yeah, just your favorite from even the last hour. Okay. A Shadab fan. I think Tyler's a Shadab fan. Which one? Let me see in here. It's the, uh, wow, cool view. Clicks, clicks it. HubSpot, introducing Sales Hub Enterprise. Contact sales. <laughs> <laughs> contact sales uh, well, yeah. i want to yeah. see it wait <laughs> what's happening exploring yeah sales hub enterprise all right i'll write that down so i can tell him which one it was shadab you are the man you are engaged he is in and on he's all over the place awesome sales hub enterprise all right, with 10 minutes left, what is <laughs> Latashna? Uh, oh, these are good. I won't do them uh, in front of us. So uh, certifications, certifications, Ron and Tyler, can you tell us a couple certifications that you would like to see? Uh, obviously, not only these, but that you definitely would like to see either people uh, who are a super admin, you want to make sure that they have these ones done. When you're going through their academy, uh, or you just ask them, uh, and you're talking to a super admin, these you, you want to make sure are completed. Yeah, there's definitely a handful of them. We actually have, I don't have the documentation on me right now, but we have kind of a list of certifications that we are going to be having our new admins do in the first week that they get on board while they're kind of learning the system, learning our business model, all of that. Um, the ones that I got started on way back when are just the basic software ones. Inbound is a huge one. Uh, I think just in the methodology of inbound and understanding how it can be leveraged with HubSpot. Um, and obviously the onboarding, since that's kind of what we do is the onboarding certification as a partner. So. And I what was the first one you said? You said inboarding and onbound. <laughs> yeah, I can, I, can onboarding. For you. I, got the, I got them at the top of my head. All right, so inbound. We're going to do um, sales enablement. We're going to do uh, marketing software, sales software, service software, platform consultant, uh, OBO, uh, and then there's one more, uh, frictionless sales. And those are the those are kind of the main ones to start off. Basically, what that's going to do is give them a great idea of how the software actually works, give them on the inbound principles, have them notice kind of how HubSpot automates and also makes it easier for sales and marketing teams to actually communicate and then platform consultants teach them how to audit an actual tech stack and then by the end of it we'll put it all together we can do some shadowing there we go well Sorry if I talk you just said something crazy no that's fine i i got most of them and okay. we can watch it back <laughs> we can watch the playback and pause if you want to <laughs> document everything tyler just said uh but honestly the uh, on top of the list you just said something crazy and then they can do what shadow then they can shadow why would i shadow someone i just learned everything i need to know yeah okay uh yeah. for us in the super admin space let's be honest the certifications are great uh but you've thrown into so many specific scenarios that there's no way one certification can help you out in all all scenarios. So you gotta be hands-on inside this application. You gotta be looking over someone's shoulder and teaching them how to do things. And you really wanna create the muscle memory of them looking at, you know, oh, okay, I need to go into contact properties. Actually, let's create this deal property. Okay, let's go ahead and put this on the sidebar now. Like that motion right there, that should be second nature. And they learn that from, from shadowing. Love that. Yeah. I can't even tell you how many 
screen share videos I do in my everyday and just kind of say, this is how we do this. Whether it's handed it off to Tyler and say, all right, this is what we need to be training on or when I'm actually training someone and doing it even on the behalf of a client because we offer client training as well. It's hours and hours and hours of screen recorded videos. So I'm like, this is how I do it. And a lot of times they have to go at like half speed or 0.75 speed just because I, I live in HubSpot over probably a hundred hours a week, maybe on any given week. So I go very fast and I can't go slow and it bugs me if I go slow. So that's what videos are there for. <laughs> it, it's so, I love your answers. It's just so true that I learned, I learned in the Academy how the tool works. Now I need to go learn how to use it. Now I need to learn how to go use, now I need to learn what my day to day using that tool will be like. Yeah. It's and so that, that yeah, encompasses my vision with the uh, admin certification in the future. Like it's, it's not, it's not that the certifications don't get there. It's that they're in a real life scenario when you're doing revenue operations consulting or you're working with sales and marketing teams, you get thrown into the deep end and watching a video and learning and being certified in certain functions of HubSpot is just the tip of the iceberg. It builds a really strong foundation. That's for sure. But then you need to learn everything else afterwards. And so that, that's the whole basis of kind of what we're, what we're hoping to do here in the next coming years. That's awesome. Uh, are there any people, so we'll hit the last question here. Any, any people that, well, I'd like you to share with us who it is that you like to follow and kind of what they're talking about uh, from a, a personal standpoint, but maybe also HubSpot. And, and be agnostic on the medium. So if you like to literally watch a YouTube or you have a, a podcast or a book you read, um, you know, a TikTok channel you follow, whatever it is, less about the medium, more who is this person? What are they talking about that you like to consume, you like to hear about? Yeah, I think um, you've got them on later. later. Sorry, what was that? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I think you have them on later. Max Cohen, big shout out. I, I love watching his TikTok videos on LinkedIn. I don't have a TikTok, so thank you for posting those on LinkedIn. But I, I'll watch those every day. Post them and share them to my team in our, in our daily stand-up Slack channel, and just be like, "Yeah, this guy's hilarious." So I, I watch him for comedy. HubSpot's often and working with clients is really serious in a lot of cases. So having that spin on it is is a breath of fresh air for sure. Love that. What, about, I, what about you? I'd have to say, uh, I guess Hubs, you know, like the guy himself, the man himself, got him on earlier, Kyle Jepson, uh, based on the HubSpot view, like you can't not like, I mean, like everybody goes to these <laughs> training videos. We all know who he is. Come on. Uh, so big shout out to him. Uh, the brand he brings and the work he's done is, is going to be absolutely pivotal to the work that I'm about to do. So big shout out to him. Um, and then just on a, in terms of content, uh, in terms of just business, Henry Shuck, the CEO of Zoom Info, um, this guy basically just, he has a great feed on his LinkedIn and I, I, I love the content he posts. Um, it's very, very GTM or RevOps focused. Um, and also, I mean, they, they got a great platform as well over there. It's awesome. Henry Shuck. I'll go look at, uh, where, yeah, how do you... How do you follow him? What is it? Uh, LinkedIn. And then I follow um, his director. Of, it's either director of marketing or director of revenue operations on LinkedIn. And they post a lot of good content. Gotcha. This has been fun. I appreciate you both for being here, for jumping on. Uh, <laughs> Ron, obviously you're traveling down in Texas today. <laughs> Thanks for jumping on, making it work. Uh, for growing so fast. I mean, congratulations on your diamond status partnership, which I'm sure is going to be elite soon. That's the goal. Hopefully. We'll check in at inbound. We'll August. check in at inbound yeah, this year. Hopefully by August. <laughs> check in at inbound with these guys. If you're there or virtually either way, check in and DM them and ask them if they're elite. Don't, yeah. you can look it up. Regardless if you we'll know the answer, subject. Yeah, we'll look it up first. It might be a source no, subject. message them and ask them. <laughs> Keep them accountable. Are you elite yet? <laughs> yeah, and if we're not, you can find us at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> um, really appreciate the time and the knowledge. Your perspective on the the HubSpot Super Admin as a role 
and, and HubSpot as a platform is unique. It's new. It's growing. And so you jumping on, I appreciate, but then you also sharing your perspective. Really appreciate it. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. Really appreciate the, the invite, fun. the outreach, and the comment on whoever tagged me as a, as a super admin user. So appreciate it. Yeah, go back and, and message that person. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the um, true MVP. <laughs> yeah. True shout-out. Well, happy Friday. Uh, happy April Fool's Day. And and um, we'll see you over in the Discord. All right. That sounds great. Cheers, everyone. Thanks. Yeah. Take care, guys. Mario guy added me. He's out of Austria. We can yeah, still hear you in Discord. Yeah. <laughs> we can still hear you guys in Discord. All right, I muted him over in Discord. Well, we're still on live. We're still here. I'm still here. Let's get everyone back up. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, we are live on LinkedIn, Twitter. Uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch. This is the public launch of the HubSpot Super Admin Community. My name is Grant Carlisle. I'm here in the Midwest broadcasting to you. And we are, uh, we're here on live on LinkedIn as well. So if you look at the bottom ticker, it shows you a URL, hubspotsuperadmin.com. There you can find a Discord invite link and you can join the Discord. That's where the conversation is happening. Notes, should Shadab. Notes, notes, notes. Okay, I'll share with you my notes. Uh, you can go over to the Discord and you can chit chat with people and you can chat with them. You can talk about uh, HubSpot. You can hear about HubSpot. You can share what you're doing in HubSpot. You can ask people, you can share your meme. All of these things. This hour, this past hour was uh, the theme for our meme was the Hulk. So what's your best meme for Hulk and HubSpot? You can share that over in the, the challenges channel. Go to the chow to submit your meme for HubSpot and Hulk. We will be, we are on live here today for eight hours uh, from 9 to 5 p.m. It is 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, and we'll have a couple more guests coming up. Next hour, we have Tracy. Uh, Tracy will be coming to us, and then we have Hannah and Diana. And for the 4 o'clock hour, uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll either see or we'll have a special guest. Uh, uh, and, and we'll see, we'll see <laughs> right now, before we go any further, we're going to do a brief intermission. I'll see you back here in two minutes.
All right, all right, all right. Back here over on the Discord. We're still up on live. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Thanks for everyone being here today. Thank you to all of you listening. Appreciate you. Appreciate you being on. Appreciate the, the people who are commenting and joining up. Having a community, it's important. <laughs> Have people around you. People will know what you're talking about, doing what you're doing. You can feel like you belong somewhere. It, it's important. And we, we all learned a lot about belonging during the 2020, the year 2020. And uh, the HubSpot super admin community uh, will focus on belonging, focus on people understanding each other, knowing where we're coming from, because uh, it's a unique place. It's small and growing. It's big and growing, let me say that, and understanding where people are at and how they're showing up there is a priority. So appreciate those of you showing up today on live. Appreciate those of you showing up, asking and engaging, and, and just being present to, uh, to give us support and to show, excuse me, show us all that we have people around us that see us, that hear us, that are part of what it is we're doing. Uh, just super appreciate all the people who are showing up and being present. We have in this hour, uh, Tracy. Tracy will be with us. Uh, it'll be my first time talking with Tracy. I see she's over in the Discord, and I'm going to do my thing on that end so that she can start to work those through in the case where it's not. And then I'll jump over and bring her on live. We'll do an intro. Tracy might be the first one where we just knock it out of the park. Save. All right, Tracy on, on Discord. Can you go ahead and unmute if you can hear me, Tracy? Can I hear I you? I can hear you. Woohoo! <laughs> All right. Thank you. Hello. Happy Friday. Hi. So I don't have you up on, I just wanted to talk to you first. So, hi. hi. <laughs> Everyone can still hear us in <laughs> Discord, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna work on getting uh, your video up into the live feed. So Tracy, you're coming to us from where in the world? Indianapolis. What's up? Seriously? Did you know this? Did you know that I'm in South Bend? <laughs> wow. Small world. There was another person. Is it uh, Laurent? Laurent? I think Laurent's from Indianapolis as well. She's, uh, or they, I don't know their gender, excuse me. Uh, they're over in the Discord. <laughs> Hey, Indiana. Ja Jack was over in Chicago, so that was fun. I waved to him. So let's do... <laughs> oh, hey! All right. So I'm seeing you over on the meet, those of you on the live that are like, what is he doing? And I'm going to sneeze, so I'm going to mute real quick. No, no, I'm not. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> There you are over on the live. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Will you unmute yourself on the meet? And then say words. Hello, testing. Ooh. We got you, <laughs> yes. Made it. Hey. Um, okay, so I'm gonna wave south and you wave north. I think it's that way. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Neighbors. Welcome, Tracy. I've never spoke. We've never spoken. No, we have not. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Um, 
you're coming to us on the first day of launch on the HubSpot Super Admin. And part of the thing I wanted to intro you with was just that reality that, hey, we're doing a public launch. Uh, I'm, we're talking for the first time is so this experience I continue to have with HubSpot. Yeah. Like there's just so many people and they're just open to chatting and sharing and discussing things. Um, Absolutely. So before we get into an intro with you, are you a coffee or tea person? Coffee all day. All day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're like 10 for 10 coffee. Oh, yeah. I didn't ask Tobias because I knew his answer. Sorry, Tobias. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so you're joining us from Indianapolis, Indiana. Can you okay. tell us your uh, your current, like put a stake in the ground for us. What are you doing with HubSpot and, and from what kind of perspective or uh, role are you? What am I, what am I currently am I, doing with HubSpot? Currently doing with HubSpot? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I joined so Agora Pulse about, about a year ago. A year ago. And, and um, when I joined, they had, joined just they had just migrated, migrated to HubSpot, like before they had like all these disparate systems. systems. And then they're like, you know what? We need to unify it. We need something a little bit more um, centralized. And so they just migrated to HubSpot. They used an agency and then they were getting ready to like, really like get the most out of it. So I've been, spent the past year just in, improving systems, documenting processes, um, building out a team. Shout out to Candice if you're watching. Um, and making sure that um, you know everyone on our team, our global marketing team can get the most use out of the tool. Gotcha. And so document it. <laughs> Stake in the ground is you are a loom expert. Absolutely. That... I'm loom all day. <laughs> loom all day. <laughs> Miro all day. Loom all day. <laughs> I promised myself I wouldn't do ridiculous bro-y shout outs, but here That's we okay. are. Okay. <laughs> Unavoidable sometimes. <laughs> yeah. The Miro, I mean, Miro itself, holy cow, has come so far. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was using it 2020 and then they added the voting and then the timer and then the video chat. I'm like, I could just Remo had like just started and I was using Remo a little more. I'm like, Remo's nothing. <laughs> Miro has it all now. They really do. Yeah, it's phenomenal. Cool, cool. Have mm -hmm. you done the Miro certifications? No. So I was just listening to like the HubSpot, how to be a HubSpot super admin series. And I was like, there's a Miro certification. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. so I'm looking into it, but have you done it? Yeah, there's two of them. You'll do them in like 10 minutes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's, but not as robust it's as the like basics. A hub spot. Right. There's only two, there's a whole bunch of lessons, as I'm sure you know, but the certifications are just the basic tool UI, mm -hmm. which I'm not mad about if that's where they're starting, because then they'll only add on layers. Sure. But yeah. yeah. You know, it's just a, if you're like a power right. user of a tool, it's probably not useful, right? So, <laughs> yeah, agreed, agreed. So you're documenting, documenting processes, mm -hmm. making sure those are good. Yeah. And so, what we're doing today as a super admin, would you? Um, I guess we're talking here, right, at the public launch of HubSpot Super Admin Community. What? What does it mean to you to have other people who are super admins to have other people around you that know what the heck you're talking about? <laughs> like what is it? it means like it means everything, right? Everything, like, right? Like, I think a lot of people um, are a team of one. And so you're kind of like in the org and like you're doing all these things and you come up with these like really clever like ways to make things work. And you just, you're so proud of yourself. No one else gets it right like so i think sometimes it's nice to have uh, a community that you can lean on to um you know be sounding boards for ideas to grow and develop but also just feel like you're not alone in this like very niche world that we live in heard yeah a sounding board of i'm working through this but also look at this awesome thing i just made yeah like does this make sense did i do this right is this good mm -hmm. yeah. yeah absolutely are you someone who celebrates emails? Sometimes um, those things take so much time. They do. They really, like, do. really do. The amount of back and forth on like a paragraph is amazing. But I think 
you know, for us, like we, like I was talking to my coworker Candace about it, and she was like, anytime we launched an email, it's like it was like pit in your stomach, You're like sending a sending a new new baby out into the world, right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yep, absolutely. Well crafted emails. I hope I hope dating apps start to include. That is a category. Can you craft? <laughs> or maybe people add it in their bio. <laughs> I craft I'm emails right. well. <laughs> Husband material right there. Yeah, right. Can you craft an email well? It's, it's kind of important. <laughs> Honestly, fantastic. though, once you see a terrible email, you're like, oh, this isn't art. Like, mm-hmm. there's a- yeah, especially when there's like the data coming in. Oh, yeah. Or, hey, you want them to read a certain thing and then maybe go do something. Those links, like people being able to talk in links where, like, the sentence has the link embeds. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Same page. So, love it. <laughs> so your favorite tool, this has been a fun one so far. Uh, what is your favorite tool? So not a hub. This is HubSpot. Not a hub. A specific mm-hmm. tool. Kyle this morning. Uh, you may have heard said workflows. Uh, Tobias's was data sets. And Ron and Tyler's got into, uh, oh, Jack said the Gmail integration. Tell us your, your favorite individual tool inside HubSpot. That's such a challenging question because I use all of them. <laughs> and I would be so sad without any of them in my life. Um, but I think the workflows are... I think the most value you get out of it for marketing automation obviously it's like without those it, it hubspot isn't hubspot to me <laughs> like we live in workflows all day and we document them and we make sure that they're you know running properly and uh i think on the sales side too i super love um the snippets feature it's like it's really nice and useful like when you're trying to get messaging out and you want to make sure like everyone knows you know how to how to talk about it super useful yep is this this how you talk about it (laughs) that is that is snippets so all of you know if you're watching on the video like this is how snippets work (laughs) survive more than a (laughs) 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 all right each hour tracy so far there's been some catchphrase that like encompasses the hour and i hope <laughs> for everything that snippets is more a vibe less a tool more a vibe is gonna yeah. be the theme this hour more sounds about right vibe, less a tool. <laughs> all right everyone we're on hubspot super admins live launch here on the community we're live in discord chatting with tracy who is in indianapolis indiana uh, you can, f- you might be watching uh, live right now on LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, or Twitch. And so, hello to everyone in the universe. We're over here in the hubverse. Bing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll cut that later and put the little thing there. Edit and post. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Grab that and post. Lizzie, yep. edit and post. Uh, um, <laughs> And so if you would like to join into the conversation, uh, Tracy and I are actually talking to each other right now on Discord on the launch stage. There's a URL at the bottom of this live stream uh, that reads hubspotsuperadmin.com. There you can find the Discord invite and you can join the server. Once you're on, just uh, verify yourself, click that green check and you'll get access to all the talk channels and you'll be able to listen to us. Um, That's how you can get connected. So I'm going to share a couple things on uh, LinkedIn and our, ooh, can I bring back, Tracy, who's our, supposed to be the theme? Do you like Vision, the superhero? Or Honestly, would you rather... I've never heard of Vision, the superhero. Like, which one did you just say? <laughs> I've never heard of that one. Uh do you mind if I bring back Wonder Woman? Because I I failed to do it to call out Wonder Woman during Jack's hour. Let's do it. Yeah. All right. So uh, I will intro that in a second. What uh, we can chat through then would be the next question for you, which is um, 
you have you have this yeah your favorite sequences and workflows that's HubSpot. Um, what is it about uh, HubSpot that like learning and training as a super admin that you would recommend? So some recommendations basically that yeah I'm in HubSpot or yeah I'm in RevOps or a, a particular department, uh, but ta- talking about uh, those who have inside HubSpot the super admin user role. What are some of those motions that you said you work in workflows constantly? Um, what are some of those things that you find yourself doing all the time that it's like, this isn't a marketing thing, right? This isn't a sales thing. This is a super admin thing. Can you talk to us a little more about some of those motions? I mean, it's a super admin thing, but not necessarily. I mean, it's hard to say that because I feel like everything you do is marketing and sales sometimes, right? Yeah. Um, but as a super admin, I feel like it's really important to have a handle on the data, like more than anything. Um, and me and our data team are super tight. Um, we spend all time, all the time going back and forth and making sure that it's accurate um, because your CRM is only as good as the data is, right? <laughs> like if it's junk in there, nobody trusts it. You can't use it. Uh, so like one of the biggest things I started was um, enacting like the life cycle stages when I started to make sure that those are valid and useful. And then from there, like nobody uses, someone posted this on LinkedIn recently, like nobody, I feel like the lead status is underutilized and super helpful for segmentation. Uh, did Wait, you post lead that? Was status, that you? Lead status and life cycle <laughs> stages are the same things, Tracy, right? You, we you are can, not, you, no. <laughs> will you go ahead and dispel this rumor? My gosh. I, I don't know why, where this came from, but so it depends on like the complexity of your business. Um, but for me, the lead status is a, a deeper segmentation from a life cycle stage. So you can be a customer, but like, what does that mean? Um, for us, we have like a self-serve path and a sales path. So I distinguish in the lead status, like sales and self-serve customer. If you're a lead, like what stage of the lead journey are you in? Are you like a brand new lead? Did you start a trial and not convert? You know, what is the, can you, can you enrich the other bucket in the life cycle stage? So it's really more about like enriching and deeper segmentation um, to make it more useful for your sales team to know where someone is in their journey and also for marketing to be able to target and do their messaging appropriately. Um, But it's, I mean, it's super useful and uh, I'm a big fan of it. I had, I like the deeper like segmentation. Mm -hmm. Um, I like to explain it like the Titanic bulkheads. Uh, uh (laughs) (laughs) Right. Like when you saw that side view, and the water, like the captain was like, and it spills over and over and over. That image, when someone explained it to me the first time, was the image that came. And like the life cycle stages are each like section inside the bulkhead of like you're moving through like the process. But the the status is that area filling up. Like, yeah, they're at this stage, but we're doing things inside that stage. So it, yes. it's not easy to know. They're at this stage. Uh, have you got a meeting? Like, have you done a follow up? Have you sent them a quote? So, like, there's all these little things within that stage that you have to do to then fill over and spill over to the next stage, and then the next stage, and the next stage. Absolutely, yeah. There's there's so much more to just like being a lead. <laughs> like, right? <laughs> well, like, you these are just leads. make leads, right? Like, yeah. No. <laughs> just go ahead and email all of them. them. <laughs> 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 yeah just send all the leads the lead email yeah the lead email because uh, they're all exactly down. the same <laughs> right. that's great that's a, that puts a really great point on it tracy is yeah just send them the lead email it's just right. such a ridiculous statement like it is we know there's deeper segmentation okay Absolutely. i like that thanks <laughs> So on on that subject of kind of the things that you're working on day to day, can you talk to us about within HubSpot then in the academy? Oh, a, a reminder announcement today. If you haven't already heard, if you're you're watching this and you're live, the HubSpot Academy RevOps, the HubSpot Academy RevOps uh, certification is live. It is available. You can go right now. Kyle announced that they nice. have pushed it out. What are some of the certifications that uh, you would recommend to a HubSpot super admin, whether they 
are acting now and they have a couple done, what are a couple you would like to see complete if you were talking to a super admin? Just HubSpot certifications or all certifications? Oh, talk to me. So I think that there's like a, a movement to being a little bit more data savvy. Um, so like my teammates and I just took this data literacy fundamentals course on data camp and it was super useful. Like, I don't think people realize there's like five different job titles in the data world. And so being able to work with your data team is super important if you're lucky enough to have one, <laughs> um, yeah. which I'm super thankful that we do. Um, but just having like a basic understanding of um, what is data normalization, um, data pipelines, like how, to, how does data feed into your CRM? Having a really like under, big, big picture understanding of, you know, how everything operates, I think is super useful. And then within HubSpot, I'm, I'm a big believer that experience Trump certs for me, but if you want to be like a super like knowledgeable HubSpot user, it's, it's good to have both. Cause every day I find a feature that I'm like, did, did they just drop this in here? Or did I miss this this whole time? I didn't know it existed. <laughs> Cause yeah. you know, HubSpot likes to sneak in like cool new things, you know, and I'm, I'm pretty sure it's new, but I'm not sure. Um, but having those certifications really helps you have like a strong like, foothold on the tool itself. So um, you know, obviously I'll like the hubs, if you're going to be like a sales ops pro, you really want to have like the sales hub certification. If I love the email marketing one, I think too many people think you're allowed to like just email people without regard for laws, <laughs> the email, <laughs> the email certification is really useful for that. Um, and, and we're a global company, so we have like GDPR compliance and things like that to think about, um, sure. which is, is really important to have knowledge on. Um, yeah, I like, I like the hubs. I like the inbound marketing cert. I like the email cert. And I like data camp for added knowledge of how data works. And I would add to your data. I love that you pressed me and said in or outside HubSpot. <laughs> and then you went to the place that I, I love your answer because outside HubSpot certs should be really around data. It should be around um, a, a SQL, can yeah. you use Excel? Can you use a spreadsheet? Can you run a, a SQL search? Uh, can yep. you call a database using SQL and understand the call and understand what you get back, those joint, inner and outer joins, your VLOOKUPs mm -hmm. kind of things? And also an ERD, can, can you understand an yes. ER diagram from a <laughs> database? That's a super useful skill to have. <laughs> Do you know that there are these object things that have properties? Yeah, absolutely. Like this is just oh. here because it's bleeding knowing, into your background. <laughs> oh, <laughs> knowing what it is, what an object is, and that it has properties, and it relates to another thing. Like you were saying, the pipelines. Mm -hmm. It makes so much sense. Yep. Powerful tool. You gotta, you gotta know how it works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How does it work? And then, and then you probably said the best thing at the top of your answer, which is experience trumps all. I mean, it really does. <laughs> so, yeah. Sure. You know, a thing. And even Ron and Tyler last hour, they said, well, we want them once we've trained them. Well, now we want them to shadow us. So they know actually how to implement the things they know. Yeah. I got my first certification like seven years ago, and I feel like most of my learning has been in the past three years when I've been like solely managing the CRM in my role. Um, and that's when like my knowledge just skyrocketed. So, yeah, wherever that's worth. <laughs> Heard that. Heard that. If you have questions for Tracy, you can drop them in the chat on Discord and she will answer them later. Make sure they're really hard and difficult no. <laughs> and not softballs, like Please technical, don't. deep technical, how to video kind of questions. <laughs> and I will look into that for you later. <laughs> That's this, the answer. <laughs> exactly. Uh, you can ask her questions there. Again, we are in Discord. You can, you can join the Discord at the URL on the live stream, HubspotSuperAdmin.com. You can find the link there. Our theme this hour is Wonder Woman. Let's go over to the challenges channel and we'll put in the Wonder Woman challenge. 
So the Wonder Woman challenge uh, this hour is to make your make your best meme out of a cross section between HubSpot and Wonder Woman. So make a meme <laughs> that is HubSpot and Wonder Woman related and share it in the challenges channel over on Discord. Challenges channel on Discord. The Thor ones are pretty good so far. We didn't have really any for Hulk, so if Hulk is holding on. I love the Thor ones. <laughs> Do you have a favorite so far? Um, Shadab, I mean, is super active. Let me see. I love the uh, with a bad CRM. What is this one? I think Lizzie Undercover posted it. With a bad CRM versus with HubSpot. Awesome. <laughs> with a bad with HubSpot. <laughs> HubSpot admin, hold hold my workflow. <laughs> we should do like a <laughs> like a beer. Like, you can't do that. And then HubSpot says, hold my beer. All right. <laughs> I got to make one of those. It's true. I was just noticing, like, this time, like, six months ago, I was really frustrated that we didn't have attribution reporting on the campaigns. Mm -hmm. And I just noticed, like, yesterday, there's attribution tab on the campaigns page now. I'm like, <laughs> you ask and you shall receive. And then you made a video explaining that. Fact, and then right? I documented it in our knowledge base, and there it is. <laughs> uh, you're, do you actually do use Loom? I just threw it out there, but is yeah, that no. your? Yeah, we're, um, the U.S. team is distributed, so we're not all in one place. So I live on Loom and all that all the time. All I know some, asynchronous. Right, right. Some people will open up a, uh, a Zoom and just record that way which is a little clunkier. I mean, Loom's so instantaneous. It's very convenient. It's just there, right? Yeah. And then do you have to... <laughs> 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 yes, I'll shoot right? you a Loom. That's what you say. It's like Facebook me. Yeah, exactly. It just like rolls off the tongue now. I'm like, oh, do you want to do a meeting? No, 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 I'll just send you a Loom. I'm like, <laughs> I'll send you a Loom with it. <laughs> Not necessary. Uh, what are some of those things that like you just said, the attribution. Uh, what are some of those things that you are doing in the motions and you're making them work, but maybe HubSpot could do better? Like, yeah, it goes 80% of the way. If it just did, meh. <laughs> right. What's and your so meh? Was, Very my, technical. My, my meh is uh, the locking of the original source, the drill down properties. Like so recently, like one of our teammates accidentally like smushed two UTMs together. And so now it's attributing it to two different campaigns. And, it, and I was like, oh, support, like you're always there for me. Can you fix this? And they're like, no, we can't override that. And I'm like, darn it. <laughs> so like all of our reports are gonna be wrong for this quarter, which is just, it's just one ad, but like that, that little thing, it's like drives me nuts. I wish we could override that. The original source original source drill down one original, original yeah. source drill down two especially when you do like a zapier integration and just shows up as integration it's like that's not really a source hubspot that's just you know <laughs> that's a type that's a category right? <laughs> come on but i don't know about zapier's fault or hubspot's but i'd love to be able to like when i'm sending a zap override that from the source so do you do you use uh and for those super admins out there do you use the first touch, last touch on the campaign side, or you're focused solely on original source? We kind of look at every, all the models. Um, sure. <laughs> so I, but I, do, I do like to look at original source, especially when we're looking at a deal attribution um, to see where the deal came from. Uh, it's just a really convenient like catch all property um, to review all the channels that are working. Um, but then we have like a lot of custom properties we do to drill down into like, I don't know, different marketing initiatives that we're doing. And because sometimes you'll do a marketing initiative and it doesn't quite fit into a campaign. So you'll have like an event and a download and like all these yeah. things, but it's one thing and you want to be able to track it all together. 
so. all of those things. And so you can't mm -hmm. just, like you said, you can't attribute it back to one campaign. Yeah. That makes sense. I, I liked how HubSpot did, they made, they kind of mapped over the framework of the original source and then drill down one and two over to first touch, last touch, but then original campaign. Mm -hmm. So there's that kind of like framework that you can see, but you're right. It's, I, yeah, you don't use well, it because it's not a campaign. And for me too, the frustration sometimes can be around where the attribution lies. So like last touch, a lot of the time will just be our sign up page. And it's like, and yeah, that's the sign up page. Obviously, they can work in there. That's not really giving me useful information, yes. right? <laughs> yes, they signed up on the sign up page. Shocking. Um, so I would love it if they went like you could set it to go like one step before. That would be last touch. You know what I mean? I do. No, I, I do know what you mean. I was, I was just wondering, were uh, teacher? <laughs> my teacher brain goes, well, it's obvious to me. So there's this classic thing in teaching when you uh, say something or you just have taught and ex or explained something. And then the question that follows <laughs> so often is, you know what I mean? Or do you understand what I said? And they say, yeah. <laughs> and you're like, cool, great. You understood what I said. I have Done. no idea, actually, if you understood <laughs> what I just said. Because I didn't ask you to repeat it back to me, or I didn't ask you to say it in your own words, or I didn't ask you to show me by doing what I taught you. Uh, it would be interesting if you were running reports, like you're saying, against the last touch, and it wasn't the sign-up page, to know like what those things are. But it's still not doing what you're wanting, which I get. It's just... Uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just like those little quirks, but... Um, we work around that with, you know, custom properties and stuff like that. So, gotcha. So you'll add a custom property to maybe a touch point, and now you can attribute. Yeah, we have this like master workflow that's like anytime the lead's created, all these things get tagged. The second, it's created, and that way, like the attribution is um accurate. And then timestamp, like all the timestamp properties. <laughs> so that's awesome. Oh, so mm -hmm. it's touching the timestamp too of when it became that. Yes, exactly. It's so smart. Yeah, it's really nice. It's getting too big though. We've reached the branch limit, so we'll have to <laughs> simplify it. <laughs> I didn't know there was one, <laughs> and now we've reached it. Those of you out, you know you're a super admin when you found the branch limit, not yeah. by Googling branch limit HubSpot. By but making by a workflow that's too big. <laughs> Oh, I love it, Tracy. That's fantastic. <laughs> you know, like these, these, these workflows, they're not, they're more a vibe, less a tool, Tracy. It's like I mean, more it's a true. vibe. More a vibe. True story. <laughs> Those sorts of things, like the limit of uh, a workflow and then being able to separate it, call, you know, at the end of that one, you're just going to call another one, right? You're literally just going to, all of these will branch back to this one thing. And then that one thing is call that workflow and just start over. Yes. We create sorting workflows now. So we're like, okay, this is the super workflow. And then you go into like, it's like couple buff, oh right? God. Like your sorting house. <laughs> workflows on Keep top of workflows. Keep talking, please. <laughs> um, yeah. You it's said super workflow. It's the sorting hat. Anyone listening, please make a meme of a super workflow that is the sorting hat into all the houses. Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw. Yeah, that's that's basically what we have to do. <laughs> Although, like, kudos to HubSpot, because I would just keep going. And so it's forced me to simplify. I'm like, okay, this workflow is too big. I need to make it smaller. Um, and we do a lot of that. We go through and we're like, how can we make this easier? Like, we just did a pricing change, and we had to go through and update 13 workflows. And I said, that will not do. Like, we have to simplify this into one workflow that we can just update one property. Um, so, you know, it, it's, a, it's a constant process of, you know, improving and refining. Constant process of re <laughs> reviewing and refining. Is that what you said? And, and improving and refining, yeah. Improving, <laughs> improving. How, how, that is, 
would that be another way you could sum up your role as a super admin? I mean, I treat it like I'm like the product manager of HubSpot. Like I, I send out like weekly, like product updates. Like this is the improvements we made. Like it's, it's a tool that needs constant review and updating and you can't, it's not like a sit and forget it kind of thing. It, it's, uh, so I appreciate what you're saying. And I just want to listen more to your perspective because it is, uh, it is a thing. It is, it makes sense to me what you're saying about being a product and you're like the product manager. Mm -hmm. And so we made this update. Well, we, we figured out that we need to make this update. <laughs> we made right. it. And then we have to communicate that we made it so that if this is something you deal with, now you know mm -hmm the updated version basically. Yeah. Yeah. We have an Asana board too. So like we track the requests that we get. So it's either like a bug or an issue. Like we treat it like, I literally treat it like a product. We have bugs and issues. And then we have um, like feature requests. So like somebody wants to come in and have a new dashboard. They want to have um, a new integration, a new tool. Like we got to go through and review it and put it into our sprint backlog for the next month. So we, we definitely treat it like Lock and key. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. So it's clear what you're doing, clear what you're working on. Do you have uh, the whole upvote, downvote, or how have we gotten that from us? <laughs> <laughs> now, Candace and I are just like, we just decide. <laughs> That's it. So it's coming from people where you're like, they, they're they only sharing things they need done, basically, right? Mm -hmm. It's not like, I want to do a thing. Yeah, but I mean, we, we have to be sort of strategic with it and uh, communicate when things don't work. Like sometimes people want to do th something and we're like, no. And you have to be really good about communicating that and, and finding alternative solutions for people because it can be frustrating. Right, and show them the way that I know this is how you want to do it. This is how we're currently doing it. Please, please yeah. do it this way. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So that's like an overtrain opportunity. Oh, yeah. On the process. Yes. Reminding of the process, training okay. your team, all that. So continuous improvement and refining, uh, communication, it sounds like, on the front end and the back end, like closing the loop, basically. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. How do you make sure, Tracy, that you understand what they're saying? So if someone were to, in your Asana board, like, post something and you're going to go do it. How do you make sure you know what that request means? That's like the million dollar question, right? Like sometimes people <laughs> ask for something and they're like, they don't know what they're asking for. <laughs> um, so we try to make sure that people, the tasks only get to our board if they're well-defined. And then we say like, if it's not well-defined and you don't understand what you exactly need, let's schedule a meeting or shoot me a loom and let's talk through it first. Um, you know, sometimes people think you can just go in and like, you have a giant database. Let's just email all those people and my campaign will be successful. And it's like, you can't email all those people. <laughs> like, They're all on their own journey. Like it goes back to the lead status thing. So going through and like- So what is well-defined? Did you make a template of- That's a great question. What, so well-defined to me means that uh, you understand exactly what you need, right? <laughs> Which is kind of vague, but it's like, you have to understand exactly what is needed. So like- I need an email to go out to these specific people in this specific stage of their journey. Or um, I have this tool, I did this demo, it has these features. I've already looked and seen that HubSpot doesn't have these features, that's why I need it. Like going through and like doing your due diligence. If you throw a task on there and there's no due diligence behind it, that doesn't work, you know? <laughs> now we're gonna have to have a meeting and I'm gonna just yeah interview you basically through your use case I ask all the questions exactly like it and for each task we have like a story like this is a story this is the problem and this is how we're resolving the problem with this update or feature or integration um so yeah, part of it is going through an interviewing like okay, tell me exactly what your experience is let me see if i can find where the hole is and if i can make an improvement another way or if your conclusion is the right conclusion mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that makes a lot of sense Let, let's yeah yeah. I love That's that. A lot. <laughs> the, can you do a blog post just on your process? I would love to share it sure. on HubSpot Super Admin. <laughs> right. Absolutely. Of just the fact that we want things input. We want it input clearly. When we don't, we mm -hmm. now have to have an interview. I have to make sure during that interview that we don't already have a process and we're not going to like mess up a 
thing that maybe you don't know about because I might not need to build something. I might just need to train you more. Right, exactly. I, I think for those of us who are managing portals like you are, uh, understanding that it's not just clicking the right buttons all the time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> wait, I have to talk to some people? Hold on a second. Wait, wait, wait. Back up. We have to talk to other people? <sighs> yes. You have to unplug from HubSpot and go communicate with a human. <laughs> Uh, Although I joke, I joke with my team because sometimes we're in meetings. Like there's some days that are like big meeting days, and I'm like, I just want to go like play in HubSpot. That's all I feel like doing today. I don't want to. I want to talk to people. <laughs> Scheduled, done. Right. Uh, let's see. Are there any questions in the chit chat for Tracy? Uh, used to disqualify deletes in HubSpot workflow. We also use it to disqualify delete leads via HubSpot workflow, lead status, that is. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, none there, yeah. If you have a question for Tracy uh, about her job, where she works, where she lives, how she mounted so cleanly all of those pictures uh, on her wall, um, because that is her wall, at her Definitely home. real. <laughs> <laughs> my house is this clean it's a cafe <laughs> it's actually just a cafe <laughs> right. uh, that <laughs> occupant one <laughs> uh, questions for her about her experiences uh, with HubSpot with the, the portal and uh, as a super admin put them please in the chit chat channel on discord if you need to get on the Discord because you're watching us on live on some other platform, uh, you can go to HubSpotSuperAdmin.com. In the top right, there's a button that includes the invite to Discord. Once you click on the invite, go into Discord, verify yourself, and you can talk with us. You can talk with Tracy. Tracy was early on soft launch time, right? Yeah. That was... <laughs> That was a morning, I will say. We were in Miro. I put in way too many objects, and so it lagged hard. Oh, no. But it was fun. You were there. Was it you who was getting ready, or was it Callie? Not me. Mm -mm. Uh, we had someone getting, I think it was Callie, who was, <laughs> I'm just going to be on voice now for a while <laughs> but i'm listening <laughs> gotcha oh, that's, funny. that's happened on lots of meetings before for me <laughs> yeah i'm here just keep talking just getting ready it's 6 a.m um, where i am yeah right with 12 minutes left in the hour uh, a couple questions more to you uh pointed about um things kind of to know we went over the certification kind of stuff who are some other people that you listen to, uh, and when I mean listen, I mean it generally. So medium agnostically, books, mm -hmm. podcasts, TikTok, YouTube channel, whatever. Uh, who are some people that you listen to and what are they talking about that interest you, both personally and professionally? Um, so I love the Marketing Millennials podcast and Opscast and Demand Gen Live. Although like, so that's Chris Walker demand gen live and i'm sure if you're in marketing someone's come across chris walk have you heard of him before he's a guy who's like ungate all your content i haven't have heard... oh, okay new... he does <laughs> like, all these things yeah that's like the, the the big uh i don't know i guess it's not really a buzzword but the big push lately is like ungate your content and all that stuff but anyway he he's great and has a lot of um interesting things to say i love sarah mcnamara too she's um a great marketing ops pro and um, has a lot of great things to say about like, just like upskilling, up leveling your career, being a little bit more strategic. Um, Kyle Jepson, who you had on earlier, it's phenomenal. Love his tips. Love them. Um, like those yeah. little like bite sized tips are super useful for like ongoing uh, learning. Um, yeah, Daryl Alfonso. I mean, there's so many great people on LinkedIn that I follow that are super useful. And have so much good information. Um, yeah, podcasts, LinkedIn Love following, it. all of it. 
that's a good list. They had quite a few people. I know sometimes it's like, I think about this content and people talk about it, but what are their names? Yeah, <laughs> you just right. rattle it's them like, right off. <laughs> this is like content that you consume without knowing who it's attached to. Yeah. Right, right. There's just some content there. Mm-hmm. There, yeah, for sure. Uh, and and so it's marketing focused. It's business focused. It's it's yeah. thinking through how business works. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Love that. I mean, digital marketing focused, really. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Digital marketing. Uh, people are talking more about, about TikTok for business and how do I get into TikTok for business? So as that has happened, I feel like there's enough between Facebook and TikTok <laughs> that that maybe that's you know, Facebook is going away, but it is still a behemoth. It is. It, it is it, not. It really is. Um, it's funny, though, because I feel like the TikTok is kind of bleeding into LinkedIn, right? Just by, like, people sharing it on their LinkedIn. Yeah. Um, and I don't, I'm not on TikTok because I'm old. But I, when you go on LinkedIn, it's like there is this, like, big, like, marketing um, I don't know, push group. to use TikTok videos that are, like, mm-hmm. interesting and you know, they're, they're funny though. I enjoy them. Yeah. It, I've met so many people like you who are not on TikTok, but it's so <laughs> funny, whatever they've done, whether it's the share button, there's opinions out, but, but you know, content on TikTok, you're not on it, but you've consumed I TikTok content. Can't avoid it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like everywhere. Max shares it on his LinkedIn. People share mm-hmm. it to everything else. Yeah, yeah, crazy. All right, so digital marketing stuff. <laughs> yeah, <I agree. laughs> uh, unget your content. I'm gonna have to look that one up. I I'm behind, obviously. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not part of the cool kids. <laughs> uh, and then some of oh, and we already talked through kind of like idea stuff too. Yeah, wow, we we're rocking yeah. the hour. Rolling through it. <laughs> All right. So if we're going to move then to your giveaway uh, person, do you have, uh, I'd like you to please, Tracy, go into the challenges or go into chit chat okay. and tell, uh, identify for me someone whose engagement you enjoy or appreciate, and we will give them uh, a swag gift. Go to that chit chat. I can tell it is the noon hour. <laughs> <laughs> for yourself or for the group? <laughs> for the group. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, hey. So yeah, scroll back through. See who it is you um, appreciate their engagement in so far. Can I just pick my favorite meme? Yeah, <laughs> your favorite meme. <laughs> in the challenge. <laughs> I like Lizzie undercovers. I already said that. It was funny. Got it. Giveaway to Lizzie undercover. (laughs) Look out, Lizzie, for a swag pack coming your way. (laughs) For for the meme you shared. Congrats, Lizzie. Tracy, I haven't done this yet. Mine is still boring, but on the Discord, uh, we're going to ask people to push <laughs> sorry, or, uh, make their nickname on Discord superhero E or superhero esque. Let's dive into that theme. <laughs> yeah. Mario, Lizzie Undercover, Kim Possible, Robbie RevOps. Mario was on earlier. He did like. HubSpot Super Mario, because his name's Mario. But for nice. Mario and Luigi, too, like a play on it. Oh, that makes sense now. <laughs> it's all coming together. <laughs> Grant, you are saying Mario a lot, but that's his <laughs> name. I don't get it. <laughs> cool kids. Lounge. All right. Lag. Where is the... Wow, we only have five. This hour has gone by super quick. It really has. I don't know about you. Just flown by. 
The other fun thing uh, for those of you to do, and Tracy, let's see if you have yet. Have you jumped on your, yeah, you're on the purple side. So you can go into the get roles in the welcome category and you can add over in the Discord different roles, which just means you're able to share. So you can share your pronouns, you can share uh, where you're currently located, and for those of you listening, you can also add a color to your name. So we have red, purple, green, pink, orange, yellow, blue. Are those primary and secondary? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Check. Cool. <laughs> so go ahead and click whatever color you want, and your name will change to that color. Um, and so that's a, a fun way to recognize people. And then we can use... We can do the drill down into what roles you're a part of and target you with messaging. <laughs> Perfect. <gasps> <laughs> we'll use the original source, drill down one and two in Discord. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's where to find those. In the welcome category, go to get roles and you can change the color of your name. Those of you on Discord. If you'd like to get on Discord, so go to hubspotsuperadmin.com and click the link in the top right. It's an invite to the Discord server. So go there. Uh, Tracy, this has been fun. Also, you didn't know this and I didn't. You're in Indianapolis. Um, I will be there all week next week. So well, we nice. have to meet up. Well, nice. We should. <laughs> uh, we're going to be in, in the Mass Ave area. Nice. I'm just east of downtown, so we're over there a lot. Gotcha. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yes, and there are a couple of others. Maybe we can do like a HubSpot meetup. Is there a hug in Indy? I don't think so. Not that I know of. I, I, there's that. one in Chicago, but yeah. I think that's the one they usually have to jump into. Should reach out and see if we can do something there. Anyway, that's for us. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being awesome and sharing your super with us, which is your HubSpot super admin superpowers. <laughs> no problem. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we're just seeing how many times we can say the word super. That's all it is, Tracy. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> Appreciate you sharing your HubSpot super admin superpowers with us, uh, making us understand that snippets are more a vibe and less a tool. And Get to the hand the motions awesome. too. It's more the vibe. <laughs> the vibe. <laughs> Nailed and, it. Uh, <laughs> Tracy's already on Discord, so you're welcome to chat with her there. What is uh, the best way for people to reach out to you if they want to uh, chat? LinkedIn, probably. I'm always milling about on there. Search for Tracy on LinkedIn. If you're watching on live, go over to LinkedIn, or you're watching this after the fact, go over to LinkedIn, find Tracy and say hey, uh, and tell her thanks for all of the nuggets, the golden nuggets she dropped on us this hour. <laughs> Just serving them up. <laughs> Just left go. and right. Here they are. <laughs> That's all I got. That's all I got. Now I need a golden egg to <laughs> do the nugget <laughs> meme. You need more props next time. <laughs> Sorting hat, nugget. Sorting hat. Golden nugget. All right, I'm writing a list. <laughs> Thanks, Tracy. Uh, happy uh, April 1st. Happy, happy April Fool's Day. And yeah. happy Friday. You too. Thanks for having me. Thanks. Take care. All right, and we are off uh, with Tracy. We're going to bring everyone back. There we go. We're still on live. Hello, everyone on live. Thank you, Tracy, so much. That was fun. It was great to meet you. Looking forward to meeting you IRL next week in Indianapolis. Uh, we are here at the top of the hour. Uh, the meme, you can still get in your meme on Discord in the Challenges channel. In the Challenges channel, share your favorite meme of HubSpot and Wonder Woman. HubSpot and Wonder Woman. Make a meme, share it in the challenges channel uh, in HubSpot. Tracy, thanks so much for a great hour. It went by so fast. Uh, awesome golden nuggets of 
information about uh, Daryl Alfonso, your interest in digital marketing, Chris Walker, uh, Sarah McNamara. I'm going to have to figure out what unget your content means. And, and the certifications. You talked about certification. You pressed me. Uh, Tracy pressed me on certifications and said, well, HubSpot certifications or certifications in general? And she went into how outside of HubSpot now, it is not enough to just have some HubSpot certification, say I know it, and then hit the ground running doing everything. Uh, if you have a HubSpot certification, you now need to learn how to implement those new skills, that knowledge that you just gained in the HubSpot certification. In addition to that, though, outside of the HubSpot Academy, there are certifications uh, one that she did was this Digital Fundamentals from Data Camp. Uh, Kimberly shared that in Discord, the link to that uh, certification to understand data, to understand how data flows and how it's stored and where it's coming from, how it acts. And so outside of HubSpot, there's additional certifications that being a HubSpot, you, uh, HubSpot super admin requires. Being a HubSpot super admin means that you know more and you can implement in a with a deeper understanding of how the platform, how the particular portal you're working in should operate, how it does technologically operate, how it's structured. So you need to know how an ER diagram works. You know you need to know that an ERD is how a database is structured and that there's these elements things and that those elements have properties. And in addition, those elements have relationships between them. So uh, don't just look at an ERD and don't just answer questions about ERD, uh, uh, what an ERD is, draw one, draw one out. Draw what you think the objects are. What are the properties? Draw out the relationships between them. All of those things need to be included. So additional certifications beyond that. Uh, and, and SQL. SQL is another way. And, and spreadsheets. SQL and spreadsheets. So if you can run a function in spreadsheets, if you can uh, run a, a SQL query, then those skills are, are the embodiment of a HubSpot super admin. Don't just take certification academy courses and, and say... I know everything there is to know. Once you've gotten those certifications done, now you're getting started. And that is that is the point. You're getting started. What we're talking about here in the HubSpot Super Admin community is the journey, going down the journey together. You belong with these people. You belong here. You're on your path. And so, yes, you've gotten started somewhere. Maybe you're just simply a user. Maybe you open up every day and go to work, opening up HubSpot and sitting in the, the service hub and, or, or answering phone calls or answering emails. Maybe that's how you've come to the HubSpot super admin community. Maybe that's how you've arrived here. What you've found yourself doing, though, is taking a couple certifications here and there, and you know a little bit about the data setup, and you've created some custom properties. So all of a sudden, you're doing more motions than just your job, than just the day-to-day -day requirements of, of your job. Maybe you're doing a little more, or you have a curious to understand how all of this stuff is being put together, or you are a, a user every day, and that's exactly what you want to continue doing, and you want to do that better. You want to do what you're doing better. Maybe you're a salesperson who has these pipelines and you have to schedule meetings and you have to meet with people and they have to get a follow-up from you. Maybe you want to do that better. Join the HubSpot super admin community. We will help you do it better. We will help you show, we will help show you how sequences work. We'll show you how pipeline stages, Tracy and I talked about this, life cycle stages and lead statuses. We will show you how these tools are not an extra step, it's rather making what you're doing more efficient. Because as salespeople, right, you only deal with one person at a time. No, <laughs> no salespeople, we all know this. 
you're not working with one person at a time. You're working with many people. So a system, a CRM like HubSpot, isn't because you aren't a human and you're not talking to another human. You're trying to humanize the experience. And a CRM, a computer, is really good at remembering things. So when you have one source of truth and you document that, it's just humanizing that you want to remember. It's a priority for you to, uh, to reference the things you know, that you, you had a meeting at these times. It's not a priority for you to be a memorization machine. It's a priority for you to remember. And a CRM like HubSpot allows you to make the documentation so that on the next call, you can do the call prep ahead of time and you can remember all the things that have happened because you want to know their kids' names. You want to remember what college they're trying to get into. You want to know where they just moved to. You as a human are not a memorization machine, and yet you want to remember. HubSpot CRM, the number one CRM in the world, can help you remember and humanize the experience that you're creating for your clients and customers. If you're not on HubSpot, get on HubSpot. <laughs> it's not a... <laughs> it's it's more a vibe, less a tool. <laughs> All right, we are coming up on our next hour uh, with us this hour. Thanks so much, Tracy, for the for the hour and sharing and parting upon us all of your wisdom. In this next hour, we have Hannah, uh, and then in the three o'clock hour, we'll have Diana. So Hannah comes to to us from uh, Rev Partners. Thank you, Rev Partners, for all your support uh, of HubSpot Super Admin community. We are over on Discord, and uh, Hannah is over there. Yes, she is. Thank you, Hannah, for being over there. Uh, there's a dog and pony show happening on live. If you want to follow us on live, you can go to LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch. There you can find us uh, and watch us on live. We are live streaming all day today for the HubSpot Super Admin Community public launch. Live streaming live. Rob Barry, can you mute yourself? Oh, muted by me. Hey, Rob, can you? I went ahead and muted him. Can. Uh, Kimberly, can you still hear Rob? Thank you. Tracy, thank you for muting after we're done. Laurent, are you down in Indianapolis? And, comma, am I pronouncing your name correctly? Uh, thank you, Kimberly, for the call out. I had muted him for me and not for everyone else. I apologize. Yes, that's enough. <laughs> You, <laughs> so this has happened before. I'm taking it. This conversation has happened before. She said, yes, that's enough. I don't go any further. Don't try anymore. <laughs> Stop right there. You're good. Uh, heard. I get it. I understand. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Let's get, uh, let's start to bring Hannah up. I'm sharing her image over here on the live. Hannah will be coming to us. I'm going to have to get her audio going, which I'm going to get going first. And uh, you can be listening to us if you're listening in the future. Today is April Fool's Day. If you want to go look at our April Fool's joke, you can go over to LinkedIn and search HubSpot Super Admin and search for April 1st. And we had a funny joke. It was a very funny joke uh, that we told this morning uh, about HubSpot and how easy it is. You don't, you don't, you don't need to learn anything and no one needs to work in HubSpot. It just runs itself. HubSpot's so easy. It just, it runs itself. And we have a hotline you can call uh, for all of those people who are being fired from <laughs> their role in HubSpot. Uh, let's see. Hannah, you're H. Rubin. You're already in permission because I loaded it ahead, and now I need to enable, enable, enable. And so we're here. Uh, it is 2.09. It's kind of like 4.09. And 
we've been going since 9 a.m. We've been going strong. Uh, 9 a.m. Hannah, can you unmute on Discord? Question mark. And uh, we're going 9 to 5 today. So today at HubSpot Super Admin Community's public launch, we're running from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern. And during this time, we're on live with a guest, new guest every hour, new guest every hour. This hour, the two o'clock hour, we have Hannah Rubin, and she's going to be sharing her knowledge and golden nuggets uh, with us. And so we're talking about HubSpot. We're talking about how HubSpot users sharing HubSpot knowledge uh, together is what we're doing for. Um, in the HubSpot super admin community. We're talking about the fact that there is a need. There's a growing need. There currently is a large need, and it's growing for those people who call themselves uh, a super admin, or rather those of you who... Uh, hey, I can hear you, Hannah. Those of you who in HubSpot have a role, a user role titled super admin, you go into the back end and user roles. The top role is titled super admin. Why is that there? What do they do? Who gets hired for that? What are the requirements? What does day-to-day -day look like? What are the, th there's just so much there to be talking about and that's why this community exists. Hannah, you're with us. Yes. Woohoo! It is not. I wanted to make sure you and I can talk because that was the number one issue before. So now that we can talk, now I'll go get the video. <laughs> you did everything correctly, and thank you for your grace in jumping on and jumping on quickly. Those of you on the live cannot hear Hannah yet, so I apologize, but she is on Discord. If you'd like to talk with her there. How's it going, Hannah? Here. Love it. Love it. Awesome. Awesome. I'm getting feedback. Do yep. I need to mute? Yep. You can can you, you mute can me mute on me the, on the uh, uh oh. Oh. Are you hearing, are you me, hearing through? me through? Okay. I'll okay. mute myself I'll mute here. Myself here. Is that better? Is that better? Yes. I'm muted so. on I'm the muted meet. on the meet. Good. And then you can be and heard. Then you can be heard. All right. You can be heard on live. All right. You can be heard on live currently, which is great. I'm gonna okay. take your I'm image take down. Your image down. And we're gonna bring you And we're gonna up. bring you Hey. Up. Hey. All right. What's All right. up? What's up? <laughs> Nothing much. You, How are you? You ate you, your lunch outside? You ate your lunch outside? I did. It was it's like sixty five degrees and sunny and blue skies here and it's just <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. I'm not kidding. I'm, I'm not kidding. Full I'm, disclosure. Full I'm disclosure. doing this. It's, I'm doing this. It's, this is what I woke up to. This is what I woke it's up April to. April 1st, right? It, it's I'm just April checking. 1st, right? I'm just checking. Because, because that happened. That happened. Last night. Last night. Wait, I can't really tell. It, I just see your HubSpot super admin. Oh, oh is it's that snow? snow? I see it through. No. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It snowed here it last night. It snowed here last night. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. Come on. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yeah. Move to Alabama. <laughs> we have spring starting in like February oh. and summer oh. until October. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Hannah is in right, so Alabama. Hannah is in Alabama. I'm in Indiana. I'm in Indiana. We have now we have now dismissed, uh, uh, dismissed departed uh, uh, from the departed Midwest. Departed from love. the Midwest that love. That has been the past couple that hours. That has been the past couple hours. <laughs> And then you're just going to move further down south when you bring Diana on in a little bit. That's right. Way That's south. right. Way south. Oh, so Way let's do oh, this. Oh, Hannah, let's do this. Hannah, yeah, you're, you're like south. Yeah, you're like south. East. east. Will you wave? Mm -hmm. Will you wave? North, west. North, west. <laughs> we waved at each other. We waved at each other. <laughs> Hannah, it's the little things. Hannah, it's the little things. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta keep it alive. You know? That's right. That's right. Thank you for being Thank with you us. For jumping being on. with us. It is jumping Friday. On. It is uh, Friday. Uh, jumping on. Uh, jumping on quickly. Uh, being quickly, willing to jump being in. Being willing to also, jump in, but also uh, uh, having the experience. Having you have, the experience like, you have. 
you know, like you were asked, you were asked of your experience, of your experience. You, you've done a you, lot. In you've HubSpot. done a lot in HubSpot. And whether you think it or not, and whether which, you think it or uh, not, you will say which, uh, you're not you one of those say, people. Which you're not I one of those people, you which I appreciate. Talk. You talk the talk uh, because you walk uh, the walk. Because you walk the walk. But man, are you pretty but awesome! Man, are you pretty awesome! Can you just walk us through? Walk us through a, uh, a uh, kind of a background, kind of a background your in your HubSpot experience specifically, experience like not your specifically, job, like not your job, right? your HubSpot experience, experience, right? Your HubSpot experience. Yeah, for sure. Um, so I started out in HubSpot, using it primarily for marketing, um, doing marketing consulting through HubSpot. So I got really familiar with the marketing tools. Um, and my previous role used a little bit of the sales tools, but not a ton. Um, and then slowly started growing that skill set as well. Um, so I've been using HubSpot for about four or five, I guess coming up on five years now. Um, and I just love it. I'm, I'm one of those people that like, I get into something and I get really into it. And, yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah. so it's been really fun. Um, I love staying up to date with all the all the new features and updates that are being released. And um, it's such a powerful tool. I, my husband started a business right as quarantine originally hit COVID 2020. Um, and I immediately, I was like, babe, you have to, we have to set you up a HubSpot. We have to get your website built on there. <laughs> and I just think that it's like such a cool tool that you can, you can pay the 25 bucks a month to have your website built on HubSpot and then grow and use the platform as like, you know, millions of dollars a company. Um, yeah. I, not very many yeah. tools are that flexible and scalable. So anyway, it's been fun. So you started in so the you started motions, in the marketing primarily, motions was it like primarily was it like marketing website or marketing email or outbound. email campaign outbound a little bit of both so um, a little bit of website builds we start I guess I started more in the outbound email campaign side of things and then slowly started because of that like realizing that data was important realizing organizing your data is important started learning more about that and best practices around CRM structure and um, object associations and, you know, just typical database uh, organization. And then from there, um, got into building websites on the CMS and um, learning more about those tools and then slowly kind of dabbling over and being like, oh, well, you know, marketing and sales has to go hand in hand. So why not use the sales tools alongside the marketing tools um, and seeing how those two things can play nicely together. So right. it's been right. it's been cool. It's kind of, you know, I learned one one hub and then slowly added on more. And now I feel like I have a really good grip on all hubs except for maybe operations hub. <laughs> sure. Still working on that one. Sure. <laughs> Which is good because that's is just good because that's the other just ones bringing together. all the other ones together. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. I, I love the way you stated it too. I love the way you stated it too because you're outlining your experience. But the experience but is just the experience is just well, like, we're just gonna like too, so. do these things too. We're so gonna, do them together. We're and I'm gonna do them together, and I'm gonna do both of them. And I'm just gonna learn. Yeah. Yeah. It's just the way it happens. It's, it's just the way it happens. There's more stuff. They're touching each other. They're touching each other. So we need to. I need to learn that. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So I love learning. So it's, it's been fun. <laughs> now I know you. Now from I know you from my previous role at, role at Rev Partners. And so I know, so that, I you know are that you are amazing at, amazing at running a meeting. Running a meeting. Mm-hmm. Talking about what you know, talking and about what you know, and making what you know obvious to other people. Whatever's obvious to you, obvious. So whatever's to them. obvious to you, obvious to them. And I know that you and are. I know that you are a learner you because you continuously give feedback. Give feedback. Feedback, 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 feedback. And it's not. And it's great. not. That great. was good. That was good. <laughs> it's actually the opposite. It's actually the opposite. I don't know opposite. if you're able to say. I don't know great. if you're able to say. <laughs> that's probably not of your. Like, that's probably not of your. It's pointed. It's bulleted. It's pointed. It's bulleted. It's actionable. And it's actionable. I wanted to bring that uh, up with you because, Tracy, bring that up with you because hour, Tracy last uh, hour was an in-house, um, who's an in-house HubSpot super admin. Super admin. She was talking about her. She was talking about her process. They have an Asana board. They have an Asana board that people post, post to, and it's just they request. go in and put that. They in go their in backlog, and put that in their they backlog. Get sprint, they get to it, it in a sprint. Do it, and then it's done. Uh, but the fact that but the fact that she can't get to work she can't Hannah, get to work on anything Hannah, Tracy said on anything until Tracy it's said until it's a well defined 
task or a well-defined, or a you, know, well-defined request. you know request yeah. can you talk to us a little can you bit talk about to us a little bit about communication as communication a human, as a human and and how much yeah. of that and, plays and into how your much role? of that plays into your role totally oh my gosh i have totally been in tracy's role and it is a painful one to be in if you if somebody just says here will you do this and doesn't define all the parameters and doesn't give you a background or context what you're working on it's like okay well let me spend an hour trying to like it's like pulling teeth and getting all of the answers and all the information that you need before you can actually go do something that might only actually take you 10 or 15 minutes to knock out um and that's something that that i've learned over the years for sure like understand and even templatize to some extent like what do you need to solve problems what what um what question do you have like give it an actual question that you're trying to answer which is really hard especially for I mean I've struggled with this like we get in this habit of we start thinking through things before we know the answer or we we start offering all of our ideas around like what we think could possibly be the problem or could be causing it or whatever when really you have to just ask the question (laughs) like what are you trying to solve and then list out the things that you have tried and things that you know to have not worked. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um, Mm -hmm. So then when you pass off a task, you can, that person then can go through it systematically and be like, okay, this is exactly what they're trying to do. Here are linked documents to show what they've tried or what they're trying to accomplish. Here is a drawn out process for what they want it to look like. (laughs) Um, Being as clear as possible, just, it really just alleviates all of the back and forth and wasted time and energy and trying to figure out what the problem is you're actually trying to solve <laughs> it, it tracy said she uses tracy loom said she uses and loom and miro do you, and miro. Do you, do you ever use those tools oh yeah those are my two favorites gotcha. <laughs> miro is great for like here's what i need it to do i need you to contact comes in contact does this contact gets sent this email like draw it out where where do you want things to point back to what databases do you need them to sync to um drawing it out like that just makes it so much easier for everyone to understand like even yourself a lot of times a lot of times when i go to map something out i uncover unknowns that i didn't realize that i didn't know (laughs) until i started drawing it out um and so so drawing it out for sure in miro is so helpful and then loom a lot of times um working on with my team and, and our technologists what what i'll do a lot of times is draw miro and then also have a loom that's like here, let, let me just walk you through the four documents that I'm linking out and the bullet points that I have for you. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. so that you can like easily watch it in 90 seconds and understand where my head's at. Right, right, right. I just right. need to understand where your I just need to understand at. where your we head's at. We don't need to have all the answers. Just level set with yeah. me. Level set with me. Like, yeah, what are you talking yeah. about? What are you talking not about? Because you're not because crazy. Not you're because crazy. Literally not anything, because literally not anything. Because you don't make not sense. Not because you literally don't just, make sense. I need to literally get just, on the same page with you. I need to get you. on the same page with you. Mm-hmm. It, yeah, it, it's, exactly. Once it, we it's, are there. Once we are well, there. Now we can build. Well, or now, now we can say build, this is now the we wrong can say page. This is the wrong page. If that's the case. Mm-hmm. If now that's we can the case. Say, great, now we can say 20% of the problem. 20% of the problem. Great, that's actually 80% of the problem. But we can't say we can't say the second thing. Until we've established. Until we've established. like thinking about where what are you thinking about i love that what are you i love that here yeah exactly and i was talking to trent um one of our technologists today about that and and he's been doing the flip side of things like when he solves the problem he leaves a loom video in our in our click up and is like here's what i did we already talked about this in a huddle but i just wanted to have it documented so that we have what we did and then you then you just have like these 90 second videos that document everything that you've worked on so then if there's ever any issues or similar problems that come up or questions that a client has like you know where to find it <laughs> and you know how to answer awesome. it and that's it. awesome yeah it's it's the best i love that and, and i love and that and and not to use too much and, jargony, and, jargony like junk but like closing the loop if on the front mm-hmm. end you have to if have on the front end you have to have a conversation about leveling where you're at to kind of enter, enter into this work that you have another then it makes sense that you have another one on the back end to say now here's the established new kind of new paradigm here's the new way for this thing exactly and so and so because it, like you said because it can, like you said it's three, three, three months or two three years down the road, 
down the road, I'm dealing I'm whatever someone in whatever or that happens to be dealing with this issue. How do I know what the latest? How do I know what the latest update is? Well, if I have a backlog, well, if I have a backlog of Trent's updates, Trent's updates of all the things that have happened of all the things that have happened with this thing, I can just go see what the latest. I can just go see what the latest way to use it is. Exactly. I love that. Exactly. I love that. It's so nice. That's so cool. And then that's so cool. And then I could imagine. Well, I am imagining right now as you're talking about it. Literally a backlog. Being, and the tags being in in this work or in, this, in item, this we work dealt or this item we dealt with these parts of our portal. parts of our portal we changed mm-hmm. the sales stages we changed the sales stages filters. and maybe oh, some and filters oh and we all, did that, oh, and we all did that in a workflow so now i can just go and so look now by i can tag. just go what's and look by tag what's way? been updated in this way yeah that's so cool that's so cool that's so nice okay so then Okay, so then Hannah, your favorite tool. Hannah, your favorite well, I tool. Want know your favorite well, I want to know your tool favorite HubSpot. tool so in HubSpot. Hub, so not Hub. Not a whole like not a whole big like, section thing. Big section thing. Individual individual tool, tool that you love. Your that you favorite. love. Your favorite. Kyle's this morning. Kyle's this morning was workflows. Love Tobias loved data sets. The new data set, the new tool. Data set mm-hmm. feature tool. Uh, the customer portal. Uh, the was customer one portal was, was one that was said. Snippets was said. Oh, snippets was said. said. Oh, snippets is a good one. Um. Okay. I love workflows. I feel like that's a really big category. Workflows are amazing, but they're also kind of scary. <laughs> um. I honestly right. think that sequences don't get enough uh limelight because you can do so much especially from a sales perspective and like i started out in the marketing side but like as soon as i learned about sequences i was like wow this just made sales folks lives so much easier (laughs) like they don't have to think about anything that they're doing (laughs) like I mean, obviously, you have to do your follow ups and stuff. Sorry to any salespeople that are listening, but I love what you just said. I love what you just said. And I'm going to interrupt you, so I apologize. I'm going to interrupt you, so I apologize. I continue to harp that it's humanizing the experience. I don't need, I want to send you the thing, but I don't need to send it at that time. By asynchronously and thoughtful, I'm still thoughtful. I'm still thoughtful. Uh-huh. It doesn't have to be. Yeah. It doesn't have to in be in real time. In real time. So now I can yeah. focus on having so now a meeting I can focus with you. On having I'm, a meeting with you I'm not worried about the follow-up stuff. The follow-up yeah. stuff. I love yeah. that you said that. Yeah. I love that you said that. But it doesn't get enough limelight. Please, Please continue. Yeah. Please continue. Yeah. The other thing that's cool is like, like you can have all these prospects that you maybe kind of know about in the back of your head, but you don't have to think like, oh shoot, have I connected them on LinkedIn yet? Like, have I already sent them that message? It's gonna be really awkward if I send it twice. So then you have all of these tasks that you can just like drop people into a, into a lineup of tasks and then let HubSpot do all the, the remembering and the thinking for you. Then you can just go back on the contact record and see what's happened with each of them. Um, and then like step in and be like you said like fully present and thoughtful in the right. in the meetings and in the right. responses that that you need to respond to outside of the sequence without being like inundated with all of the follow-ups and the like prep work right right remove the so, friction remove the friction mm-hmm. and the new there's a new feature or relatively new i think a couple months old where you can add contacts to sequences from a workflow and i think it's in the enterprise level of sales Mm -hmm. um Mm -hmm. that's a for real game changer because (laughs) then you can start dropping (laughs) then you can start dropping your prospects into sequences after they meet certain lead criteria or open certain documents and it's just like just synced up your marketing and sales team 10 times more efficiently that's amazing that's amazing yeah love it Agreed. Because because the, the friction of the, the being friction a human, of being being human and being present shouldn't be shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be the deciding uh, factor, on, be the deciding factor on how much on I like you how much I like you how well we get along or how well or we how get along or how much we want to work together. I should I I should things I can automate the things I can automate in the ways I want to automate because I want to do because I want to do those things with you because we're working together. Yeah. To me it yeah. To me it so sequence is yours. So is sequence is yours. Yeah. Are you going with sequences? <laughs> We're just loving on it right We're now. We're just loving on it right now. It was between that and like smart content. I think smart content's another one that just very underutilized and has so much potential to make the marketing and sales experience so much more impactful and personal. 
uh, and customer experience really too, because there's so much you can do on the back end, like once a client closes a deal. It's amazing. Can you talk to Can you talk to those of us in the world who might be watching Hannah about smart content, uh, smart and, what content and, and what you mean by that, and maybe a couple examples? Yeah, for sure. So. Um, you can use it in a couple different of the tools in HubSpot, but my favorite use is in landing pages and website pages. So you can set, um, let's see, like the same section of a website to show two different things to two different groups of people. So whether it's a form or an image or um, a button, like a downloadable piece of content, um, you can say, show this version to this group of people and show this version to this group of people. So one of my favorite examples is, um, content downloads by funnel so if they're at the top of the funnel and they have a lower lead score show them this top of funnel piece of content to download don't gate it just let them download it if it's if they're further down the funnel maybe add a form gate it and um show them something that's a little bit more more in depth like a white paper or something like that Love that. So nice. Love that. What a great example. That, what a great example too. Of, I need this action. To I need this action to happen. And I want it to be relevant to the person, person that's landing here. Yeah. I have lots of pieces of content. I have I've lots made. of pieces of which content I've made. Which one do they care about? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not just it's writing. It's not just writing. Hey, Hannah. At hey, the top Hannah. Of the website. At the top of the website. Or, yeah. Or, or putting a two. Or putting a two. Uh, to Hannah. Uh, to in Hannah email in the header. email. Yeah. yeah it's like totally changing it's, the content. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, I want to deliver right. to you. I want to deliver to you the value of us as a company. Of us as a company. And, and mm -hmm. so here's the and, and value. So here's I'm going to you the I'm gonna deliver that, to you the thing uh, that, that means the most to uh, you. That means the most to you. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's fantastic. It's that whole inbound approach of like, putting the right content in front of the right people at the right time, you can just hone that in to a T. It's amazing. Wait. Uh, Wait. Uh, I, I, I don't think you had that right I, hand. I don't think you, you had that right hand. You just want to deliver all of your content to everyone always. Did, I think you said <laughs> that wrong, right? I think you said Aren't that wrong, right? Just mass Aren't you email supposed to just everyone, mass email all everyone? Of content? All of your content? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, it's, yeah. it's April Fool's, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to attach yeah, every white paper PDF, every you've, white ever paper done PDF you've ever done to every email. So I every three email, times a day is the minimum criteria. Yeah, that's like you know? the best way to keep your email reputation really good. <laughs> if you want open rates, if you want open rates, <laughs> just, <laughs> just blast every <laughs> blast every. Oh my gosh! Can you imagine? Yeah. Yeah, that would. We've all gotten those that would, from people, though. You know, there. I think there is. There, an opportunity I think there is Hannah an opportunity here, identified. Hannah, that we've just identified. Uh, like the pronunciation, uh, like the pronunciation manual on YouTube. Manual on YouTube. To, to a whole, <laughs> to a YouTube whole podcast, of, YouTube podcast of, the opposite the of things, opposite of marketing. things to do in marketing. <laughs> like, what like, not to do. Like tutorial how to. I can just tutorial see you. Like, how right, to. I can just see you. Like all right, select all contacts and then email. Turn on marketing. Yeah, turn on marketing. Yeah, do marketing. Marketing. <laughs> marketing. Oh man. Is that an Alexa skill? Is that yet? an Alexa you skill yet? Her, you can just uh, tell her. Uh, I gotta turn mine off now. That hey, I gotta turn uh, mine off. Alexa, uh, do uh, Alexa, marketing. do marketing. <laughs> do marketing. <laughs> our, date with our, <laughs> our, uh, our theme uh, this hour. Theme is this hour Wonder Woman. is so Wonder Woman in the Discord. So over in the Discord, share your favorite, uh, share Wonder, your favorite Woman, uh, Wonder Woman mashup with HubSpot. Mashup with HubSpot. Share your meme. Share your meme that you created between HubSpot. Wonder Woman and HubSpot. Uh, can't wait. To see uh, this. I'm sorry, that was Tracy's. I'm sorry, I that was Black Tracy's. Panther. I mean Black Panther. We're in a new hour. Uh, We're in yeah. a new hour. Hannah. And our theme this hour is and Black our theme Panther. this hour is Share Black your Panther. Favorites Share your favorite for the newly created the newly HubSpot, created HubSpot Black, Black Panther, Black Panther uh, meme. Uh, meme. Amazing. The, is this in the meme in the channel? In the in the, yeah, in the memes channel. Yeah, in the memes you channel you, you could a, share. If you want a challenge, if you want to win the challenge, you put it in the challenges uh, channel uh, as channel well. as well. So make a so make, make a, a meme out of make a meme the out cross of section of HubSpot cross section of HubSpot and Black share Panther. Share the meme. Share the meme. And the challenges channel. And the challenges and channel. And we will give you, a, we badge will give you a badge for the the, for the, the, liked the, the liked meme. 
We are on live. We are here. on live. Uh, you're watching here, us uh, live, uh, either live after the fact, uh, either after or, the fact watching us live or watching us live on LinkedIn, on LinkedIn Twitch, Twitch, YouTube, or YouTube, Twitter. Or Twitter. And, uh, and what we're doing today is we're uh, launching, today is we're launching Super HubSpot community. Super Admin Community. It's Friday, April 1st. Friday, April 1st. We're here with Hannah. We're here with Hannah. I'm gonna clubhouse. Uh, I'm gonna clubhouse. Uh, just, just reset the room. Pull, just pull to pull, pull to PTU. Was it? Pull to update. PTU. Pull to update. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, we're here with uh, Hannah, and we're, we're here with Hannah, her and we're talking to her about her experience in HubSpot, HubSpot and, and marketing. And luckily, how luckily how don't really need you to don't work in HubSpot really need to work in HubSpot it because it runs itself. <laughs> There's really no point to have. Super admin, so this community is pointless. <laughs> Talk to us about Talk to us about Hannah. certifications, uh, let's, Hannah. Let's shift gears, uh, let's to, shift gears to you're maybe a super you're admin, maybe a super you, admin you or you you have that portal. role in your portal. And and, and, you, and well you, you have that role in your portal. Well you have that role in your portal. And you and want to you want to do more or you want to continue, you wanna doing continue just to do what you're doing just maybe more efficiently you talk to us about some of the you talk to us about some of the certifications you recommend in order to accomplish that, to accomplish as, that a super admin. as a super admin yeah um well apparently the RevOps certification went live today so i'd say everybody should take that one including myself i can't wait for it I'm excited. <laughs> um I would also say for me personally, the, the data integration, um, or the, I think it's called data integration yeah. that, yeah. that one was amazing to like, I, I know a decent amount about database structure and segmentation and like how to best organize data. I don't know a lot on the, about the tech technological side of things like APIs and I can do, I can set up some native integrations from that marketplace because those are easy enough, but I learned so much about just like the different types of integrations you can set up, what they're querying, what they're, what they're actually doing, um, and how is it running? It was really, really helpful for me. Um, especially, especially as you're moving into a, a role with a larger company or helping larger company with a larger tech stack that has lots of different moving pieces. Mm -hmm. You really mm -hmm. want your CRM to be your your one source of truth, so it's going to be really important to pull all those pieces in and make sure they're all talking to each other. Um, so that one I was was really helpful. Um, let's see. I really liked the, I mean, the marketing and sales software certifications, like pretty basic, but but really helpful if you're wanting to learn more about the tools themselves and what you can do to like integrate them with each other. Sure. The sales, sure. the sales one in particular, um, is goes into a lot of detail around like like segmenting and using sequences and um, best practices for deal stages and automations around different stages in the deal. Um, so I would say that those are probably my top three right now. And the and that marketing and the and, software, and that marketing and software. Excuse me, the marketing and sales. Me, marketing and sales. I, I love that. Uh, I, I love you that mentioned them, uh, it is you mentioned them because it is something like you have to have that done. Yeah. If you want to, yeah. if you want to kind of grow it all, you have to have those done. Yeah. You have to have those done. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And then the data integration. And then the one, data integration of one. The RevOps cert. Of course, the RevOps shout cert. Out Kyle. Mm -hmm. Shout out, Kyle. Shout out, Kyle. Certification. RevOps certification. If you haven't done it yet, go do it. Look up certification. RevOps certification on the HubSpot Academy. Yes. I would also say that. Kyle's little two minute videos that he posts every day about different tips in HubSpot. There's a couple of different people that I follow that do um, similar videos, but honestly, those are sometimes, I, I don't want to say more helpful than the certifications, but just as helpful because they're a lot of times more practical use cases for them. So like, here's how you would use this tool in real life mm -hmm. <laughs> instead of like, mm -hmm. here's how you practically use this tool. <laughs> right. Um, this right. is a theme that keeps coming this up. This is a Hannah, theme that keeps is, coming up, Hannah, is every hour uh, every hour the, the feedback is the, well, here's the, the feedback is well here's the certification. But then once you're done with that, you're done with whole, that there's a whole other the step whole, which there's is, a whole other step which is implement how do I how do I implement that? How do I use it actually? Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I'm really excited about the super admin community for because I think that with so many 
so many avid users. Um, we all have different use cases, working for different companies or consulting with different partners. And especially as HubSpot's, you know, competing more and more with Salesforce for those larger, more complex business use cases, there's going to be a lot more situations where we have a tool and we know how to use a tool, but how do we apply that to a complex use case? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so having this community to like brain share around that is going to be so, so crucial. Heard. Agreed. Heard. Exactly. Agreed. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Yes. Kind of like plus one. Kind of like on, plus one on, yeah. We'll snip it that. We'll snip it that. Anna, and we'll just Anna, play and that we'll on just repeat. Play that on repeat. There you go. Listen to this. You're Listen welcome. to this. New trailer. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, right, right, right. Uh, Let's see. So uh, let's see. We went so over we went over a couple of, of the certifications and and kind of the why and, and kind of the whys uh, too. Uh, before we get into the couple before others, we get into the couple of others, the Discord, those of you on the Discord, uh, see Robbie, Rob, uh, see you, Tracy Robbie still Rob, on, Tracy still Lizzie's on, in, Lizzie's Loren, in, uh, Loren, Ron, uh, Ron, 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 maybe, <laughs> maybe. If you were listening, <laughs> if you were listening live, please jump live, over to the Discord, and, over ask to the Discord and ask Hannah a question. If you have a question for uh, Hannah, join the Discord. Uh, join the Discord. You can see and us on, you can on, see the, us launch on, stage on the launch there. stage over and there. You can and you write can write out a question. Write to out her. a question to her, so she can answer. And so she can answer your questions as we get to the top of the hour. Get to the top of the hour. We have twenty minutes left in the hour. It's two forty. So the next question. So the next question here for you, Hannah, is some other people. Some, some other, other things, people, so some other personal, things. So personal or professional, or professional is, fine. is fine. And and the people you're kind of the listening people you're to. kind of listening to and, and being agnostic and, and about being medium. agnostic so, about me. Uh, I don't so, care if it's a website. I don't care if it's a website or a blog or a podcast or a video or a playlist, TikTok right, or a TikTok channel. Um, but can you share with us? But can you share with us some people? And, some people and, and, and kind of what it is and that they're, that they're talking that about you or that you interests you or that you get a lot of value you from. You you mentioned Kyle as one of those. Oh yeah, Kyle's on the top of the list for sure. For uh, sure. All the love for Kyle. Um, yeah, his are, his videos are great. Um, let's see, other ones. Um, James Clear, I get his weekly, I think it's called 321, and it's like a three quotes, two thoughts, and a question. Um, and it's, it's cool because it's easy to read, easy to digest. I can just like skim through it. I think it's on every Thursday mornings when it comes in. Um, so I can just skim through it and get these like little nuggets of business wisdom or personal wisdom. And then there's like a, a question to ask yourself and kind of process through. Um, that's really just that's a cool. good uh, that's cool. reflection. Yeah. Yeah. I like like good. I like that. Yeah. Good to spark some internal reflection. James, um, Clear. James Clear. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He wrote Atomic Habits, um, which I actually have not read yet, but it's on my list. Um, let's see. Jess Connolly. So not super. She does talk about business some. Um, it's like business and faith. Um, so she has podcasts. I listen to her podcast. Um, Can you say your name again? And, Can you say your name again? You cut out for a oh, second. Jess Connolly. J E S S. Jess. Jess, mm -hmm. Jess Connolly. Yep. Jess Connolly. Yeah. So she's talks a lot about um faith and faith and work and just uh has some good good insight heard. <laughs> um heard. being a, a woman of faith in the work world you know right so, right it's cool right right she's great um I'm trying to think who else uh this isn't like an individual but i do really love rev partners pit stops podium podcast I always learn something new <laughs> um <laughs> oh one of my other favorites, my husband and I love listening to Stuff You Should Know. Okay. They do podcasts okay. on literally everything. So some, I'm sure there are some business ones out there. They do them on anything from like, there's a whole episode on squirrels. It's like 45 minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> and like That's random, fantastic. random phenomena. <laughs> So it's, it's such a good podcast. You learn something all the time. My husband's a carpenter, so he listens to it like all day while he's working and he comes home and tells me all these random facts <laughs> and it's, it's just hilarious. So those are probably, those are some of my, my faves. 
I love that. These random I love Netflix that. These random Netflix Hannah. documentaries, Hannah. I'm like, I didn't know. I'm like, I, wanted I didn't to know. I wanted to learn all this. But now that I, I but now that I, I, want I, to know more. I want to know more. Yeah. And then you're like, wow, I need to get into beekeeping. <laughs> like, <laughs> randomly, you have to listen to it. All right, tractor supply. And all right, tractor any, supply. I don't know if you're uh, um, into the Enneagram at all, but I'm an Enneagram seven. So of course, I listen to an episode, and I'm like, that's my new hobby. I'm gonna learn it. <laughs> that's it. I'm gonna do it. That's I'm it. Gonna I'm gonna. Do it. I'm gonna buy need. all the stuff I need. Yep. I'm gonna have dedicated. a whole room dedicated. <laughs> and then a month later, it's something. <laughs> <laughs> a month later, like a month later, marketplace. like Facebook Who Marketplace. Wants? Uh-huh. Who wants? <laughs> Anyone want to buy my sewing machine and all my sewing? <laughs> 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 Oh that's amazing that's amazing yeah i have 45 I have bobbins 45 bobbins who wants them who wants them <laughs> uh that's good oh, uh that's good all right so yeah. i have all right james so clear, i have just james clear just connolly rev and partners stuff you and stuff you should know podcast yeah are there any uh books are there any uh right books in your life right now Right now, I'm reading a couple of good thrillers. I'm a, I'm a sucker for thrillers. Um, reading one called The Push right now. It's mediocre. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. <laughs> um, I have been in the in the uh, in the market for a new kind of business development book. So if anybody has recommendations, would love for you to drop them in the chit chat and let me know because. I need some new reading. Anyone has a business? <laughs> Anyone has a business development book recommendation? Share it in the chit chat channel on Discord. Tag Hannah. Tag Hannah. Her, yes, her nickname is Hannah. Rubin. Her nickname is Hannah Rubin. On Discord. Mm-hmm. On Discord. Very, very basic. I should. I was considering making it HubSpot Hannah, but I didn't know how, like, what the vibes were Done. for the channel. Done. If people were going to do that, so I'll change it. Don't HubSpot <laughs> Hannah. HubSpot Done. Hannah. Got it. Done. <laughs> You got you it. Also change the you can also change of, the color uh, of your you name. Get roles. If you go into the get channel, roles you can channel, share, you can uh, share your pronouns, uh, your pronouns you where you're from, the and then you can name. change the color of your name to whatever you'd like. <laughs> HubSpot Hannah. That's HubSpot fantastic. Hannah. So, that's fantastic. Uh, so, uh, Tobias, who we Tobias, we had our on earlier really as our second guest, his. So, what am I trying to say? Oh, what am I his trying to say? LinkedIn oh, his URL. LinkedIn his backslash URL. Backslash HubSpot his backslash expert. HubSpot expert. So his his so LinkedIn his, profile. His LinkedIn profile. Oh my backslash HubSpot expert. <laughs> like, That's amazing. Genius. Like, okay. Genius. Yeah. Okay. So now that he's announced so now that, that he's announced that, I don't know if he's ever said that publicly before, but uh, <laughs> we were just saying, <laughs> we were just saying all the other HubSpot, ones are going to, all the other ones are going to start being taken. So HubSpot uh-huh. Genie, so HubSpot, HubSpot Jedi, Genie, HubSpot Jedi, uh-huh. HubSpot Super Admin. Uh-huh. HubSpot yeah. Super Admin. Ooh, I better yeah. claim HubSpot Hannah while I still can. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Oh gosh. I love Rob's, Robbie RevOps. Robbie RevOps. Robbie RevOps. Yeah. It's a good one. Yeah. Good, solid. Good, one, solid one, Rob. Um, uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, what uh, am I? What am I? Okay, that's there. Okay, that's there. Right. Uh, we right. are. Uh, we are. Wow. Twelve minutes till the top. Twelve of the minutes hour. till the top of the hour. We're rolling along. We're rolling along. We have some people back in. Discord. We have some people back the in Discord. Lunch the hour has lunch hour ended. has obviously people ended. <laughs> people are back in. <laughs> Welcome everyone back. Welcome everyone back. Uh, so we did the podcast. Uh, so we, we did the podcast. We talked about some certifications. We talked about, certifications. about, uh, we talked about uh, where you're coming from uh, now. Where you're coming to. Where you are coming to HubSpot from. I don't know that we've really. I don't know that we've really it gone over where it is now. Your like, now, what your stake like in what your stake in the ground is. currently is. To be honest, oh, yeah. did I, be I honest, skipped over that? I, I skipped over that. Can you yeah. just tell us a bit? Can you just tell on, us a bit on? Yeah, yeah your day to day right now. Yeah, your day to day right now. Yeah, so I'm a RevOps strategist with Rep Partners, um, and I love it. It's super fun. Um, basically, my partners come to me and I help them map out all of their processes. And I'm like, okay, what are you doing? <laughs> what do you have? How are you organizing it? What are you reporting on? And how can we make it better? <laughs> um, and it's super fun. It's like doing large jigsaw puzzles every day, but that are nice. more relevant. <laughs> nice. Good analogy. Um, Good analogy. So, yeah, it's been really fun. Um, lots of complex use cases of how are we going to build this form that we need to capture this data and send it to like these three different places. 
um, and what integrations can we can we pull from or APIs can we build um, and then reporting on all of it. So how how can we set up your reporting so that it's showing you what's actually going on and make your CRM like truly your source of truth um, that you can come back to and and really use to fuel your the growth of your company. Um, so it's been it's been great and HubSpot is definitely the the big tool that we use. Although we do use some other CRMs that won't be named, um, and and a few other uh, you know integrations platforms, um, Zoom, Mailchimp, Dynamics mm -hmm. will mm -hmm. help folks move away from those and and integrate into HubSpot more efficiently, so that you have really a streamlined tech stack at the end of the day. Ooh, a streamlined, Ooh, tech, stack. A streamlined tech stack. Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you for that. Thank you for that. Timely, it, Lizzie, timely. Has Lizzie has a question for you, has a question for you in Discord. In Discord. What, has what has been the biggest challenge in your role? So now that you've oh, explained what, so now that you've explained what it is you're doing, tell us about the challenges you experienced there. Um, I would say one of the biggest challenges that I've realized uh, pretty early on was making assumptions and in doing so you run the risk of not having the full picture and like we were talking about at the very beginning like not having everything mapped out exactly how it should or ideally function mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um and so so going into a conversation with a partner and and going in with assumptions leads you to skip questions and not fully understand like what is it that you're actually looking for um so that's been something that i've had to work on and kind of take a step back and say okay assumptions aside let me ask you really basic questions that i probably know the answer to but i want to hear them from your mouth so that i know exactly how you're interpreting mm -hmm. this project mm -hmm. <laughs> and like how you want it to function so that's definitely been the biggest challenge um and so, uh, and to and so, uh, and further, to cause one like step further, because I like that you're saying assumptions. The trigger, the trigger to identifying that you have, that you have an, assumption? an assumption. Yeah. And then calling that out. And then calling that out. Is, 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 that's is what that I'm what, hearing you say. Is it's that not what, that I have an assumption. It's not that it's I have an like, assumption. It's not like I'm gonna have assumptions. I'm gonna have assumptions. What I hear assumptions. you say is, what yeah. I hear you say is triggering the fact that triggering the fact that what I'm thinking is based on some assumption. Yes, exactly or how I'm seeing this play out is based on mm. my assumption mm. that you want it to generate a PDF that looks like this mm -hmm. versus mm -hmm. a spreadsheet that looks like this. And those are two different processes that would need to be built out. So yeah, exactly right. Like going into it, realizing what are the things that I'm assuming and let's make sure that those things that you're assuming are actually right. <laughs> Yeah, and let's identify. Yeah, and let's identify them, them talk them through the them, way. and then get them out of the way. Yeah, to make the exactly. unknown known. make the unknown known. Yeah, and then and make sure that we're all on the same page. Um, like we were saying at the beginning, make sure that everything's clearly communicated and documented, so that we all know exactly what we're doing, where we're going, and how we're getting there. You know, as I, you know, as as, I, the day, as I'm talking throughout uh, the day so here. Yeah, uh, so yeah, this is six, with our I think. six. Yeah. I think. Uh, yeah. Uh, it, it is entirely it is entirely clear to me from me, hearing from, hearing from everyone on on their experiences as a super admin, or, super admin or, or with hubspot that, that the, the the anti the anti to get into to being, get into to, being to hubspot or being, to, a, hubspot super admin, or being a super admin is knowing how the tool works is knowing how the tool works that gets mm -hmm. you to the table that gets you to the table but to play the game but to play the you game have to know how to be a you human. have to know how to be a human and have a conversation about have a conversation about it all Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can sit down. Yeah. You can sit you know down because you know how the tool but works. But if I can't talk through my assumptions, come up with recommendations. Come up with recommendations. You know, with recommendations, work through, with, you know, work through human. with another human. What the heck we're talking about? What the about? heck we're talking I about? I don't care that you know I how it works. I don't care that you know how it works. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. <sighs> gotcha. And also, gotcha. I, I think a big piece of it is is knowing knowing how all of the pieces function and how they're overlapping and how they're creating gaps 
And that's, and that's really what RevOps is, right? Is like zooming out and understanding what's going on in all the different departments and how can we bring those in so that they're aligning, but not overlapping or not stepping on toes. Whoa. Say, I love what you're saying. Say that again, please. Okay. Just, I'll try to remember you, what I just said. Well, you were talking um, about, so, well, you were talking they're about overlapping, where they're but overlapping, also, but then also you didn't also, say where they're not overlapping, which, where which, I, love. Not overlapping, which I love. You said where they're leaving a gap. Yeah. 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 So if something's happening, like, I think the biggest, the, the two biggest places that, that I see gaps is like your leads are coming in, but they're not converting. So what's like, what's the, the major gap there and how do we address it? And then on the, on the end of the, I guess the pipeline would be <clears throat> your sales team is closed but how do we pass that off to onboarding or customer service effectively? So I think those are the two like biggest gaps that, that we'd see pretty frequently. Um, but RevOps really does take, takes that step back and, and sees how everything's playing together so that we can make sure that the baton is being passed off at the right time to the right people. Baton being passed, baton off, to being right passed off to the right time people. to the right it's people. The it's the correct baton. You didn't bring a rolled up newspaper to the a, race. You brought a, a, a legacy or a, a regulation, or a regulation baton. baton. A regulation baton, not a cardboard toilet paper. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they learned their, their, they learned their, they learned their lesson their, in the first they learned their race. lesson in the first race. They bought a toilet so paper roll. The second so one they brought. The second one they brought roll. a paper towel roll. Yep. No, no, that, no, that no, work. that that doesn't work. That's it. Uh, I'm visual uh, and I, I'm and visual I and are. I and I know you and are. You said things before. You said things so before clearly that so clearly that. It created an image, created in, my an image in my by head the way you've by explained the way you've and explained the thing. And just I, now, when you were talking I, about this, overlapping, when you were talking about this overlapping and leaving a gap, my brain showed my me, brain a, Venn showed me a Venn diagram. Mm -hmm. and, and you're only talking about and, and one you're only of talking the, about you know, one of the you know there's multiple like areas and people like identify. But in the Venn, identify, Venn diagram, scenario, diagram scenario, they're overlapping. So they're overlapping. So you're talking about the overlap. They're leaving a gap. They're so leaving a gap. About the gap. So you're between. just talking about the gap between. But then, as you were talking, but then as you were a talking, third image a third in image because popped sometimes, in because sometimes because sometimes they're not either of those. They're, they're not either just, of those. They're your actually just simply your job is to simply work, make work, together. Make so work together. Turn those so circles into turn squares. Turn those circles into squares. And then put them up right next to each other. And then put them up right next to each other. Make sure the data's flowing. Make sure the data's flowing. Make sure this one needs to be right after that one. Make sure this one needs to be right after that one. And it's like it to me the image my house is like it's your job to convert those circles. Put them up next to each other. Put them up next. Talking yeah. to each make other. sure they're talking to each other. Yeah. And then you said earlier, and then you said back, earlier, take a step back and make sure that this is even a thing, sure we, need is even a thing we need to be doing. Yeah. Does this even That's matter? Does this even it, matter? A lot of times people will come and they'll, they'll say like, oh well, I need this to happen, or I need, you know, I need X Y Z to be my final outcome. But like we were saying at the very beginning, like ask the question, okay, what problem are you trying to solve? And is that really the solution or is that just what you're thinking might be the solution? Right, right. So it's by stepping right, back right. and saying like, okay, what problem are you trying to solve? Let's answer that in one sentence. <laughs> what do you want it to accomplish? And then let's say, okay, what are the, what are the things that go into that and how could we do this most efficiently? And does it fit the like mission statement values vision of the company? Like, is it worth doing? <laughs> right, right. Right, Elon right. Musk, uh, has Elon been Musk uh, has been popularizing this phrase in the engineering and STEM community and about, about um, engineers are so good at engineers are so good at optimizing processes rather than taking a step back, and deciding, a step whether back and deciding whether we even need that process. Need the process to begin with. With. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's a huge one. Yep. I cannot believe. I cannot believe that it is fifty-eight. That it is fifty-eight. Like it feels like minutes, we've been here twenty minutes, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Can you believe that? It is Can you believe the that it is the bottom of the, the hour? top, the bottom of the hour? I cannot. Crazy. I cannot. Uh, Hannah, uh, before we go, Hannah, before we, we go, we have a couple things to do to close out the hour, and I'm not going to leave you so, past. So, uh, where can so, people find, uh, where you, can if people find you, you if they want to reach out to you? Where's best to to get with you? Yeah, LinkedIn would be great. Hannah Rubin. 
not Hannah HubSpot yet. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not yet. So if you're watching so this, if you're watching uh, now this live, uh, now or live, in the future, or sometime, in go the future LinkedIn, sometime go to LinkedIn. Search Hannah Rubin. Search Hannah Rubin. And connect with Hannah. Connect with Hannah and drop her a message and let her know you saw her. Let her know you saw her on the HubSpot Super Admin launch day. Launch day. Let her know that she was know that she was dropping golden nuggets. With, trying to at least with, <laughs> last hour i did like last this hour i did like this like, golden nugget like tracy, like, and tracy or i told tracy or i, I, told tracy, I just need a desk I one sitting up. on my desk i can pull up and <laughs> as someone's talking as someone's talking just hold it up hey everyone <laughs> like, everyone yeah listen to yeah, this listen to yeah. this that's awesome yeah. So go to LinkedIn. So go to and LinkedIn find Hannah, and find connect Hannah. With there. Connect with her there. Uh, thank uh, you so much for being here. Thank you so much here, for Hannah. being before here, the Hannah. Last before the last thing for you to do would be to choose a giveaway winner. A giveaway winner. Oh, so if fun. you would do me so a if favor, you would do me a favor in the challenges, in the challenges or the chit chat over, over on the Discord. Uh, look uh, back through the look back through the message history and tell me and who you like, tell me who you like. so this is a popularity no. content no <laughs> talk to me a, <laughs> talk to me a, a favorite as far, a as, favorite engagement. As far as engagement who has been engaging in ways that you enjoy we don't, have, we don't yet have hour or total 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 okay cool we don't yet Looking have a we don't yet have a Black meme, Panther meme uh, for you to judge. Uh, for you to judge. Those of you listening, those of you listening, please go into the Discord. Please go into the Discord channel, challenges channel and share and share a Black Panther meme. a Black Panther meme. Um, let's see. I'm going into the I'm right. going into the meme me dad. See if, dad, see if anyone not. shared there. They yeah. have not. The Mat Matos Noah. He's got a good Batman symbol that's uh, HubSpot. I like that one. Aptos we'll Noah. Aptos Noah. Gotta go find that. Go find that. Is it in the challenges? Is it in the challenges? It is. Ah. Ah. That's one that so, we shared. That's yeah. one that we shared, <laughs> yeah. This piece, yeah. Like <laughs> this piece you like that energy? <laughs> Got it. All right. Got it. Congratulations. All right. Congratulations, Matt. 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 Congratulations, Matt. Matt. Congratulations, <laughs> Matt. <laughs> if you are the giveaway winner for this giveaway hour, winner for this hour. You. Hannah has selected you. Thank you, Hannah, you. So, Thank you Hannah, so much for being here. You are welcome. Thanks for having me. Thank you for. Uh, Thank you for uh, doing it big. For doing it big. For making. <laughs> for making. Making all the moves you made. Making so all the moves you made so that an ask to. You, to you be on to the be launch on the, the launch of the admin HubSpot Super Admin community. community. We're going to get then we're going tactile, to get uh, tactile, tactical uh, information. Tactile we're information. Gonna relevant we're going to get relevant information. information. Uh, thank, you uh, thank you for all the things you've done. Thank you for all the things you've done to make uh, this, this time together. Uh, this time together a reality. Super appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Talk, talk soon. All right. Take care. All right. Take care. Bye. 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 All right, everyone, we'll turn off my face. Yeah, no one wants to see that. And we are back with everyone here. Hello, 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 everyone on live. We're here live on LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch. I am hearing that YouTube has, uh, you're hearing echoes. So that is what it is. <laughs> Understood. Luckily, there are multiple other outlets. You can come over here on Discord and hear us. Uh, thank you to everyone who is tuning in, listening, paying attention. I appreciate you being here, jumping on, being with us. Uh, next hour, we have Diana coming on, who I just saw join the launch stage. Thank you, Diana, if you're listening. Thank you for jumping in and jumping on, and thank you for the grace in uh, getting connected to the audio. I appreciate it. Hopefully you had a smooth experience. Thank you to everyone who's been listening today. We are doing a live stream, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern here on launch day, April 1st. Happy April Fool's Day and happy Friday. We're launching the HubSpot Super Admin community today. This community is for HubSpot users to meet other HubSpot users to do HubSpot things. And I say it like that because it's growing. It's big and it's growing. The HubSpot community uh, is a big community. There's over a thousand integrations, hundreds of thousands of users, 
It's the number one CRM in the world. It's got a couple other number one uh, accredited uh, accolades to its name. And so there's lots of people using HubSpot. And that means there's lots of people who uh, hold the title and role super admin. Inside of a HubSpot portal, there's a role called the super admin. And the super admin is able to cross tool, use, manipulate, uh, set up, migrate, integrate, whatever you want to use, all of the different things that HubSpot can do within the portal. The super admin has the ability to do all of those things. And so the super admin role inside HubSpot is a unique one. And so as a, a super admin, connecting with other people who hold that role, other people who are wanting to take maybe their their super specific sales role or super specific marketing or service or operations role. And they're either wanting to do more within their role, they're wanting to continue doing exactly what they're doing, and they're wanting to do it better. They're wanting to, wanting to create efficiencies around their processes. Then, then this is the community for you. The HubSpot super admin community is to do, you do more or do better. And, and so HubSpot's, HubSpot's Grow Better initiative and, and idea we're embodying here with a sense of belonging. This is where you belong. The number one CRM in the world needs to have the number one community in the world wrapped around it. And that's what we are. So the HubSpot Super Admin community is here for you to workshop with other HubSp uh, HubSpotters. Uh, which we're going to designate. HubSpotters are people who work at HubSpot. Sprocketeers are HubSpot power users. They're the HubSpot super admins. Those are our sprocketeers. So power to the sprocketeers. <laughs> we are on live on a eight-hour uh, eight hour live stream. You're watching us either on either after the fact or you're watching us on LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, or Twitch. We have uh, a new guest every hour, a new theme every hour, and then a new giveaway uh, we're going to give every hour. Uh, this hour coming up, we have Diana, who's going to be joining us. Diana is already in uh, the Discord, but I'm going to go ahead and get up your image on the live. There's Diana. I'm going to make that a little bigger so we can all enjoy Diana's graphic or card here. Diana, I see you on, uh, on Discord. I'm going to go ahead and give you permissions so that you can speak to me on Discord and I can speak to you there. So I'm doing that now. And once we can hear each other, then I will bring you on stage here on the live stream so people can see you as well. So those permissions are in. Diana, if you want to go ahead and try to unmute on Discord, there I should we should be able to hear each other. So I'm going to unserver mute you. Can you hear me, Diana? Hey! What's up? That was Good. That was easier than I thought. I, uh, I really got on one of these calls earlier, and there was like a few minutes of back and forth, so I was like, I better be prepared. <laughs> I appreciate you for the grace in joining and jumping on and, and getting an account. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. I'm happy to be here. Should we be also unmuting the Google Meet situation, or is this a different thing? You should unmute. Uh, so, <laughs> unmute. You can tell this is hour seven. Uh, unmute on Google Meet. Yes, please. And I'm going to open that up. Um, I'm going to join, and I can now. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you. Congrats on this launch day. It's been great. I've uh, been tuning in and out just uh, as I can, and it's, it's been fantastic. So, 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 so great. <laughs> You're awesome. Thanks so much. Woohoo! We can now see you on live. Hey. 
<laughs> Hi, mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> uh, appreciate you for being here. We can see you on live now. So those of you watching live and watching after the fact, you can see Diana. Uh, we can also hear you on Discord. If you'd like to join the Discord with us, uh, go to HubspotSuperAdmin.com. In the top right, there's a link to the invite. And once you get in, you just click the green check to verify, and you get access to all the channels. So you can chat with other super admins and other sprocketeers, and you can hear Diane and I over there as well. How's your Friday going, yeah, Diana? Anyway. It's going very well. I'm really excited to, um, to talk to you guys, actually. I have a very intimate relationship with HubSpot. I don't even think you know. Um, and so I'm really excited to be here and just talk a little bit about that. And yeah, and, and, and then get the weekend going. <laughs> <laughs> and the weekend is upon us, so that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, when I met you, Diana, we had a talk about your HubSpot experience. And in my mind, it is extensive. Uh, but you just said your intimate experience. So I think my brain is shallow on how I'm thinking about it. So I want to get into that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. At the top of the hour, I'm going to do a recap. And are you cool with, uh, let's see, who's our this hour? So is if I remember right, is your favorite superhero Spider-Man? Yeah. 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 So I'm going to switch over. People are naturally doing the uh, Batman. So I'm going to switch us over uh, to Spider-Man because I know that's your favorite. All right. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So in uh, for those of you listening, you can go over to the Discord and you can create a meme out of Spider-Man and HubSpot. So Spider-Man and HubSpot, what is a meme when you combine those two things? Share your meme in the Challenges channel, and we will vote on the best one. Uh, and you will receive a badge and a swag prize for the best Spider-Man meme. So I'm going to go ahead and post that over there. Uh, what else is happening this hour? We're going to talk with Diana about her intimate relationship with HubSpot <laughs> that she has <laughs> that I'm going to learn about. And uh, we're going to have Spider-Man. That is our theme. There's another thing I'm supposed to be doing. Um, oh, I'm just going to share that on LinkedIn. Oh, <laughs> let's just get started with, uh, with you as a person. Are you a coffee or a tea person? Oh, I'm a coffee person. I'm Colombian. <laughs> there cannot be any an, an, another answer to that. Sorry. <laughs> if there is, I think you're excommunicated. I think you're not allowed to come back. Yeah. Exactly. I, if, if I am a tea person, I can't say it. <laughs> if you say tea, you go straight to jail. It's a law in yeah. Colombia. Yeah. Straight to jail. Exactly. Exactly. If you buy That's tea, if you say you like tea, if you look at tea in another country, straight to jail. Yeah. <laughs> So you are coming to us from uh, Colombia, right? So will you wave north? I'm waving I'm south. You, north. you wave north. I'm north. I'm waving to you, and you're waving to me. Hi. I, I, um, yeah, no, I just, I just don't know which way is north. Sorry. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> it's ridiculous anyway, yeah. which is my mo. Yeah. Uh, all right. So before we get into your intimate relationship with HubSpot, or maybe this will uh, really open the door to that conversation, I would love to know about, we're launching today, and so thank you for being on. Uh, can you share with me your thoughts on why it's important to have a, a super admin community that's wrapped around HubSpot? Your opinion on the, the community around this tool? Yeah, honestly, I think it's just something that we needed for a long time. And, and some people or some of us just didn't know we needed it or how bad 
we we needed it. Um, but really, it's just there's questions and there's um, use cases and there's day to day things that come up that they're not documented. It's not part of a certificate. It's not a course. It's just the best practices or somebody else did it before or uh, it, it's a new use case that somebody could say, oh, I, I did a workaround about this in another way. And so, like, it's just important to be able to share all of that information. Why, why are we going to reinvent the wheel here, right? Like, nobody else is really having to reinvent the wheel. Um, so just having that platform where we're able to share our experiences through HubSpot so that people can build on top of that and learn and, and like start start exploring how they can better use the tool and better leverage the tool for their own use cases. I think that's what it that's what it's all about and that's what we really need here, right? Um, so I'm super excited to be able to start sharing all of those from the smallest detail, right? From like the right, like right. I use this property to build this report. It's like I've never thought about that. I am going to use this and I'm going to start implementing it. And it's just something that's not going to be readily available anywhere else other than here. I love what you're saying because when someone does share that, I, I think you said it so well that it's something I didn't know I needed to know. It's something I didn't know I wanted to hear, which is I'm, I'm doing my work, right? I, I'm completing it and, and the things I'm doing are working. But you might be doing the exact same thing and did a different way. I didn't know I needed to know how you did it because I thought that's how you do it. I I, I did it. Well yeah. said. And on the flip side of that, like on the flip side of that, there's so many of us all around the world actively going into HubSpot and doing things day in, day out. And so like you're pro you've probably already encountered the questions or the problems that I'm having today that I'm spending three or four or five hours solving within HubSpot today. You did that yesterday. Like, let's build on top of each other's knowledge and let's start sharing that knowledge to build something bigger. That's that's what I'm thinking here. I, I'm honestly, I'm, I'm hoping to be like a top uh, sharer, <laughs> contributor, contributor to this tool. I can, I cannot wait to like start putting all of this information out there and and start receiving some of that information from other people. Like some people think it's, it's going to be silly. It could be from something silly to something really big. And all of that is going to add value. Right, right, right. I mean, when you're when you're sitting around, uh, well, I know when I was sitting around in an office or in a shop, the exchange of information was just so constant. It, it was so constant, and and having my community around me meant sometimes my coworkers knew what the heck I was saying. Like sometimes that was my community for the day. Is we're dealing with an issue, and part of the issue is we all aren't talking the same language on this problem, whatever it is, you know, or this this contract mm -hmm. initiative. And so like for the day, we just had to be together and talk through <laughs> what are we doing? What's going on? How is it going to get done? And so if we're remote and if we're in multiple portals at different companies, then the community, like you're saying, is literally just going to share like, here's how I'm doing it. Oh, you're doing it that way. Mm -hmm. That basic, like you're saying, it's these basic things that sometimes mean the world to each other. Yeah, I, and, not, and not just the world, like hours, hours of figuring out, of researching, of trying. Uh, Time. I, I want to I wanna build on top of that, on, on top of what you already spent, and vice versa. Take advantage of me too, you know? Mm. <laughs> yeah, well like. said. I've, I'm yeah. not just going to copy. I'm going to build on top of what you did. Let's build yeah, exactly. more. Yeah. Okay. You're awesome. You have a story you want to <laughs> tell. I am in the middle of. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, I just say I have a very intimate relationship with HubSpot because I um, I started like, I don't know, eight, nine years ago in, in marketing. <laughs> um, and the way that I started in marketing was exclusively by going through the certificates. That's how I learned marketing um there would have honestly like it would have taken multiple courses or like i i'm an international business professional so like my marketing knowledge from that was minimum and so the, the certificates that came from hubspot and and the 
um, like the meets that I would go to that were like HubSpot sponsored and stuff like that really is what I think gave me the knowledge that I was able to use in my profession with, with marketing. And so I'm like a HubSpot fangirl. Like <laughs> I, I live and breathe and like I've had to use other tools in the past and I'm like, eh, but, it's, but it's not HubSpot, you know? <laughs> like, eh, okay. Um, so I've just really like built my career on top of what HubSpot does and what HubSpot offers, not just from like a tool or even just like a marketing uh, automation tool, but from the community that it brings from the knowledge that it imparts on everyone. And so like, I'm grateful for HubSpot's uh, wealth of knowledge and the way that they share their knowledge, because I feel like that's what helped me build my career. Um, and so like, if you ask me, um, hands down, eyes, eyes closed, hops, what is the answer? <laughs> um, I don't know if that's biased or not, but like, I've been using it for eight or nine years. I know the use cases, it's been growing. It's, you know, all there's new certificates all the time, but there's also new, uh, tools and features and et cetera all the time. And it's just, it's just, it's just getting to a place where it, there's no stopping it really. It's, it's fantastic. All right, uh, HubSpot fangirl, but then the theme for this yeah. hour when we clip this is going to be hands down, eyes closed, the answer is HubSpot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like, I don't care what your question is. It's going to be HubSpot. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, we have uh, some tips and tricks kind of things that we uh, could get into, and I would like to do that through the lens of your favorite tool. So Diana, can you tell us not a hub and not like a whole, uh, a suite or a specific tool that is your favorite. So choose out of the hundreds, the import <laughs> tool. Uh, Kyle this morning said workflows. That's his favorite. Okay. Uh, Tobias said data sets, this new data set capability. He's been playing with that a lot mm -hmm. and it's his new favorite. Uh, Jax was, I, oh, go ahead. Yep. Yeah. No, 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 go. <laughs> Jax is the Gmail integration, which he oversees the Midwest partnerships for HubSpot for startups. And so it's his go-to recommendation on you have this free CRM to get started with and a free Gmail. Just integrate the two. And as you grow, it'll grow. I really like that. Yeah, yeah that's uh, all of those are really great. I, I've actually used data sets before as well to do like programmable emails and stuff like that. Really, really nice tool. Um, but I'm going to have to go with, I think, a really simple one, which is meetings. And I'm going to tell you why. Yeah, please. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why. I love that. I feel like meetings is that bridge between sales and marketing operations. Um, and so if I have to think about gaps and I know Hannah was talking about gaps earlier today, mm -hmm. but if I have to think about gaps, like one of the biggest gaps from a lead to customer, um, journey is usually, uh, the conversion from, okay, I have a lead, like getting them to actually book a meeting with the AE. And so if you're using meeting links in your signature, in the sequences, in et cetera, et cetera, and you use that with UTMs too, you're able to start seeing uh, how your uh, lead to call conversions increase. And you're able to track that in HubSpot and you're able to have your team actively daily, minute by minute, use that tool. It's like, it's like one of those things that you can use every minute or of every day to create significant change and significant value within your sales operations. So I'm going to go with that one. <laughs> Meetings. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've got, I... So simple, right? It is, but it is so powerful because instead of having a weekly meeting where your sales manager is having one-on-ones, not talking about doing better, rather uh, not talking about how to improve, uh, can you just run down all your accounts and tell me like the status of all of those and who you had a meeting with this week and how it went and what did you talk about? The meetings tool in real time allows you to take notes. Like you said, if you integrate it technologically, it can tell you timestamps and uh, the UTM can give you 
the information. So Seriously. now I love that you said meetings because that's the, like, I'm going to meet with people. What's my job as a salesperson? <laughs> to meet with people and talk to them about stuff. Literally that, every day. That, like I, I can't get a pipeline in if I'm not getting on the call for discovery, if I'm not getting on the call for the actual negotiation, right? Like my number one job is to get people on the line. So if I have a tool that's just like sitting there actively reminding you, like choose a time, no friction, right? All that stuff is just, it just really improves that conversion rate. It's the bridge. I'm thinking of it as like the center right now and then putting all the things around it. I hadn't thought about it about the, as a bridge before. So I love that you said that. And and that really is like the human aspect of sales and marketing is you're meeting with other people. You might be meeting with them <laughs> asynchronously by them visiting a website or you sending them an email, right? That might be an asynchronous interaction. Nevertheless, that's mm -hmm. part of the relationship. Yeah. And so tracking those things, because I mean, in the meetings tool, if, if you're booking the meeting through the meetings tool, and if you're you're having it on, oh, so what do you think then, Diana, about the new Zoom integration? Well, I mean, it's just love it. I, it just it's just builds on top of it. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. And like honestly, I feel like there's a lot of people out there that don't really leverage the tool, like the meeting tool specifically, as much as it could. Mm -hmm. Like you can have meeting types, and you can start reporting based on that. Obviously, there's meeting outcomes. Um, you can start, you know, you can have, I don't know, uh, like uh, you can see what your what meetings you have for today and for tomorrow by AE, so that people can plan their day ahead. It's just like there's just so much usability with that. Um, and and like I said, it's just like a day to day tool that you're using every minute of every day that just adds so much value to the team. Love it. That's fantastic. <laughs> All right. So your tool is meetings. I have so many more thoughts, uh, but I won't <laughs> stare into the abyss on live <laughs> from everyone. <laughs> the, the, uh, the idea of getting good at HubSpot can sometimes, like you said, your experience was, um, wait, I need to back up. I jumped right in. <laughs> You are a person who lives in a place. We covered that. You you also work at a place. Tell us about, yeah. put the stake in the ground for us about what you're doing day to day right now. Yeah. So um, I am currently a RevOps strategist at Rev Partners. And so what I'm doing right now is I am taking business problems, business issues related to sales and marketing to services and seeing how they can be improved and how they can be uh, more efficient and how they can impact the bottom line of the company. And all of that, we do it um, directly through HubSpot. So that in a nutshell, that's what I'm doing right now. And um, actually, it's it's very funny. You were mentioning earlier today the RevOps certi uh, certification in HubSpot. I actually started looking into that yesterday, and I was going through. Yeah, I was going through some of the videos, and there's a whole section about um, like how do you know if you can be a good RevOps strategist or person in general, whatever your role is within RevOps, and. I felt so attuned to what this certification is saying and within that particular uh, section because it talks about you're looking for efficiency. You're always curious about how something is happening or why something is happening. Mm -hmm. um, you're looking at the big picture, but you also want to get into the minute detail. And so like those are characteristics uh, that people have that are usually leading you towards RevOps, regardless of whether you started in marketing sales or whatever other role you may have. And so like, that's what I do every day. I get problems and I'm super curious about why these problems are happening. I go in, I check why they're happening. I, I, based on my experience, I provide recommendations. And then it's like this big business issue that I'm mapping out. And so that that's one of our um, guidelines within Rev Partners. Like we're mapping it out. Mm -hmm. We're building a process for our partners. And then we're, that process that's being built, that's being rolled out to teams, it's being implemented in HubSpot. And it's just 
most of it is just automated within HubSpot and helping them live uh, or work more efficiently in general. And then yeah. the nice part about that is live their work life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. Right. And then, and then the, the nice part about that is like, oh, cool. You have a process, you have it automated. And then like, how is that impacting your bottom line? How is that impacting revenue? It could be meeting links. Somebody wasn't using meeting links. And now all of a sudden, like they're building more pipeline, they're closing more sales. They're, it, it, how all of those things, small and big, impact the bottom line of the company. Because it so, changes the conversation. Oh, it does. yeah. You're explaining what you're doing i just love i want to talk more about what you're saying because it's so great okay so you're thinking about this stuff every day diana you're in it thinking about it reporting on it talking about it yeah exactly and it's it's the capacity of like big picture how does this impact all of the processes are or the bottom line the revenue big picture and then like zooming in like where is the issue zooming to that fix it and then see how, from big picture again, how it impacted the rest of the operation, the rest of the um, ROI, et cetera. But um, is that context yeah, switch really important for you day to day of the clouds and the dirt? Oh yeah, I mean you can get stuck in the dirt, right? Like you can there, and it happens a lot um, when you're into the details of the technical way in which something happens within any given tool. Oh, it worked. Right, right. Uh, okay. Did it did it fix the issue? Did it was the issue really the issue that we thought it was? Right. right. Um, like, um, it's really easy to get stuck in the technical part and not zooming out and seeing the big picture again of how that that change that you did impacted the rest of the stuff. Mm-hmm. I love that. It's <laughs> yeah. I uh, again uh, similar to what Hannah. When when Hannah was talking, it was just like, yep, that. I just want to say that to you right now. Like, I want to plus one you. Yeah. That. Yeah. Because you don't want I to mean, get I stuck. I don't know. It's just... you... Yeah, go ahead. Oh, no, sorry. I, I, I'm very talkative. I love it. <laughs> yeah, no, I just, um, I, I think that when when we're looking at things at Ref Partners, uh, we have... We work in pods, so we have that accountability too, um, where we are talking to each other about like, wait a minute, so you did this project last week. Did you, how, how did that go? Uh, did that impact the company positively or negatively? And um, and part of that is what needs to happen also internally within the companies, right? Like if you have an internal RevOps team, can't just, they can't, it can't just be like, oh, fix this data set or fi- fix this list or no, it's, it's really not about that. It's like, is it impacting your bottom line? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Is it, is it affecting your, your systems or your processes as a uh, IRL, right? Like as, as a business or you as a uh, role in the company, like as a worker. And then are, are those things actually affecting your bottom line? Are, are you growing in sales? Are you growing in revenue? Um, are your processes become becoming more efficient where you're able to do more? You don't have to always do more, right? You can just say, we're going to sustain, but it's going to take us 30 hours a week. And I'm going to give my employees 10 hours a week to do whatever they want to do. Or I'm going to now have 10 hours. I know that's a lot. This is a hypothetical, but I'm going to now have extra time because we're able to sustain what we're doing on. It takes less time for us to do we have now extra time to now figure out what we want to do. <laughs> We're not over, exactly. o- over committing and, and hoping that we get everything done. How amazing would it feel yeah. to, to run a company and say, uh, I see all the things we're doing, map them out, and then see the amount of time it's taking your employees or you as a team to do it. That just changes the whole conversation. Um, We could do more now. Exactly. I mean, I think, I feel like a, like a certification teaser now, but uh, (laughs) just really like guys go like, it's so worth it. So worth it. Um, In the introduction of that cert, they talk about what is RevOps and it's just like, they summed it up to the capacity of growing without spending more. Right? Growing like, without spending more. Yeah. If you're growing, if your business is growing 
and you're having that one-on-one -on -one interaction with your clients, then you need to hire more people to have more clients to have that one-on-one -on -one interaction. So RevOps gives you the possibility, good RevOps, right? Like it has to be, it has to be working. It has to be set. Like good RevOps gives you the possibility. Yeah. <laughs> gives you the possibility of growing, maintaining personalization, but not having to expand your team one-to-one. -one. Without expanding, without hiring people on, without spending more money. Yeah. Without, without spending. You don't have to, like, you don't have to spend equivalently to what you're growing to be able to have that exponential growth. Right. So, right. yeah, that's that. And that's what, and, and so like just tying this to the initial question that I think I've gone now <laughs> a few minutes into, like, just like tying it back, like that's what we do every day. Like, how do we make your processes more efficient so that you can keep your growth rate where you are and, and more uh, without having to hire 20, 30, 40 more people all at once because right. uh, yeah, it, it doesn't work that way. Right. So, well, no, I mean, you is. can hire as many people as you want. You don't have, that won't increase cost. You can just hire people, Dana. Don't, <laughs> I mean, that's how you grow, right? You just hire, but it, you hire a rev ops first. <laughs> <laughs> Costs are and then seven. figure out if you need people. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm kidding. All right. So uh, you mentioned certifications. Uh, we're at about 25 minutes to the bottom of the hour. I want to remind everyone who's watching or who is on Discord, please, our theme this hour is Spider-Man. So go make a meme related to Spider-Man and HubSpot. Share it in the challenges channel. Uh, there are going to be some funny ones here. I already see Lizzie already has one. And then I'm going to ask you, Diana. So while we're talking, uh, you can look through the chit chat channel or you can look through the challenges channel or the memes, either one. And to choose a person whose meme you like or who is just like community engagement you appreciate and we'll give them uh, a prize. They will be the prize winner this hour. <laughs> So be Man, looking out for I'm that. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know where these things are. <laughs> I, I'm i going to try. I'll try to yep. find them. I just yep. don't know where they are. I feel like one of those old people, you know, like, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> uh, reminder of those of you who have not used a Discord account. So this is a good opportunity, and I appreciate that kind of lead-in that you totally was planned. Uh, <laughs> yes, of course. Those of you who haven't joined up to a Discord server before, uh, it's Slack and Zoom. Discord, all it is, it's Slack and Zoom rolled into one tool. So the the poll, uh, the idea of what Slack does is you click into a channel, and on Slack you're able to type in messages and respond and thread messages. And so Discord does that. And the idea, expectation in Zoom is you schedule a meeting and you're able to talk with people you want to talk to them uh, or you can get on video with them and you can talk to them that way or you can share your screen and you can talk to them that way and discord does that too and so discord is slack and zoom together because it has all these channels listed you can click into one and you can type in you can click into another one and you can be on uh, an audio with them uh, you can you can click into a channel and you can be on video with them you can share your screen with them it just allows you to have that human conversation with another human about the things you want to talk about. And so that's what Discord is. And uh, that's the server you kinda, you're jumping on and uh, getting in. And, and when, you, when you join the Discord server, we have a coffee shop area where you can just chit chat with other people. That's kind of the main channel. Uh, and those of you watching as you're joining Discord, you won't see any of these until you verify. We want to make sure that you're a human, you're a person. Once you've verified, then they all become visible and you can you can start to chat. Uh, and then we have topical channels based on the things we're going to do. Like Diana's saying, what are you doing in HubSpot? There's the certifications, and now I learned the tool. But now I'm trying to do a thing. <laughs> I'm trying to set up sales stage lead based on these filters and these lists with the UTMs. <laughs> I learned about all those things separately. 
But now I'm trying to implement. How do I do that? Um, that's what we are topically uh, sharing in the Discord. So join the Discord if you haven't yet. Uh, drop in a, a question or, or like Dan was sh saying, share a tip. Tell us how you do what you do. Speaking of certifications, Diana, what are a couple that, as a HubSpot super admin, you would, like, you need to have that one completed, or this, these couple. What are some of those certifications that's like, yeah, you got it, you got to do that? I think there's some basic ones. Um, so the software hub for each one of the hubs, so like the sales software hub, certification marketing software hub, and service software hub. I think those are the basic ones that everybody should just like, just go in, do it, uh, make sure that you just understand how to navigate through mm -hmm. everything and keep yourself updated in regards to what these tools are doing. But also the reporting uh, certification is very interesting. I think that um, it really is the piece that ties together everything where you're like implementing and, and then you need to figure out how it's all working. So you need to be able to know how to create those custom reports uh, to see your, uh, like the success of your implementations. Um, and then I do recommend the inbound search. I mean, I have, I, I, I'm happy going through all of the services <laughs> because they are all very helpful. And I think throughout my career, I've done them all, uh, at various times. But, um, if you're coming from like a marketing automation point of view, then really the inbound search is, is very helpful to understand like the strategic mindset behind how the tools within the marketing hub really should work or how they suggest that you use them just strategically. So those would be my recommendations. Um, it's interesting to me you're... that a couple come to mind with your experience, yeah. your background, like the time you've spent in HubSpot. I like hearing your perspective on what just pops up my, to top of mind. Yeah. Honestly, like I said, like what I think that what I know about marketing comes from HubSpot in general. So, um, so yeah, I would suggest them all like do as many as you can, but, but those are the main ones I think. Um, and then if you offer services to, um, to partners, there's a few additional certs that are available to you. Um, and I suggest things like the onboarding certification for partners and then the implementation certification for partners. I think those were really helpful when I started uh, customer facing um, roles that required me to do implementation and onboarding for them. Those agency partners, those HubSpot partner certs. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, like if you're a partner, you have specific access to those. Mm -hmm. So you said all the software hubs, so all the software certs that relate to the hub, those are the basics. Mm -hmm. And then reporting and inbound. It's good. And then the onboarding implementation for the partners. And yeah, like you yeah. said, there are so many. It's not that those are bad. It's that top of mind when we think about being a HubSpot super admin, there are just certain things that like, these are some of the motions you're going to be doing. So you'll definitely need to know them. Yeah, exactly. Love that. Mm -hmm. Love that. Okay. Uh, other people. So out in the world, you're doing awesome things. Who are Who is it that you're following uh, independent of medium. So don't talk to me about TikTok channels, YouTube channels, and podcasts and books. Uh, but can you share with us some of the things that you're right now consuming? And if it's a person or a company, that's fine. And what it is they're talking about that's got you listening and, and consuming that content. So I have to be honest, like I'm not very much into... Um, following people or I don't have a lot of like people that I'm actively going out there and, and, and following what they're doing, but I'm going to go with Matt, Matt Bolian from Ref Partners. I just, um, when I started interacting with Matt via LinkedIn, really, I was just like following him. I, I, I wasn't working at the company or anything. The stuff that he's putting out there, the type of information that he's putting out there is just boom in your face truth. Um, and he doesn't care like who 
if he doesn't care about formalities when it comes to that, like <laughs> cold calling socks. Oh man, this is great. You know, like, <laughs> he, need, he needed to say it Speaking and he said language. it. language. <laughs> right? Like, I just, I really think that the content that he puts out is, is great because it comes from a place of like, I've been here so many times. I've had this conversation with so many people and here's the truth that you need to know. So that'd be like my number one person that I would say like I, I follow or I uh, interact with. <laughs> so, yeah. I lo- <laughs> he is in your face. He is matter of fact. Uh, not to be pretentious, not to be, uh, not to be uh, on, on edge, not to uh, frustrate anyone. It's just because what he's saying is true. Like it, it that's just true. He, I... He's speaking the truth and he's speaking the truth in a way that a lot of people are, are maybe like afraid to say, or maybe, or maybe they would, wouldn't have said it like so matter of fact, but there's just so many years of background in his experience that he knows what works and what doesn't work. And he's ready to provide those recommendations to everyone no matter who's going to be upset about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no matter who's going to, who's going to disagree with it, you know? Yeah. He's, so. we're all thinking it and he's saying it. Uh, yeah, exactly. Love it, love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what people, the, uh, wow, we're 15 to the top of the, to the bottom of the hour. What is happening? Yeah. Time is flying by. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I enjoy talking to you. I told you I was talking to you. Yeah, no, I love talking to you, and I, I, we need to do this again, and uh, we can get more pointed on things, because I love when I feel that your experience is so in depth that the feedback you give, uh, or the information you share, and the stories you share, are from in this specific case. I have this much knowledge. And so we need to, I need to have you on again and we need to talk about some specific things uh, so you can just dispel your knowledge. <laughs> we're, Let's do it. We're hitting broad I guess I'm here to here. share. Yeah, we're hitting broad topics here. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, for sure. You are looking in a channel at a giveaway winner, right? I'm not sure I'm going to be able to figure <laughs> that out. <laughs> I have to be honest with you here. Like, I want to give you a name. I might just make it up and see if it, like, if it's someone that exists in that channel. Because I don't know how to be able to figure it out. Um, Lizzie's asking. Like on the left hand. On the left hand side. side. Yep. Yeah. All of those. Uh, it just. Go ahead. Yeah, but it says rules and verify, and then I don't have anything. Else, ah. So I don't know. Click the verify. Click the verify okay. channel. And go ahead and click the green check. Click the green check. I don't know if I see a green check, but okay. All right. I don't know. <laughs> like an emoji? Oh, like you're I think I got stuff. I got stuff. Okay. Okay. And then I need to go under challenges? Yep. Challenges oh, I or see stuff chit-chat. Now. I hope this helps anyone out there who's struggling with the same things <laughs> <I am. laughs> Mario says, great insight. Thanks. Lizzie said, Diana, do you have a HubSpot fangirl group? Uh, I don't. We should we should create like a section here okay. for us. <laughs> HubSpot fangirl for real. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay, uh, Lizzie, I am, hold me accountable. Uh, I will create a HubSpot fangirl group for those who want to join. Diana, you're leading it though, so sorry. I'm I'm game. <laughs> no, I'm game. Let's do it. Diana is the leader. <laughs> if you also want to make Getting right down to a, a meme of Diana, <laughs> screenshot this and make a HubSpot meme of Diana, I will not be mad about it. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Someone, uh, I've seen a whole bunch of HubSpot uh, screenshots of the new ad videos of her, like oh, with yeah. a with a laptop on the ship, <laughs> or them on the phone in the underneath. <laughs> That's awesome. Those have been pretty good. Yeah. Uh, 
All right. So, yes, as you look through some of those. Oh, John is in the nerds coffee shop table. If you want to go talk to John. Okay. In the coffee shop, we have. Oh, well, don't click over there, Diana. Not you. Because <laughs> you'll go away from <laughs> this table. In the coffee shop, we have yeah. a couple tables. We have a private one-on-one. -on -one. You can go hang out with someone and have a private conversation. Uh, there are the cool kids and there are the nerds. Those are two tables you can go hang out in. And then there's a lounge, which allows 50 people in there. So that's that'd be a lot of people to be in one space. But you can go hang out in the lounge, too. I, I think I'm going to go with my homegirl, Lizzie, for asking that awesome question and getting us set up with the HubSpot Fan Girl chat. So, yeah. <laughs> Lizzie is receiving two giant swag boxes. <laughs> she was, nice. I think she was Tracy's as well. Oh, I didn't have Hannah tell me one. I'll have to get with her. Yep, Tracy chose Lizzie as well. Lizzie, the the HubSpot fangirl group comment. <laughs> Nailed it. All right, Lizzie, you're dripping awesomeness all over this live stream. Thank you for being in and engaged, and uh, we appreciate it. <laughs> she said, Lizzie, did you see it yet? In, no, in the oh, no, I, I can't multitask like that. Okay, in the Chit Chat <laughs> channel, she said, Diana, you got to get a Discord certification. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to get on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, link, we'll link some uh, Discord certifications here soon. Yeah. All right, with 10 minutes to the bottom of the hour, uh, we have... We've gone over where you're at. You're you're staking the ground and day to day. We've talked about your uh, your complicated relationship with HubSpot. No, your intimate relationship with HubSpot. Yeah. <laughs> you and HubSpot have to. Uh, uh, it's complicated. <laughs> on <Yeah. Facebook. laughs> it's just love. It's just love. <laughs> We're making a also a a uh, a status with hubspot what's your status right now with hubspot is it is it complicated is it just love is it intimate it's eternal <laughs> add this uh we've gone over some of your favorite certifications uh we've talked about how how your favorite tool the the meetings tool is implemented and, and how it's the bridge kind of across all of these different things some of the people you like to follow, or the person <laughs> you enjoy the content so of. One. <laughs> and uh, I appreciate you being here. Uh, before we are able to close, I want to make sure people know how to find you. What's the best way to reach out to you? I think just LinkedIn. I mean, a straightforward LinkedIn. So Diana Gonzalez, that's it. <laughs> Go over to LinkedIn if you're watching this today on April 1st, 2022, or if you're watching this after the fact, go over to LinkedIn right now, open a new tab, go to LinkedIn, search Diana Gonzalez, connect with her and tell her that she was dropping some golden nuggets on the HubSpot Super Admin launch. Go ahead and connect with her there on LinkedIn. All right, we got Lizzie, her swag giveaway. What to, that's, that's our hour and we have eight minutes nice. to spare. So we get to, we get to do some, some nice things now at the bottom of the hour. Oh yeah. Is this when it gets uh, nice and groovy? <laughs> <laughs> so we have our, our HubSpot super admin community that we're launching today. HubSpot is growing, right? It's not that it's small. It's that it's growing. You have yeah. such a history with HubSpot. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> Lizzie, you're groovy. <laughs> she just, Lizzie just shared a gif of Kermit. She's on fire. <laughs> of Kermit the frog, and it says groovy on it. And he's dancing. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Uh, I gotta turn this off. I gotta click away. This has gotta stop. Okay. 
<laughs> what does HubSpot need to do better? What are some ways that HubSpot can improve? So with Hannah's analogy about, uh, you, know, you can see where things connect and overlap. You can see where their uh, things are working well together. What are the things that are in between? What are the gaps? What are the breakdowns? What are the things that you run into and you're like, you know, it should just, yeah. Yeah. What are the, yes. <sighs> That's a difficult question because I know a lot of the things that are current like hurdles are being worked on by the HubSpot team. So I think it's unfair to, there's my fat girl <laughs> mindset. Um, but honestly, like, I think one of the things that has been, um, I don't know if frustrating, but just like hurdles in my day to day is um, reporting capabilities. Like sometimes the reporting is just not a spot on or as as intricate as it needs to be and again i know that they are working on a lot of these things and they're rolling out new reporting with operations hub and all that good stuff um so it's just reporting is such an important part of RiveOps because again that's where you're able to see your results that i think that just needs to be priority like for me that needs to be number one priority because without that the implementation won't matter. Like if I if I don't know what my results have been, the implementation won't matter. So I think that would be it for me. The reporting side of things. It's a nice way to say yeah. reporting, because reporting is like, oh, we have to have a a report. We have to I have to read this report. There's a meeting about the report. But on your end, you're situating it that that's how I know what I'm doing is working. That's how I know there's breakdowns. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's, um, I think one of the first things I do in the morning is take a look at like the main reports, like the sales activity reports for my partners and figure out, uh, if, so, if everything is rolling, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. so it's just so important and it's the way in which my partners, my point of contacts have visibility as well and how the team is able to operate on a handful of things, including for example, meetings. I have a whole dashboard, dynamic dashboard on meetings for everybody. So um, yeah, it's just, it's just very important to, to have as much access to intricacies within the report as possible. Understood. Going on the fangirl stream or in the fangirl mindset way of thinking, can you explain to us, I think it would be helpful in this conversation of how to improve HubSpot. Can you give us this dichotomy that HubSpot is pushing because they don't want to do everything. Can you explain that framework to us that HubSpot is easy to use? It's the number one CRM. It's growing and it for SMBs and enterprise, but it's not going to do everything. And can you explain to us that mindset of how HubSpot's going to do HubSpot that has these things called integrations. Can you share us your mind so that people aren't saying, I want it to improve in this way? And you're like, but it's never going to do that. And that's a fair statement. I, I, yeah, exactly. I, that's where I was about to go. Like, uh, because a lot of us who have started using HubSpot since very early on we've just grown so used to hubspot building on top of what they have and expanding on top of what they have that we we think that it should be able to do everything but if you go and look anywhere else like which tool does everything that that doesn't exist <laughs> and so the way in which hubspot is going to be able to expand and i think in and I think this is the way that we should all look at it as well as like, yes, they will continue to build upon the, the tool and make sure that things are, are better. But what's the ecosystem that goes around HubSpot that really helps you build the entire process within or your entire operation around HubSpot? Because at the end of the day, what you should keep in mind with this tool is that this should be like your one-stop shop and one source of truth. But it doesn't mean that all of the, like it would be crazy to think that HubSpot will be able to do everything your company ever would want it to be. Like that doesn't make sense and I'm gonna from interrupt a you. product perspective. It, it, HubSpot can't do everything that your company wants to do for every company natively. Natively yeah. is what you're saying, right? Exactly, exactly. Like within the tool, 
it's it's crazy to think that it's going to be able to do everything that everybody needs, but it gives you the possibility through native integrations, through API, through other uh, avenues to connect to all of the other tools that you may need and have them feed into HubSpot to where, yes, in essence, HubSpot is your one source of truth where you're able to see and analyze everything <laughs> that you're doing. Like how I tie that in, yeah. Well, everything that you're yeah. doing to know how you're doing it. So, yeah. Yeah. We're just a little spoiled, you know, HubSpot um, yeah. is so great. And for, for marketers, um, I, and I, I'm saying for marketers because I come from, you know, I started with marketing. There was no easier tool to use. Like HubSpot gave me the ability to do marketing automation. Like I've tried Pardot and I've, try, I've tried, I think, them all, all of them. But like there is no easier tool for a marketer than HubSpot. And so you start building that like, oh, there's not something I can do. Why not? Well, okay. Like, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> right. Like either it's coming or it can be done in a different way and we just need to like find our way around it. So yeah. Love that. Thank you so much for dispelling your fangirl knowledge and experience on us. Uh, it goes, it, it, it's very evident. And so I want to make a point to call it out that y your experience and knowledge uh, is really why we're talking. Like you have all these things you've done and accomplished and the experience of trying them different ways, failing, making it work, making it work, making it work. And so when <laughs> being asked to come on today on the launch day, um, appreciate you being here, but it's just so evident that being on with you even for an hour, we can gain so much insight as super admins of how we can go about our work, but also think about the work we're doing. So thank you for being here and having all of that experience to bring to us today. My pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. And again, I just want to congratulate you on a great launch day. Um, and mm -hmm. hi, everyone in Discord. <laughs> um, I I will I will do my best to start figuring it out so that we can chat more and share more things. <laughs> Love it. So you can find Diana in Discord now. You can find exactly. her in Discord. You don't have to go to LinkedIn. But go to LinkedIn, too, and connect with her on LinkedIn. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Happy Friday to you. Happy April Thanks. Fool's Day. Uh, Kyle this morning, uh, I don't know if you're listening, but he shared that his uh, his child went to school having made brownies and put brownies on a plate and covered it in foil. And so he's going to go in to his class. Hopefully he doesn't get a black eye, is what Kyle said. Because when he <laughs> tells everyone, I brought brownies, and he lifts up the foil... They're going to find construction paper, brown construction paper, cut in the shape of an E, which oh, are brown no. E's. <laughs> <laughs> like, is... that's sort of funny, but... <laughs> <laughs> so he goes... I... Good luck to him. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> awesome. Happy Friday. Have a great weekend. Thanks, Diana. Same to you. Take care. Thank you for having me. Bye. <laughs> And we're back. We're here. We're on. Everyone, that is our lineup. Guests for HubSpot Super Admin launch. We had Kyle. We had Tobias, Jack, Ron Tyler, Tracy, Hannah, Diana. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate you, your experience and knowledge, you coming to the day, showing up with your knowledge, being present with us here today. And, and sharing with us what it is you've done, where you are today, uh, and just dropping some knowledge from along the way. Uh, we super appreciate. HubSpot Super Admin is a, a, a big field. It's a big role, and it's growing. There's many of us out there right now, and there's only going to be more. Uh, helping, helping share and define terms, helping share experiences, of how to go about getting a job as a HubSpot super admin. What do you write in your description? What should you look for when you're searching for that job? What are they going to write? What is it that that job is going to say 
but is actually a HubSpot super admin. Uh, so every, everything from that on the front end to how do we go about making a super workflow, like Tracy said, for all of our uh, child workflows and these in-depth questions about meetings and like Diana said, reporting on meetings. How do we do all of those super admin superpowers? Everything in between. That's what we're here for. We're here for HubSpot users to meet other HubSpot users doing HubSpot things. Appreciate all the guests. Thank you to all the guests for being here today, for spending your time with us, for spending, uh, for sharing with us your knowledge and experience. Uh, it, it just goes to show that in uh, in the short time where we've been uh, building HubSpot Super Admin community at, to to <laughs> run to this launch date, it, in that short amount of time, there have been so many people who, uh, like our guest today, have reached out, asked how they could help, uh, shared in the experience, shared their share their work day or share maybe their evening to get some things done, uh, to give us feedback, to jump on and record podcasts. And we just appreciate you. Appreciate the HubSpot community for showing up and, and showing up in a big way. Thank you so much. We Thank you for that. Over the next hour, it's four o'clock Eastern. Uh, we're going to go ahead and walk through, quote unquote, all of the things. And so you'll, we're going to look at all the different platforms. We're going to give you a rundown of what we're going to be doing, where you can find those things, how you can get connected to each other, how you can find us, uh, and how you can find each other is really what I just said. And what that's going to look like moving forward. How can you, how can you do the things? What is this stuff? How do you get connected? I'm stalling, okay? I'm stalling. Don't be mad. Lizzie, when you clip this, you can, this can be the stall clip. <laughs> uh, let's see. So over the next hour, I would like to make sure that anyone who wants to know what they want to know, they, uh, anyone who wants to know, so true with reporting, Mario, spending so much time tweaking some reports. Yeah, Ran agrees. Plus one, Rand. Give that the old plus one. <laughs> we got to add that back from the uh, Google Spaces, Google. Oh my, the Google Plus days. Wow. Who remembers Google Plus? The circles. It was such a cool UI of the circle getting everyone like coming into the circle and then it being added to your circles. I loved that UI. All right. All right, Robbie RevOps, I see you. Yeah, massive pain point for all people today is is looking at my face. I get it. Yeah, I get it. Okay. You don't have to. Yeah. <laughs> so, let's see. Uh, we are. <laughs> he didn't say that for the record, okay? It's a joke. In the challenges channel over on Discord, we are sharing memes and the challenges for today and this week. We had different challenges throughout the week. Those challenges uh, will be rewarded with badges inside Discord, and the couple that I mentioned will be rewarded with uh, swag bags. So we have uh, T-shirts that have uh, my sweatshirt has the logo on. We have T-shirts. Uh, we have stickers, and we have a uh, a perler bead. You guys know what these things are? People are like crazy, going crazy about me calling them by their name. But you know these things? You did these things as a kid? These, these are called perler beads. So uh, we have a kit for the HubSpot Super Admin logo with the logo on it. You'll get one of those kits and uh, you'll, you'll get one of these awesome wristbands with your name on it. All the goods. And so I'll be reaching out uh, over this next week so I can send you your gifts, your giveaway gifts. All right, over the next hour between four and five, I will be going through 
the places where you can connect with others. Uh, and so where you can find where you can find the HubSpot Super Admin community. So it's a number of places, and I want to show you them. So let's start by sharing out uh, a screen. And we can start looking through, looking through the things. I'm going to take a short intermission here for the last hour. See you guys in two minutes. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 over on Discord. Still got, uh, you may call me Sam. <laughs> Still got Robbie, RevOps, Joe, Lizzie, Diana. Thanks for all the love over on Discord. On the live, hey, everyone there in LinkedIn land, Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch. Uh, curious how the view rate on Twitch is going to go. <laughs> Max Cohen has promised me that it is not the place where RevOps community is. <laughs> I'm sure uh, I, I expect the same on this stream. So over the next uh, 50 minutes, 5-0, I'd like to share with everyone <clears throat> excuse me, where it is we can find uh, the HubSpot super admin community. So in order to do that, I'm going to share uh, my screen, uh, and I'm going to show you where you can find where you can find each other. So we are here over on first one. We're going to start off at the top of the hour here with the HubSpot super admin .com. So there uh, you will find, uh, to, this is today, our launch party. Uh, this join us button up here that we're pointing to is the invitation to join the Discord. So if I click on it, it's just going to come over to my Discord, but uh, it'll just open Discord. But uh, here is the invite. So when you're on the website and you click on this button, it'll take you to the invite page, and this will get you onto Discord. So it's just like joining a platform, you make an account. When you make that account, then you get access to Discord. Uh, what I want to show you then is, uh, when you get in, I'm gonna show you my Discord, uh, but you won't get to see all of it. 
what we like to do first is to make sure that you have verified yourself. And so um, we're here on the launch, launch day stage. In this welcome section, all you're going to see to start out with will be rules and verify. So you'll be able to see in this welcome section uh, rules and verify. You'll need to go into verify and you'll need to click this button right here. Click this verify button. Once you've clicked that, then that'll verify that you're in, you're a person, and you've made an account. And all of these things over on the left here, all of these channels, you'll be able to see them. They'll, they'll pop up, they'll show up. You won't be able to see these right now. Uh, you won't be able to see them until you click this button. Once you have clicked and verified, all of this will open up to you. So you'll be able to see rules, you'll be able to see verify. Once you click the green check and verify, everything else will be open to you. And here we, in the rules area, we have the rules of the server. Please read them. Uh, they are meaningful. They're not, they're not just there. They're not terms of service. They're rules for how to act inside the Discord, how to be a, a HubSpot super admin inside the HubSpot super admin community. So please read, share your super, lead with respect, seek understanding, hold space for each other, and uh, we're not soliciting things in here, we're just talking with each other through things we're doing. HubSpot users need other HubSpot users doing HubSpot things, that's the whole point. Uh, intro is for you to introduce yourself and to say hi. Uh, this is, in here, we'd like you to share your favorite superhero and your favorite HubSpot tool. So once you hit the intro channel, go ahead and share with us your favorite superhero and your favorite HubSpot tool. That'll be a way to break the ice with everyone. And then another fun one you should hit right away once you've gotten into the Discord server is the Git Roles channel. Here there are three ways that you can personalize. You can share with us your pronouns. Just click on the pronoun, uh, react with the emoji that corresponds to your pronoun, react with the emoji that corresponds to where you're currently located, and also you can change the color of your name. So over here you can see there are different colored uh, names. You do that by coming to the Git Roles channel, and then you click one of these reactions uh, to this message, and whatever color you click, uh, that'll change your name. Mine just went to yellow. And now it's going to go to blue, right? So I'm going to change it back to what I had before, I think. <laughs> All right. So once you get into the Discord server, the, the welcome area is where you should go. You should hit rules, intro, verify, and get roles. From there, you can explore the rest of the server and connect with people there. So we're here back on the website, hubspotsuperadmin.com. Uh, come on up here to join us, and you can start talking with us immediately. On the front page, uh, we're, we have blog posts. These are not real. These are, uh, this is launch day. These are the things that, uh, this is where you will find the latest blog post as we write about things that are actionable. Explore posts will be over on the right-hand side, or excuse me, popular posts will be over on the right-hand side, so you can see kind of what is the latest stuff, but then what's also the most popular, what's going on, and so those are the top two. And then after that, all we're going to do is topically base posts based on the, the subjects and categories uh, we're hearing from within the community. Right now, we have a couple examples of DevOps, Super Admin, uh, and events. In the footer section, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. In the footer section, uh, we have a couple links to uh, these these social websites, and so you can follow you can follow there, and and we'll go over there. If you'd like to write a post, if there's something that you are working on, you mapped out, and you want to share. Uh, you're going to be able to write a post and get it on the website here. And we'll also have another area for recent posts down at the bottom. So that's the, the basic page. 
and then I'll just work my way across the top. So up here, uh, your journey begins here. This will be the live area. So if you ever want to know what's going on, on, on the front page, these, these are blog posts. This is the information, all right? If you want to know what's going on, you're, you're going to start here. This is going to be the journey. So right now, this page uh, at backslash live is going to be all about today, the, the live stream, the public launch. We will update these things and, and this page with whatever we, it is we have going on live. <clears throat> Here we have a couple. So at the top, uh, there was just the information about the day today. Next, there is a, a way for you to register for the event today. After that, we have an area of some steps that you can take to get started right away. To make it clear, when you want to join the HubSpot Super Admin community, these are the first three steps you take. And so we're going to be adding those here for you to actionably uh, take part in. And then this whole week, we've done a challenge each day. And uh, the links to those challenges are here to take these actions. Um, and so this is where you are able to find those links to do these things. Subscribe to the podcast, add a virtual background to your Zoom. Um, invite other people to the community, um, add Sprocketeer on your LinkedIn, and follow all of uh, our websites on online. <coughs> Excuse me. And then the footer again. And so this page up at the top, the, the first option will be the what's going on. Resources will be then a further breakdown of the topics we're writing about and we're hearing from the community and people are saying so that you can topically find and get to the information you want, if that's the avenue you want to go through. The upskill page. Upskill has two main areas. We're going to be talking on the upskill page about badges. So this is within the HubSpot community badges that you earn by being engaged, doing whatever it is you're doing uh, in in the HubSpot community, either online or uh, in events or one-on-one -on -one with other Sprocketeers. So the badge system uh, will be outlined here. Certifications then as well, uh, either the latest, like Kyle released today, the, the RevOps certification. So either the latest with RevOps, uh, the latest with certifications or the challenges with certifications and, and meeting up over challenges that you're working through as you gain your certifications. Also, lots of people are talking, well, excuse me, there are a couple people talking this past week about how many certifications they have. Uh, I'm curious if anyone has 30 plus. Does anyone have 30 plus certifications? Uh, from what I can tell, there are 36 that, uh, that I've counted in in my academy listing. Um, does anyone have 30 plus certifications? And I wonder how many people across the globe have 30 plus. I think that's a, my impression is that's a small group. It's a small group of people. So that is the upskill page. Work opportunities page. Here there are quite a few people Every day, I know on LinkedIn, on Twitter, posting about hiring a HubSpot super admin, someone who can do their rev ops inside HubSpot. We have six posted here. Uh, this is actually an uh, I'm excuse, this automation analyst is an internal HubSpot job listing. So this is to work at HubSpot in revenue operations. But these are current listings. So. Here we'll find a good way to share and bring about and highlight uh, listings, uh, but that's going to be under these work opportunities. And then the about section is just about us, Sprocketeers looking to level up our HubSpot and RevOps chops. We fight obscurity with clarity, and we bleed orange unicorn blood because we bleed orange. HubSpot is the number one CRM. G2 has got lots of love uh, because other people are loving on HubSpot. And that's where they do it on G2. So this is a, an about us section, and we can you can schedule time with me here at the bottom. So if you go to HubSpot 
superadmin.com slash about, or you come to the page and click on the about section. This is where you can schedule time with me. Uh, my calendar is here, and that's where you can find it. Okay, if you'd like to search the site, you can, of course, do that in the with the spyglass. But that is hubspotsuperadmin.com. So that's where you can find the services. That's where you can find the resources. And, of course, join the Discord by joining us. That's where you can find each other. All right, so what's another thing? I'm going to go down to the bottom, and I'm going to click LinkedIn. So we'll go over to LinkedIn. This is our super admin page. So you can go over to linkedin.com slash company slash uh, the HubSpot super admin. Or you can go over to LinkedIn and you can search HubSpot super admin. And here you'll find a page that you can add you can find other people who are following the community, thus they're probably interested in the community. Excuse me. I love all this coffee. So here on the LinkedIn page, you can uh, find other people who are following. You can also find other people who are considered sprocketeers. If you'd like to earn your sprocketeer badge in Discord, then you should be listed here. So I'm going to click on these people. These people are already uh, sprocketeers. Uh, why is that? Because these people, these people have added HubSpot, super admin, uh, and the term sprocketeer as a role on LinkedIn. Got a couple pages already going here. So these people have earned the Sprocketeer badge on Discord uh, because they've gone in and added HubSpot Super Admin and the role Sprocketeer to their LinkedIn account. And so you can find that. Um, you can get the, get the posts on the latest uh, events coming up and things we're doing uh, and things that people are, are saying. We will repost them here in our posts. As we've gone through today, you can see each guest that has come on. Uh, we've shared their information and their card. Um, here's our joke for today. Uh, let's see. Over in events, you can see the events. And as we do more, you will find those here as well. Um, I'll show you some more of the events here in a minute. And that's where you can find us on LinkedIn. Uh, lots of ongoing work would be happening in LinkedIn because people open it up, especially in a professional environment during the workday. You open up LinkedIn, you're connecting with uh, a client or a customer, and, and you're wanting to share out some, some good news. You're wanting to tag them, and so you're wanting to be connected to do all those things. Uh, we're there, and, and there's, a, there's a page for you to tag. And that's where you can find more and connect with the people who are also on LinkedIn. Uh, once you follow the page, you can come over here and click followers. And you can see all of the people. Uh, I'm sorry. You can see all of the people uh, that like it as well. And so those are... Oh, that's not what I was sharing. This is what I was sharing. Yeah. You can see the people who are also sharing, and thus they might be interested or have a similar thing that you're doing uh, that you want to that you would want to connect with them on. Uh, and so that's another way to connect with other sprocketeers and other potential HubSpot super admins. I'm going to go back to the website and navigate to our YouTube channel. Uh, we're over on YouTube. You can watch our trailer there. Uh, there is an awesome, hilarious trailer that. Um, you know, we could, let's see if that output isn't, uh, what did I expand? No, that was coming through there. Let's see. You 
you should watch the trailer. What I'm wanting to do is on the live stream for you to be able to hear it. And those of you watching that know how to do this and watching me struggle through it, I'm, I hope you're enjoying this. <laughs> Down. Yes, but ooh, can I do like the output? Allow, but what's the setting? There's just like a, a setting, isn't there? Oh, it's the target 30 plus certification. That's right, Mario. If you are in Discord right now, and you know how to send the audio through, where would I be sending it through to? I gotta get it from here. Yeah, those are just the settings. Not a not a priority right now. Coming over to the YouTube page, <laughs> you can see the trailer. We have a couple shorts uh, launch week but we'll be adding more shorts for specific things as people share uh, use cases, like Diana was saying, these little tips and tricks of how they do things. Shorts have been a great way we've seen, like Kyle does, like Kyle Jepson does on his LinkedIn, like Max does in his uh, longer form LinkedIn's and on his TikTok, how it is they go about doing what they're doing so that what it is they're doing and is obvious to them to do that way so that it becomes obvious to us, so that we can understand it from their perspective and from their their frame of reference, their frame of mind. Uh, here's the here's the way I think about these things. Shorts will be a, a good way that we can do that here, uh, and then we have some fun videos below and some how tos already uh, running through some of the things that uh, we're doing now, like how to subscribe to the YouTube, how to join the Discord. Uh, and how to add Sprocketeer to your um, to your LinkedIn, Lizzie. Thanks for the <laughs> for the comment over in Discord. That is the awesome trailer. All right, I'm going to come back to the website, and we're half past the hour now. We have 30 minutes left in our. Uh, in our live stream of the kickoff of HubSpot Super Admin. Thank you to everyone who's been on here today. I think Lizzie and Rob have literally been on all day. Joe, maybe the same. Uh, Rob's not even listening. I'm just kidding. You're just deafened on, you're listening on the live stream. Don't be mad. <laughs> I'm going to go over then to our third link, which is Twitter. And on a, our Twitter page, uh, the name that you can mention is HubSpot Super Admin. Super is S-U-P-R, and admin is A-D-M-N. So HubSpot Super Admin over on Twitter. Uh, and this is the more conversational thing. So Christina K, Christina Garnett, uh, let's see, George, um, all of that. All of that kind of conversation can happen here on, on Twitter. Um, Christina's great. Go over and follow Christina K. Uh, she's quite active. Natalie's also quite active. Um, and so if you want to see all these people, Allie is very active. Uh, what we've done is created a list. So you can go over to uh, lists on Twitter, and there is a HubSpot list, and these are HubSpotters. So you can follow this list. Uh, this is a, a list of HubSpotters, and it's a list of just people who are on Twitter talking about HubSpot. Uh, these are people that are chatting up HubSpot, talking about things going on in HubSpot, sharing podcasts, uh, being featured on podcasts, uh, sharing out the creators, uh, all of these things, sharing out ways of doing things. There's the Academy. Oh, this is the, the RevOps uh, that Kyle launched this morning. Sprocket Talk. Here's the Academy. Yep, people are talking about uh, last speaker talking about community building. There you go. Love it. So here on Twitter, the conversation is quite topical, uh, and it's, it's uh, well, 
you know how Twitter works. <laughs> Those of you who tweet and do the Twitter, uh, not only do we have an account, but I suggest you follow this list. Uh, this list of HubSpotters has 102 members, and it's really the people who are day-to-day -day talking about HubSpot or doing HubSpot things and then sharing it out uh, on Twitter. So go into your lists, and you can find this HubSpot list. Um, if you can pause this video, you can come up, and you can just go to this URL and see the list and start following it. And you can see what it is they're 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 seeing and sharing. Um, you know, I'll just share this over in the Discord. There's the URL over in the Discord, in the Chit Chat channel. If you want all these resources and things I keep referencing, uh, go into the Discord, go into the Chit Chat channel. That's the ongoing conversation, uh, and that's where people are, are sharing. So a couple other things that I would like to show you. Uh, would be, it's out over here, <laughs> is the podcast. So on Monday, 4-4, four, four, uh, we will be dropping our first podcast. We have George B. Thomas, who has uh, graciously recorded a podcast. Uh, our team has already cut it. It's ready. And you can hear this amazing trailer that's been done as well. Uh, but Becoming the HubSpot Super Admin Podcast. What is this and why are we doing it? HubSpot, becoming the HubSpot Super Admin Podcast is to talk with people who we consider HubSpot Super Admins, like we did today with our guests. Talk to people about them and their experience, their background, the, the spark that moved their career from what it was to being a HubSpot user and what they're doing now, and then tell us the story in between. The podcast will be about personal stories and journeys from becoming a HubSpot user to becoming a HubSpot super admin. And we all come at HubSpot from a different spot. Okay, that was unintended, but it happened. I'm sorry. We all come to HubSpot in some way is the point. And hearing from other people that I was once solely focused on marketing and doing lead converting email campaigns, or I started using HubSpot because I wanted to build a website that I could take action on, or I'm a salesperson and the company I worked at used HubSpot. And so I had to use sales stages. Hearing from people about their spark to becoming a HubSpot user to then now see that the the stake they plant in the ground is the the user role of a super admin. And then what is between those two stakes? What is their journey from here to there? What have they done? What have they as a person done, thought about, where have they worked in-house or agency along the way? Becoming the HubSpot Super Admin Podcast is going to be about people and their journey. Because all of us need to hear about where we come from. And all of us need to understand that you don't know everything first. You have to start somewhere. And hearing from each other about where we started, how our journey went, uh, and where we're currently at is, is helpful. It's nice to understand. It's nice to know. It's nice to feel like you belong in a community somewhere where other people have had a similar experience or they've had they've had a similar experience. That's all that really needs to be said. So uh, over on Spotify, you can search for Becoming the HubSpot Super Ad Admin Podcast. The first episode with George will be launching on 4-4. So go ahead and listen to that there. Uh, you also can find, uh, this will be audio. Spotify has also turned on the video feature we have applied. So when the video feature opens up, uh, the video to the podcast will be on the YouTube channel. So go over to the YouTube and you can watch us live there and you can watch the video. Uh, on Spotify right now, it'll only be the audio. Uh, once we have the video, we'll let you know in the Discord that we have that uh, we have that capability. And so we'll show you then, uh, we'll let you know then that you can also watch watch us on Spotify, which is weird to say. 
you could watch us on Spotify. <laughs> All right, let's see, what else? Uh, we have those. Uh, I want you to know about two others. So those of you on Pinterest, uh, we have a Pinterest account and we don't really have anything shared. <laughs> on our Pinterest page, we're going to be sharing about, uh, sharing people stories, stories about people, stories about super admins, stories about the humans that are sprocketeers. So as you a sprocketeer, join in the Discord and you join in the HubSpot super admin community. We want to know your story and your journey and the things you went through and what it is you have done, but also how you think about those things that you've done, right? It's not a LinkedIn rundown of this is my role and this was the company and these are the years and um, I'm going to talk through my resume. It's tell us the story behind the data point. That's what we'll be sharing over here on Pinterest. And so we will link to the podcast because those podcast episodes are all about the journey and the story behind the person. Uh, in addition to that, there will be shorts and blogs uh, written about people and their journey and the story behind that journey. And we will share those here on Pinterest. Uh, and so you can find those on, on our Pinterest page. Again, uh, HubSpot Super Admin is the username for Pinterest. So you can go on to Pinterest and search for that and find us there. Uh, and then the last one is, of course, we have <laughs> we have a TikTok. So <laughs> someone has already made uh, this ridiculous video. Wow. That was loud. <laughs> has already made this uh, funny video. And so our TikTok is HubSpot Super Admin. We have some how-tos if you're a sprocketeer. Uh, you can see me and Georgette there. Christina Kay has already commented, of course. She is everywhere. TikTok, HubSpot Super Admin is our username. Uh, these are short videos. Georgette's making a, <laughs> uh, a showing here on TikTok. And so there are some of the things we're doing. <laughs> See, this is what TikTok does. It's just ridiculous and hilarious and short enough where you just continue to watch. Ugh. All right. <laughs> that's what it does. I guess that's the point, right? So we're also over on TikTok. So if you're on TikTok, please uh, drop us a... We're on TikTok. If you like that thing and you do it, go do it. <laughs> now, uh, getting away from the social media uh, train here, Tracy talked to us today about Loom and Miro. And so what I'm pulling up right now is our pub public, excuse me, our public Miro board. Anytime that you're jumping on with another sprocketeer or you're wanting to understand where someone's coming from, uh, a, a call is where I start. I like to get on the phone and just start talking. I want to hear what you have to say. Talk to me about it. The super admin way of talking to someone and understanding them and asking questions uh, is to jump on a Miro and map it. That's the super admin way. Because what you're able to do is as someone else is explaining to you what they're thinking, you're able to map out your shared understanding and validate and verify that it is a shared understanding. It is what I just said. That is what I'm thinking. If we don't have this shared understanding, like we talked about with Hannah, uh, like Tracy talked about in making sure that she understands the tasks in, in her Asana board, then we don't understand each other. <laughs> you saying yes to the question, to my question, do you understand me, does not mean we understand each other. So here we have, up on my screen right now on the live, if you're uh, listening in Discord, up on my screen on the live, uh, is our public Miro. And in this board, there are spaces, there are sections where you can go. And while you're talking with someone uh, on video, you can share your screen and you can map out what you're talking about. You can map out the sales stages and you can name them. You can put f add filters to them. 
You can identify time, uh, time buckets. You can identify the persona you're getting after. In the case where it's a, a marketing email campaign, you can talk about the tone and voice you want to use, the type of messaging, uh, who the persona, again, it's going to come out to, uh, the time buckets. There's a pattern emerging here. You're wanting to build a website or you're wanting to update a website. Pull over a screen capture of the website or of some uh, in inspiring websites or websites you want to use to inform what you're building. Pull over screen captures. Identify parts of the website that you like and comment on it. And, and map out and share with that other person you're talking to what it is you mean. This is what I'm talking about here. See? See that? That's what I mean. That's what I'm saying. Show us. Don't just tell us. Show us. And that's what this Miro board is for. It's for us to do the showing part of show and tell. Open up the Miro. Once you're on, on with someone and you're talking, open up the Miro and map it out. Open up the Miro and share the resource you're referring to. Screen capture the thing you see. Show it. Show it. Show it. Map it out. That's what a super admin does. A super admin makes sure not only that you've communicated verbally, that you've also mapped it. I can see the thing. I've identified this, and we're talking about it, and I'm circling. I'm pulling it up, and I'm sharing my screen. That's what the Miro is for, and that's what a super admin does. All right, we're fighting obscurity here. We're fighting it with clarity. So open up the Miro, map it out, get clear about it, get clear. We're gonna do, we're gonna start a partnership with, uh... yeah, Lizzie, but I'm bump. <laughs> Is it uh, Pantene or uh, clean and clear and under control? And under control. Yeah, I went there. Some company, that's their, like, right? Clean and clear? Who is that? Is that Maybelline? <laughs> no, that's maybe she was born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. Who's clean and clear and under control? Come on, Lizzie, you're so fast. Clean and clear and under control. Johnson and Johnson. Well, of course, one of oh, Neutrogena. Yeah, oh, those things burned, Lizzie. <laughs> so when I had a pimply face when I was a teenager, I had these Neutrogena pads that I'd use every night. They came in this little container with like a green or pink top, and you take this pad out, and I swear it just had like hydrochloric acid on it that's all it was and you'd wipe your face with it and then it'd burn <laughs> and it cleaned your face that was my skincare routine yeah <laughs> uh neutrogena and that's their that's their thing that's their line clean and clear and under control this is not a neutrogena ad so stop talking about it grant all right <laughs> here we are here we are that's right so uh, in this Miro, uh, getting back to the Miro, to the task at hand here, we have this little guy saying hi. Hey. Here uh, is a journey video, and not the band, uh, but walking you through all of the things I've just shown you. So you can go ahead and start with, uh, start with that video. Moving into the HubSpot Super Admin house. Uh, we use this for the soft launch is we again have all of the areas uh, where people are coming from. And so uh, these areas, AM, ER, EMEA, and APAC, uh, you can go into the Discord. If you're watching on live or you're watching after the fact, go into Discord and scroll to the bottom of the channels. We have channels for where you're coming from. Uh, and so we'd like to know where in the world you're coming from. HubSpot super admins are global, uh, whether you're in Ireland or France or Australia, or Japan, uh, South America. Um, I don't think we have any in Europe, yeah. 
even though I just said two in Europe. Uh, that was just a joke. We'd like to know where you're coming from. And so, uh, number one, we'd like to start there on where it is you're coming from. So that's what we're starting here in the Miro. Head on over to Discord and say something in the proper channel about where you're from. From here then, uh, we're moving into how you use HubSpot and what you use it for. And so you can come over here and drag, I need to click off this stuff. You can drag one of these dots into the areas that you use HubSpot. Uh, so to use it for the CRM, the CMS, to use it for RevOps, are you a partner? Um, are you in the, the service hub? You can drag multiple over. Uh, we'd like to know where you individually are coming to HubSpot from and what you're using it for. Then we have an entry area. So this is the lobby where uh, things that are going on and happening will be. So these can be updates. Uh, it'll be similar to on the website, the, uh, the, fir the live page, the, the first tab. And so we'll have those here. And as we host events, you can keep walking on the first floor and we will host them over here in the auditorium. So uh, events, this is, a, this is a dummy event here in the auditorium. Events over on the Miro when we need to map something or we need to show something, they'll be hosted here in the auditorium. And so you can open up the Miro. This is for everyone to see and be in and, and use. This is where the information for the event will be. Uh, and it's nice and, and wide so we can share lots of information. It can be interactive at times. We can be adding post-its and feedback in real time. Uh, we'll put the organize, uh, we'll usually put the, uh, the, the people who are like the moderators or the hosts over here. And there's a nice section for asking questions. So not to interrupt the presentation and to capture what it is uh, you're wondering about or curious about. You can add your questions down below on the bottom. And then as they are answered live during the event, uh, the host or the speaker can drag them from down here to up here. All right, so this is a great space for you to, during an event, uh, get your question documented so that people can see it. The moderators can go in and see what it is and then pull that question to the top in the case when we're running one through this Miro board. So that's the auditorium area. I'm gonna go back through on the first floor here and kind of exit the auditorium. Excuse me. You know what? For that deserves an intermission of coffee, coffee mission. We have 10 minutes to the bottom of the hour on our eight hour live stream here at the launch of the HubSpot super admin community. Thank you to everyone who's been on live with me today. Rob, Lizzie, uh, Kimberly, I saw Matt in. Thank you to everyone who, I saw some love from uh, Brian. Let's see, Christina, thank you to all the guests. This has been a fun day. This has been a, it's been a lot. Mario has been super active in, in Discord. Thank you, Mario. All right, we're gonna head back to, uh, let's see, head back to the Miro. We're gonna go upstairs. And over here, we have the reading room. Uh, and so there's couches for you to sit at. No. Uh, the reading room has some extra space here because we would like to grow our shelving units. Right now, we have four shelves in the reading room. The template of the month, the article of the month, podcast of the month, and shortcut of the month. And so here, we can start to put on the shelf uh, different different frameworks of things we'd like to share with each other. Uh, here's a template, uh, one of the free HubSpot templates. Right here, Yamini wrote this great article uh, just about people, just about how people are the way and, and people are how the flywheel spins, that it's a circle, not a funnel, that when you pour into people and you show up with open hands, not closed fists, that 
that comes back to you. But to also know that it's going to come back to you if you show up with close fists. I'm sorry. That's just how the world works. <laughs> if if you're going to show up and you're just going to try and conquer everyone and just take over and and that's going to come back to you. People people know that that happened. Like do you know that they know that? She she writes a great article just about how when you work with people then it it just pays dividends in the end. So so I had to update here to article of the month. If you have any recommendations on books that you want to see here on the book of the month shelf, please share them in the Discord. And then we have podcast of the month. Uh, come over here and you can, we have, of course, the Becoming HubSpot Super Admin podcast as this month's podcast of the month. You can listen to George B. Thomas on Monday, the 4th, over on Spotify. And then here's a shortcut of the month. Uh, this is a fun one because we have Discord, which a lot of you are getting used to, and this is a new one. Uh, one of the things that you can do is on your keyboard, you can hold down Alt and hit the up and down arrow, and that allows you just to move through all of these channels we have without having to click. I mean, you can, of course, click through them. Uh, but there's a whole bunch of shortcuts that Discord has for you to navigate within the server or to navigate uh, on mute, off mute, on to deafen or to not deafen, which just means uh, your speakers. And so in addition to Discord, we have Miro. Uh, and there are even some, so as, as we're using these tools, we all use shortcuts. And so we'll be sharing the shortcut of the month down here on on this shelf and this will be a fun one. I'm curious the submissions there on, on things people use. And so we only have four shelves, but we have a lot more space in the reading room to to grow our, our shelving units. We'll have to head over to the IKEA and get some um, some new shelves here. So what additional shelves, shelves should we add? And uh, what's your suggestions of things we should put on them? So we'll head out of the reading room uh, and we'll go across the, the hallway here to the workshop. Uh, this was a workshop we did during the soft launch, which was to come up with uh, your own superhero. <laughs> and so we had a couple tables that we, uh, that we named by planets, because as one does. So we had the Asgard table, the Mandalore table, and the, uh, oh, that was Jake and I's stage uh, we had Tatooine as well so <laughs> uh, on these planets what we were doing was we were taking two different superheroes superhero one and superhero two uh, and and so one punch man and Aaron and then in this Venn diagram we were putting their superpowers and so from this diagram we were outlining their backstory and then the superpowers they have of the new superhero crossover that was created from these two existing superheroes. So this is One Punch Aaron. <laughs> All right. Uh, that was uh, on Tatooine planet. That was what they came up with. On the stage planet, it was a crossover between Mega Man and Dr. Manhattan. Mega Manhattan. On Mandalore. The new superhero was a cross between Spider-Man and Doctor Strange, which is Spider-Strange. That's pretty solid. <laughs> and they have limited precognition. <laughs> Kyle did a great job. Uh, uh, and on, on Asgard, uh, they did a crossover between Spider-Man and Loki, and it was spiky. So this was a fun activity and ridiculous, seeing as we were crossing over... Uh, superheroes but here was the framework and and here's the here's the whole point um this is how we as super admins need to show up as we meet other super admins we need to be doing the exact same thing we need to know their name we need to understand their backstory we need to understand their superpowers all of us are going to be showing up and we need to identify each other and so let's be clear about who we're talking to Let's also understand each other's backstory and the journey we've gone through 
to arrive here? What is it you've gone through? What have you, what have you done that has arrived you at where the thing we're talking about? We're going to be you're going to connect with another person and you're going to say these life cycle stages suck. Or <laughs> I don't understand why we have lead statuses and life cycle stages. That's something we talked about on the live stream today. Well, the backstory to that opinion would be helpful to know. The backstory to the job you have that has put these tools in front of you would be helpful to know. So arrive and know who you're talking about, talking to, and then what is their backstory? Understand their backstory and also understand their superpowers. Don't, don't just talk to someone, workshop through an issue and leave. Ask other super admins what they're really good at, what they're stinking good at. Ask them. Because when you're dealing with that thing or someone's asking you who you know that knows how to do that, then you can introduce them. Then you can go to them. Then you can talk with them about their superpowers. So these are the three things that we as super admins need to arrive when we meet each other and, and run through and make sure we know by the time we're done uh, interacting with another super admin. Name the backstory and their superpowers. These are the things that are going to make us a better super admin and arrive at the the day-to-day -day work, work we're doing better. So that's the workshop room. Again, this will be a flex space based on the workshop that's going on. Uh, that's different, right, than the auditorium. That's different than a talk. The workshop is things we're going to actually do together. So we'll, we'll leave the, the workshop room and we'll head up to the lounge. Before we get up to the lounge, there is some fun space here that I want to share. I would love for some people to, uh, who are artistically inclined or know someone who is, to share with us some graffiti art, uh, some illustrations, something that we can put here that's fun made by the super admin community uh, that inspires us. Uh, so this is a fun Miro one, and and this Miro one has, uh, of course, a rocket. Uh, but w some HubSpot-related things, some HubSpot graphics uh, to fill in this space. As we head over to the lounge then, this is kind of the after-party area. Uh, note for me, <laughs> have a lounge experience where we all make a cocktail together. <laughs> that someone facilitates. But the lounge is kind of the after party here. So we have a couple things, uh, a couple areas, and I just want to highlight them for you. Uh, the first one will be, how did things go by quadrant? So can I apply this knowledge, and is this something new to me? So on the x-axis, can I do something with the things I just heard? On the y-axis, is this new to me? All right. And so, again, based on the event that just happened, based on the workshop that was just run, we come over and we grab a dot, okay, and, and we drag it into the quadrant and the area in the quadrant uh, that is helpful. So, learned a lot, can apply it all. Learned a lot, but doesn't really apply to me. Uh, didn't learn much, and I really can't apply it. Or I can apply the, the little things that I learned. So in these four quadrants, but then also the area within the quadrant, uh, we're going to ask for feedback after sessions, um, ask you to fill those out. And then what did you think? So this is an area where we can take uh, this information, kind of like an NPS score, right? You think of that as quantitative. This would be then the qualitative feedback that we can receive about uh, gra you grab a post-it note and pull it over to any one of these areas. You can grab multiple post-it notes, make your own post-it note. There's just some dummy ones here ready. And we can give some accolades, improvements, and ask some questions that we have based on the event that just happened. Uh, and, and maybe some future topics, some uh, ways or new things that we want to get into related to uh, the event we were just a part of. And so this will be our qualitative feedback area. And then always we'll have uh, linked to the next event, uh, which right now is today. <laughs>
So uh, this is the next event area, and we'll always have a link to just whatever is coming up next and the thing that you can sign up for and participate in. I'm going to share this link to this Miro over in the Discord. It's in the Chit Chat channel. I invite all of you who are watching on live uh, or who are listening in on Discord to come over to the Miro and give us some feedback on the day. That's right. Like, we want to hear from you and we want it to go well and we want you to be honest about how things worked. Not everything is perfect. We're not done with everything. And so uh, as we improve, uh, we can only improve through feedback, asking questions, and listening. We are three past the hour. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> uh, this has been awesome. What an experience. What an event. Putting on an eight hour live stream to launch the HubSpot Super Admin community on Friday, April 1st. Who thought? Who thought we would be here? Rob and Lizzie are still over in Discord. Thank you for. Uh, being on, listening, being a part of all of the things. Um, lots of people to thank for being here. Uh, Lizzie, Kimberly, uh, Casey, Matt, uh, BT. Um, thank you, Nick, for the feedback. Uh, thank you, David, for the feedback. Um, just appreciate people who have uh, stepped in, stepped up. Uh, given feedback, helped improve, helped clarify. Uh, th things don't just happen out of thin air. They happen because people invest time, energy uh, into them. And, and it's very clear that the HubSpot community is one of, um, one of inclusion, uh, but also one of, it's one of inclusion. People want to be included and they want you to feel included. And um, I feel like I belong in the HubSpot community, and that's uh, that's really a tribute to all of the people that are already in, already doing the things uh, to make us all feel like we have a space, we have we have a place where we belong, and there are other people who, when we talk, <laughs> know what the heck we're saying, or can understand where we're coming from at least. Uh, Mario, there was no special guest. The last hour was an April Fool's joke. I should have titled it that. No, the last hour was a rundown of all of us. Surprise special guest was me. <laughs> was all the ways you can interact with the HubSpot super admin community. That's right. The super admin community is a special guest. It's all of you. It's all of us. It's everyone that has joined in. It's it's Mario it's uh, Shadab who, who's jumped in a lot already, <laughs> who's already done the things. Uh, it's Eric who showed up during the soft launch. Uh, it's Callie. Uh, appreciate you. Is power, superpower was invisibility. Oh, right. <laughs> Lizzie in the Discord said the surprise special guest superpower was invisibility. That's a wrap. We're six minutes past the hour. Uh, we should, we could have had an after party planned. Uh, if someone wants to host an after party, tell us where you're hosting, where you're going to be, and uh, I will join in. Um, or we can, anyone can, can be there. Again, thank you to everyone who participated in the success of this event. To all the guests who gave their time today to show up and, and be with us. Um, to all the people in the background to help make this day and all the things you, uh, you saw possible. Appreciate you. We'll see you. Uh, if you'd like to join this HubSpot Super Admin community, please join. Go to HubSpotSuperAdmin.com and you can find the, the link to the Discord there. All right. To all of us here in the HubSpot Super Admin community and from Georgette, our HubSpot Super Admin mascot, 
Happy Friday. Happy April Fool's Day. Make someone smile today. Do your best. And uh, I'll see you over in the Discord. We'll see you over in the Discord. Make everything that's obvious to you obvious to other people. Fight obscurity with clarity and continue to bleed orange unicorn blood. Take care, everyone. That was awesome.